एक और दुनिया में भारत का गौरव बढ़ाने वाली भाजपा है तो दूसरी ओर विदेश में जाकर भारत को गाली देने वाली कांग्रेस है ऐसी देश विरोधी परिवारवादी ताकतों के खिलाफ राजस्थान हमेशा ढाल बन करके खड़ा रहा है राजस्थान ने 2014 में बीजेपी को 25 की 25 सीटें दी थी राजस्थान ने 2019 में भी एनडीए को 25 की 25 सीटें दी थी और अब 2024 में भी राजस्थान 25 की 25 सीटें देने का फैसला कर चुका है पूरा राजस्थान कह रहा है चार जून चार जून चार जून चार जून साथियों 2024 का ये लोकसभा चुनाव कोई सामान्य चुनाव नहीं है ये चुनाव विकसित राजस्थान और विकसित भारत के संकल्प का चुनाव है ये चुनाव भारत को दुनिया की तीसरी सबसे बड़ी अर्थव्यवस्था बनाने के लिए है ये चुनाव भ्रष्टाचार को जड़ से उखाड़ फेंकने के लिए है ये चुनाव आत्मनिर्भर भारत के सपने को पूरा करने के लिए है ये चुनाव किसानों की समृद्धि के संकल्प का चुनाव है ये चुनाव घर घर नल से जल पहुंचाने का चुनाव है लेकिन भाइयों बहनों कांग्रेस और उसका इंडी गठबंधन देश के लिए नहीं बल्कि अपने स्वार्थ के लिए चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं ये पहला ऐसा चुनाव है जिसमें परिवारवादी पार्टियां अपने परिवार को बचाने के लिए रैली पर रैली रैली पर रैली करते जा रहे हैं ये पहला ऐसा चुनाव है जिसमें सारे भ्रष्टाचारी मिलकर भ्रष्टाचार पर कार्रवाई रोकने के लिए रैली कर रहे हैं मैं कहता हूं भ्रष्टाचार हटाओ वो कहते हैं भ्रष्टाचारी बचाओ आप मुझे बताइए भ्रष्टाचार जाना चाहिए कि नहीं जाना चाहिए भ्रष्टाचार खत्म होना चाहिए कि नहीं होना चाहिए भ्रष्टाचारियों को सजा मिलनी चाहिए कि नहीं मिलनी चाहिए वो कहते हैं भ्रष्टाचारियों को बचाओ मोदी कहता है भ्रष्टाचार हटाओ
Well, breaking news coming in. Uh, we learn that the enforcement directorate has filed a reply before the Delhi High Court opposing the plea by the Delhi Chief Minister challenging his arrest. Uh, remember, day for yesterday, uh, Delhi Court uh, had uh, sent uh, the Delhi Chief Minister to judicial custody for 14 days. Uh, Arvind Kejriwal happens to be inside Tihar jail because of that and uh, subsequently we had seen the Ahmadmi party Arvind Kejriwal moving uh, a petition in the Delhi High Court seeking his release uh, from uh, arrest uh, and custody. The ED has now filed its reply as is the procedure uh, obviously opposing uh, the petition and saying that uh, according to them Arvind Kejriwal is the kingpin of uh, the liquor gate probe uh, liquor gate and the probe is uh, uh, progressing in a direction where the agency has succeeded in uh, collecting a lot of material on Arvind Kejriwal the agency remember also had said during uh, the remand uh, proceedings that uh, uh, the Delhi chief minister has not been very cooperative that he is evasive in his replies that he has not given the right answers that when confronted with the facts like uh, the testimony of Vijay Nair and uh, others, Arvind Kejriwal, uh, in some instances, feigned ignorance, and in other cases, he transferred the responsibility to many of his uh, cabinet colleagues, including uh, Atishi and uh, Saurabh Bharadwaj, for example. When asked whether Vijay Nair reported to him, Arvind Kejriwal has told the agency, according to the remand note, that he said that no Vijay Nair used to report to Atishi and Saurabh Bharadwaj and not to him, even if he was working from the Chief Minister's camp office. Uh, all those details there in the ED remand note and uh, this reply. But let's go to Shawan Sain. He's uh, closely tracking the case uh, for the last uh, year and a half since it's been going on. Uh, Shawan, uh, what can you share about the ED reply opposing the Petition made by the Delhi Chief Minister in the Delhi High Court challenging his arrest and hence uh, release from judicial custody. Well, in fact, uh, a counter affidavit has now been filed by the Enforcement Directorate. In fact, Abhishek, we have just accessed the counter affidavit that has been filed by the Enforcement Directorate. It is of 266 pages, while we haven't been able to peruse through all the pages of this counter affidavit. But just, uh, you know, a cursory look at the counter affidavit. They've essentially relied on the investigation that has been carried out so far. In fact, there is a section within the counter affidavit which uh, basically puts across the details of the alleged role of the chief minister vis-a-vis -vis the policy formulation. In fact, if I to if I'm to quote from this particular counter affidavit, in which the enforcement director is calling Arvind Kejriwal the kingpin of the liquor scam. In fact, they go on to indicate the fact that they have been able to record the statement of various witnesses, particularly Magunta Reddy. Apart from that, Buchi Babu and several others, in which they are clearly stating that as far as policy formulation is concerned, Arvind Kejriwal played played a crucial role. Uh, in fact, the draft excise policy that was uh, prepared, that was in consultation with the South Group, favoring the South Group in particular. That's the allegation that has been leveled. So all this while, uh, while you have had uh, Arvind Kejriwal as well as uh, his uh, party colleagues essentially saying that there is no role uh, that he had to, to play because uh, the excise department did not come under the purview of the chief minister. Here, the enforcement directorate has basically countered, saying that there were meetings that actually took place uh, in the national capital. His point person particular, in particular was Vijay Nair, uh, while he's tried to distance himself from, from Vijay Nair. Enforcement directorate in the counter affidavit goes on to indicate that there was a meeting in a luxury hotel that took place not very far away from the chief minister's residence, where the South Group lobby members were present, and they had given certain suggestions as far as what the excise policy could essentially look like and that was also incorporated and there were meeting that took place with C. Arvind who happens to be the then uh, private secretary of uh, Manish Sisodia who met uh, at the chief minister's residence. Now if you go through the, some of the uh, statements that have been recorded so far, this has already been reported uh, largely uh, when Arvind Kejriwal was in the custody of the enforcement uh, directorate but once again indicating the fact that it is Arvind Kejriwal who himself said that he absolutely has no problem with 
uh, if he spends time within the, the custody of the enforcement directorate because he's willing to cooperate with the agency, that too has been quoted uh, in the counter affidavit that has been filed by the enforcement directorate. But the way forward here right now, uh, Abhishek, is that whether at all the chief, uh, the Central Bureau of Investigation will step in because right now with Arvind Kejriwal being sent to judicial custody, it basically paves a way for the legal counsel of Arvind Kejriwal to perhaps move the bail plea which could actually come up for hearing uh, once again. Now this is based on the challenge uh, uh, that was uh, filed by Arvind Kejriwal with regards uh, to the arrest number one and secondly with regards to the enforcement directed's custody where the court had basically not granted any interim relief to Arvind Kejriwal but had also asked the enforcement director to file the counter affidavit which is exactly what has happened now and this matter has been uh, posted for hearing so it remains to be seen whether at all this will actually be clubbed with uh, the bail plea that is likely to also come up for hearing if at all if at all the central bureau of investigation does not seek for the custody of arvind kejriwal okay but uh, uh, does that mean uh, shavan that uh, the developments that have taken place today in the liquor gate vis-a-vis uh, -vis the bail of uh, sanjay singh that's going to have any impact or actually no impact on the ongoing proceedings insofar as other accused are concerned Well, that's a very pertinent point, but let me just uh, try and uh, bring out the difference here. If you actually juxtapose this case vis-a-vis -vis the bail plea that was heard by the court uh, with regards to the then Chief Minister, uh, Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia and the reason why he hasn't been granted bail and why exactly perhaps uh, Sanjay Singh has been granted bail. First of all, the Supreme Court here essentially says that this should not be seen as a precedent. The reason why the Enforcement Directed has not countered the bail plea that was filed by Sanjay Singh is only primarily because, remember, he is a cog in the wheel, particularly in particular with regards to the kickbacks allegedly received by the Ahmadwe Party. But there is a larger role that has been played by several other characters, particularly Manish Sisodia, Satyendar Jain and the Delhi Chief Minister. That is the reason why, remember, so far there's been no relief that has been granted to Manish Sisodia or Satyendar Jain, so much so the courts have come down heavily saying that, you know, prima facie, there is enough evidence against Manish Sisodia as well as Satyendar Jain. It's very different in the case of Sanjay Singh because here, in the case of Sanjay Singh, remember, his role has not come up with regards to the draft excise policy, but largely with regards to the alleged movement of the proceeds of crime. That is the kickbacks that were allegedly received, to which the enforcement director says that the, you know, the, the trial is already underway and right now they do not have a problem, if at all, he is granted bail. On the other hand, with regards to uh, Manish Sisodia and Satyendra Jain, they've been arguing that if at all they've been granted bail, Bail, then there is a high possibility that they could influence the witnesses in this particular case. That is the reason why you know you haven't really seen any sort of relief that has been given. With regards to Arvind Kejriwal, remember here the enforcement directorate is calling him the kingpin, and he says and they say uh, that uh, he was directly in touch uh, with K Kavita and a few others. While Arvind Kejriwal has uh, clearly stated that uh, you know these are allegations, mere allegations, without any corroborative proof that has been put across by the agencies. And the bigger question that remains whether at all the enforcement direct directed has been able to identify the money trail because that is the most important and the crucial aspect of this entire investigation. We are, what we are given to understand is that the enforcement directed maintains that the money trail has been established by way of the fact that Hawala transactions have taken place and the fact that they've identified the Hawala operators right, too Shavan. and the money has already been utilized during the Goa elections. Right, Shavan, that's a very important uh, differentiation that you bring out about uh, how Sanjay Singh uh, has been treated or uh, what is his role vis-a-vis -vis the role of others, including uh, Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia, the former Deputy Chief Minister, of course, and uh, uh, the Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, and that's going to have a bearing on uh, how the case moves uh, forward from here and not the bail per se of Sanjay Singh. Also remember the court observed that this does not in any manner affect the merits of the case or does not set any kind of precedent. On that note, thank you so much, Shavan, for joining us. Uh, we move on, but stay with the Ahmadmi Party story in Delhi. Minister Atishi made huge revelation earlier in the day, saying BJP wants to arrest four more AAP ministers and topple the Ahmadmi Party government in Delhi. She also went on to say that the BJP asked her 
to join the party and warn the ED action if she refused to or warn, was warned of ED action if she refused to join them. Listen into her claims made earlier in the day through a press conference. ये इरादा है कि आने वाले दो महीने में लोकसभा चुनाव से पहले वो आम आदमी पार्टी के चार और नेताओं को गिरफ्तार करने वाले हैं मुझे ये कहा गया कि या तो मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी ज्वाइन कर लू अपना पॉलिटिकल करियर बचा लू अपना पॉलिटिकल करियर बढ़ा लू और अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी नहीं ज्वाइन करी तो आने वाले एक महीने में ईडी द्वारा मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट में हर विपक्ष के मुख्यमंत्री के ऊपर केस कर दो उसके बाद उसे गिरफ्तार कर दो और फिर कहो कि संविधानिक संकट पैदा हो गया है इस्तीफा दो वरना हम राष्ट्रपति शासन लगाएंगे भारतीय जनता पार्टी के पास विपक्ष की सरकारें गिराने का क्या है दिल्ली में भी अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी का यही असली कारण है द बीजेपी हैज डिनाइड अतिशी क्लेम्स एंड हिट बैक एट द दिल्ली मिनिस्टर लिसन इन जो नौ बार ईडी का समन आने के बाद भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जांच में शामिल नहीं होते ये वही अरविंद केजरीवाल है जो कहते थे इस कुर्सी पर कोई भी बैठता है वो भ्रष्ट हो जाता है वो उन्होंने सच करके दिखाया भ्रष्ट हो गए वो कट्टर बेईमान हो गए ये कितने झूठे लोग हैं जो झूठ बोलकर वोट तो पाए लेकिन भ्रष्टाचार करके मलाई भी खाई अब जेल भी खा रहे हैं आज तक जो विषय है शराब घोटाला एक्साइज घोटाला उस पर तो कुछ जवाब दिया ही नहीं सीधा हर चीज पे भाजपा पे वार कर देंगे कोई मिथ्या बात कह देंगे कोई गलत आरोप लगा देंगे इससे कहीं ना कहीं जनता के मन में भी प्रश्न उठ रहा है क्या क्यों जवाब नहीं दे पा रहे क्या गलत किया इन्होंने जो घबरा रहे हैं थीप्स हैज बीन एक्सपोज जितने चोर हैं उनके पर्दे खुल चुके हैं जब किंग पिन कह रहा है इस पूरे घोटाले का सरगना कह रहा है कि ये लोग इन्वॉल्व हैं इनको रिपोर्ट करते थे इनसे पूछताछ होनी चाहिए और फिर उसके बाद तुरंत आतिशी जी का चेहरा उड़ जाता है कोर्ट में और आज समझ में आ रहा है क्यों लिया क्योंकि हो सकता है कि अपने किए कारनामों के लिए बलि का बकरा वो ढूंढ रहे हैं इसीलिए आप देखिए ना पहले कोर्ट में बयान देते हैं कि कई मंत्री मेरे घर आते हैं खुसुर फुसुर करते हैं मुझे क्या पता वो क्या करते हैं किसी और को बलि का बकरा बनाना और ये तो उनकी पुरानी आदत है इनकी पार्टी जब शुरू हुई तो जब अन्ना हजारे से लेकर के तमाम नेताओं को इन्होंने धोखा दे दिया इनको एक प्रकार से किनारे कर दिया और उन पर ही दोष मड़ के उन्हें अलग कर दिया तो ये तो पुरानी तरकीब है अरविंद केजरीवाल की All right on that note we slip into a short break uh, but on the other side Supreme Court pulls up Ramdev for violating orders on Patanjali's alleged misleading advertisements so he's be ready to face action preocupa por por el lado de que vuelven de la selección, ¿no? Y que se tienen que otra vez conectar a a lo que es al modo club, digamos. Sí, me preocupa más que no el partido del del Paris Saint-Germain, que nos quedan nos quedan muchos días todavía, ¿no? Vamos a centrarnos en la liga. Eh creemos y queremos lucharla, que la podemos luchar y mañana es vital ganar estos tres puntos para meter un poco más de presión al al Real Madrid. Es un chico que está todavía es, es adolescente, ¿no? Lo hemos dicho muchas veces. Pero es así. A nivel mental lo veo un chico alegre, divertido, bromista, que está digiriendo muy bien lo que está lo que le está ocurriendo, que además está disfrutando, lo veo que está contento, está feliz. Eh el equipo, el grupo lo ha lo ha aceptado espectacularmente bien, eh lo está ayudando, él también nos está ayudando a nivel individual, así que bien, lo veo feliz, no no veo ningún problema, es todo positivo. Eh hay talk uh, uh, to them yesterday today and yes they 
they are feeling okay, so yes, they will be ready, both. Uh, Robert and, and Ilkay, of course, they accumulate a lot of uh, minutes, but uh, I think they are ready. They are ready to compete tomorrow. ਸਾਡੀ ਬੱਚੀ ਦਾ ਜਨਮ ਦਿਨ ਸੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਕੇਕ ਮੰਗਾਇਆ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਜਿਵੇਂ मात्र चुनाव नहीं है ये चुनाव उन लोगों को फिर से सही जगह दिखाने का समय है जिन लोगों ने सामाजिक ताने बाने को छिन्न भिन्न करने का कार्य किया है ये पूरी मैच फिक्सिंग करने की कोशिश की जा रही है ये मैच फिक्सिंग नरेंद्र मोदी और हिंदुस्तान के तीन चार सबसे बड़े अरबपति मिलकर कर रहे हैं मे मोदी का मंत्र है भ्रष्टाचार हटाओ वो कहते हैं भ्रष्टाचारी बचाओ ये चुनाव इन दो खेमों की लड़ाई है And for the top 50 stories of the day viewers uh... While addressing the Vijay Shankarnath rally in Kotpuri Prime Minister Modi said that he is born to work for the country and whatever that has happened in the last 10 years is just a trailer ऐसे लोग भूल जाते हैं मोदी मौज करने के लिए पैदा नहीं हुआ मोदी मेहनत करने के लिए पैदा हुआ है बहुत कुछ हुआ होगा लेकिन साथियों दस साल में जो हुआ वो तो सिर्फ ट्रेलर है ट्रेलर Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that BJP considers the entire country as a family while Congress considers their family bigger than the nation. He also added that Congress keeps abusing the country when its leaders go abroad. Ek aur desh ko parivar manne wale desh ko parivar manne wali bhajpa hai to dusri aur अपने परिवार को देश से बड़ा मानने वाली कांग्रेस है प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी सेड दैट दिस इलेक्शन विल फुलफिल द ड्रीम ऑफ आत्मनिर्भर भारत यू फर्द वेंट ऑन टू से द कांग्रेस एंड इंडिया अलायंस आर कंटेस्टिंग द इलेक्शन फॉर द सेल्फिश मोटिव्स वाइल थ्रेटनिंग द कंट्री दैट इफ बीजेपी विंस द कंट्री विल बी ऑन फायर Prime Minister said that the country's politics is divided into two camps. He said that while the BJP puts nation first, Congress finds a way to loot the country. PM Modi blasted the opposition parties and said that the opposition believes in saving corrupt leaders, while BJP believes in ending corruption. Further went on to say that only a few months are left for BJP's third term to begin, and added that his ter- in his third term there will be even bigger action against corruption. Bhai aur behno. मोदी के इन प्रयासों के बीच कांग्रेस और इंडी गठबंधन ने 
अपने इरादे दिखा दिए हैं कांग्रेस के शाही परिवार के शाहजादे ने शाहजादे ने ऐलान किया है कि अगर देश ने तीसरी बार बीजेपी सरकार को चुनी आग लग जाएगी While addressing a public rally in Himachal Pradesh's Shivabadar, Mandi BJP candidate Kangana Ranaut hailed the Prime Minister attacking the Congress party for its ill words about the daughters of Mandi. She asked how those who cannot respect women work for welfare. आपने देखा कि इस पर भी कांग्रेस ने कितने कटु वचन बोले कैसी टिप्पणी की मंडी की लड़कियों के लिए कितनी गंदी गंदी उन्होंने बातें बोली ये उनकी मातृशक्ति को लेकर ये उनकी भावनाएं हैं जिस मातृशक्ति की कोख से हम जन्म लेते हैं दोस्तों Delhi Minister Adishri put big allegations against the BJP today, saying that before the Lok Sabha elections, four more Amani Party leaders will be arrested. The names include those of Sarab Bhardwaj, Durgesh Pathak, Raghav Chadha, besides her. Rada hai ki aane wale do mahine me Lok Sabha chunav se pehle wo Amani Party ke char aur netaon ko giraftar karne wale hai. Delhi minister Atishi claimed that BJP approached her through one of her aides to join the party and told her that she will be jailed in one month if she did not accept BJP's offer. Mujhe ye kaha gaya ki ya to main Bharatiya Janata Party join kar lu apna political career bacha lu apna political career badha lu aur agar Bharatiya Janata Party nahi join kari तो आने वाले एक महीने में ईडी द्वारा मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा Delhi BJP chief Virendra Sachdeva rejected Delhi Minister Atishri's allegations and said that the BJP is not after the Chief Minister post, unlike Saurabh sort of Bhardwaj, Atishri, and other Amadi Party leaders. He further said that Arvind K. Jival has named them during ED questioning, and this has nothing to do with the BJP. Shoot the machine, Atishri, mark the number. आज फिर एक झूठ बोला कल जब अरविंद केजरीवाल ने ये बयान दे दिया कि विजय नैयर आतिशी और सौरभ भारद्वाज को रिपोर्ट करते थे तो अपनी जान बचाने के साथ साथ आज आतिशी ने योगेश पाठक और राघव चड्डा का भी नाम इस पूरी पार्टी में अब सब फटोबल चल रहा है कि कौन बली का बकरा बनेगा हकीकत यह है कि शराब घोटाले में अरविंद केजरीवाल समेत पूरी आम आदमी पार्टी भ्रष्टाचार में लिप्त है Union Minister Anurag Thakur called out the leaders of Aam Aadmi Party for betraying the people of Delhi. He said that most of the Aam Aadmi Party leaders are trapped in the liquor scam and some of them are in jail for 6 months, some are for 1 and 1/2 years. The Supreme Court uh, granted bail to Aam Aadmi Party leader Rajya Sabha MP Sanjay Singh who was arrested by the ED in connection with the investigation of the Delhi liquor scam. The central probe agency did not oppose his bail application. After he was granted bail, Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh's wife Anita Singh called it satya me jayate. She said that she has full faith in judiciary and knows that her and she said that she knows that her three brothers Kejriwal, Sisodi and Satyendra Jain will also get relief from court. Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri said that ED did not oppose Sanjay Singh's bail, proving the independence of judiciary. He called it the speciality of democracy and added that courts are independent. Samajwadi Party chief Akhilesh Yadav said that just like Sajjay Singh, Arvind Kejriwal and Hemant Soren will also get justice. He added that the way BJP is sending elected chief ministers to jail is bringing disrepute to the BJP in the whole world. I hope that the way that Sanjay Singh got rid of the Supreme Court, Arvind Kejriwal Ji will also get rid of it, Hemant Soren Ji will also get rid of it. The way that the Bharati Janata Party is taking the action of the Bharati Janata Party is to send the Bharati Janata Party to jail. This is... भारतीय जनता पार्टी की पूरी दुनिया में थूथू हो रही है बदनामी हो रही है The Congress party on Tuesday released a list of 17 candidates for the Lok Sabha elections fielding state unit chief Vice Sharmila Reddy from the Kadapa seat in Andhra Pradesh. Latest list includes 8 candidates from Odisha, 5 from Andhra Pradesh, 3 from Bihar and 1 from West Bengal. 
BJP National President JP Nadda says that in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, the BJP will fight for the politics of welfare and Vixit Bharat, whereas the opposition's manifesto will incorporate appeasement, casteism, and dynastic politics. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma says that these polls are being conducted just only for the formality to re elect Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He also asserted that there will be no solid leader to compete against the Prime Minister. MM Chief and actor Kamal Hassan arrived for uh, Lok Sabha election campaigning in Trichu and Perambalur. DMK Minister K. N. Nehru and other leaders of the party are expected to accompany Hassan to several constituencies as part of the campaign. BJP released its list of candidates for the upcoming Odisha Assembly elections. BJP announced 112 names of candidates for the Odisha polls that is scheduled to take place on the 13th of May. NCPSCP released a list of 40 star campaigners of the party for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Party chief Sharad Pawar and Supriya Sule are among the campaigners for the party. MLAs of Amani Party arrived at the residence of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. The MLAs met Chief Minister's wife Sunita Kejriwal, emphasizing that the Amani Party convener should continue to run the government from jail. Actor and politician Arun Goh will file his Lok Sabha nomination as the BJP candidate from Meerut. The Deputy Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Keshav Prasad Maurya, accompanied him. Home Minister and BJP leader Amit Shah addressed party workers in Karnataka's Bengaluru. He told the party workers that BJP, JDS, Alliance and Karnataka will win all the 28 Lok Sabha seats. Congress leader Sachin Pilot alleges that uh, the central government is misusing the central agencies and suppressing the voice of the opposition. He says that the Congress and India Alliance will win all 25 seats in Rajasthan. On the Kachatibo Island issue, a former diplomat and the current Union Minister of Urban Affairs, uh, Hardeep Singh Puri, says that historical records about the island exist and that Indira Gandhi and K. Karunanidhi both conspired to cede a part of the Indian territory to a neighboring country. Congress leader Adiranjan Chaudhary questioned Prime Minister's silence over Arunachal Pradesh-China issue. He says that trade with China is increasing every day and China is infiltrating our borders from Ladakh to Arunachal. But Prime Minister Modi is maintaining silence. The Supreme Court came down heavily on Patanjali in the misleading advertisement case for violating its directives even as Ramdev tendered an unconditional apology. The court was upset on the failure of Patanjali to withdraw its advertisements, rebuked Patanjali over the apology tendered which was unsatisfactory to the court. Defence Minister Radhna Singh attended the Army Commanders Conference in Delhi. He also unveiled the UN Journal for 2024. In view of the flight disruptions of Vistara due to crew unavailability, DGCA has asked the airline to submit daily details of flights that are being cancelled and delayed. Officials are also monitoring the situation to minimise the passenger inconvenience. Indian Air Force conducted overnight trial runs on the emergency landing strip on Jammu Srinagar's National Highway near Anantanag. IAF conducted at least nine trials on the strip. At least six people, including three children, were killed after fresh rounds of airstrikes hit the Rafah city. As people helped the affected family ship to the, ship the bodies to the Al Najjar hospital, officials confirm that the death toll in Gaza has now crossed over 32,800. Thousands of Israelis protested against the government in central Jerusalem for the second day in a row. Civilians uh, urged this government to reach a ceasefire deal to freeze dozens of hostages held in Gaza by Hamas terrorists and to hold early elections. An apparent Israeli airstrike killed four international aid workers with the World Central Kitchen Charity after they helped deliver food and other supplies to northern Gaza. Workers' a car were allegedly hit by an Israeli strike just after crossing northern Gaza. Israel's parliament passed a law that could clear the way for the government to hold Al Jazeera from broadcasting in the country. The law allows authorities to close foreign media that Israel says harms the state's national security. An Israeli airstrike demolished Iran's consulate in Syria, killing two Iranian generals and five officers. Speaking at the scene, Hossein Akhbari, Iranian ambassador to Syria, says as many as uh, seven people were killed and Iran will respond to Israel for this attack. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi met with the Jordan King Abdullah the second in Amman. The two countries held talks on the necessity to reach a humanitarian truce and a comprehensive ceasefire in Gaza as soon as possible while evacuating as many citizens as possible to provide them with medical care. 
U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is traveling to Paris and Brussels this week. Secretary Blinken will meet with French President Emmanuel Macron to discuss global issues, including support for Ukraine, preventing conflict in Gaza from expanding and stabilizing Haiti. Peruvian President Dina Boluarte reshuffled her cabinet, naming a new minister of uh, the interior and ministers for uh, five other bureaus. This comes amid pressure to remove her from office following corruption charges. She is being investigated, remember, for uh, allegedly acquiring an undisclosed collection of luxury watches since coming to power. The Mexican Ministries of Foreign Affairs and the Navy evacuated 34 Mexican nationals from Port-au-Prince due to the current insecurity crisis. The current security crisis, the operation coordinated by the head of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs responded to the worsening situations of insecurity in Haiti generated by armed groups. North Korea test fired a suspected intermediate range uh, ballistic missile toward the eastern waters as it pushes to advance its weapons. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said the missile was launched from an area near Pyongyang and flew about 600 kilometers before landing in the sea between the Korean Peninsula and Japan. Pop star Taylor Swift won big at the iHeartRadio Music Award. The Love Story hitmaker won six awards at the show for her album Midnight, including Artist of the Year and Pop Artist of the Year awards. While accepting the award virtually, she announced a brand new album called The Tortured Poets uh, Department. Album is slated for release on the 19th of April. Beyonce was honored with the Innovator Award at the 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards. Legendary artist TV Wonder presented her award and uh, her the award and gave a summary of her unparalleled achievements. Queen B released her eighth studio album Cowboy, Cowboy, Cowboy Carter this Friday. Green Day received the landmark award at this year's uh, iHeartRadio Music Awards along with TLC, the Boulevard of uh, Broken Dreams band featuring Billy Joe Armstrong, Trey Cool and uh, Mike Dent performed a medley of their songs. Pop legend uh, Cher was uh, honored with the, icon, with the Icon Award prior to accepting the award. The artist hit the stage to perform a Billboard Hot 100 number one Believe. She was introduced on stage by another legend actress, uh, Meryl Streep. Las Vegas' uh, famous casino Tropicana is closing down after 67 years. It will be demolished to build a $1.5 billion Major League Baseball stadium for the relocating Oakland Athletics. The Tropicana opened in April 1957 and was a landmark for its uh, vintage Vegas lore and was featured in several movies and TV shows. In Game 15 of IPL 2024 season, the Royal Challengers Bangalore team is all set to take on the Lucknow Super Giants. Bangalore has had a mixed start to the season, winning just one out of their three games so far. Lucknow bounced back with a victory against Punjab after their successive losses. Since IPL 2020, uh, New Zealand player Trent Bolt has led the charge for the most wickets in first over of an innings with an impressive tally of 24. Trailing behind Bolt on the list are Indian bowlers Mohammad Shami and Bhuvaneshwa Kumar. And after their third consecutive loss in the edition of IPL, Mumbai Indians captain Hardik Pandya emphasized the need for discipline and courage within the team. Now this comes after Rajasthan Royal beat them by uh, six wickets while chasing a mere target of 125 runs. Tavia Stana emerged champion in the individual category of the National Eventing Championship that concluded at the Army Polo and Riding Centre in Delhi. It's the second consecutive podium finish for Astana in the two-leg national event, having finished third in the first leg. Shiva Shangari Subramaniam defeated Hania Al Hamami to win the London Squash Classic Tournament. The Malaysian, who returned to the World Tour last year after recovering from a life threatening car accident, had the chance to wrap up the final in the fourth game but squandered several match points. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Me preocupa por por el lado de que vuelven de la selección, ¿no? Y que se tienen que otra vez conectar a a lo que es al modo club, digamos. 
Sí, me preocupa más que no el partido del, del Paris Saint Germain, que nos quedan, nos quedan muchos días todavía, ¿no? Vamos a centrarnos en la liga. Eh, creemos y queremos lucharla, que la podemos luchar y mañana es vital ganar estos tres puntos para meter un poco más de presión al, al Real Madrid. Es un chico que está todavía es adolescente, ¿no? lo hemos dicho muchas veces, pero es así. A nivel mental lo veo un chico alegre, divertido, bromista, eh, que está digeriendo muy bien lo que, está, lo que le está ocurriendo, que además está disfrutando, lo veo que está contento, está feliz... Eh, el equipo, el grupo lo ha, lo ha aceptado espectacularmente bien, eh, lo está ayudando, él también nos está ayudando a nivel individual, así que bien, lo veo feliz, no, no veo ningún problema, es todo positivo. Uh, I talk uh, uh, to them yesterday, today, and yes, they, they are feeling okay, so yes, they will be ready both, uh, Robert and, and Ilkay, of course. They accumulate a lot of uh, minutes, but uh, I think they are ready. They are ready to compete tomorrow. Welcome back. Now, during his campaign rally in, pa in Rajasthan, uh, Prime Minister Modi took a pot shot at Congress for putting their personal interest ahead of above the nation. He also slammed Rahul Gandhi over his burning comments. Listen into the scathing attacks fired by the Prime Minister. Or जयपुर का जलवा तो मैंने कुछ दिन पहले जब फ्रांस के राष्ट्रपति यहां आए थे पूरी दुनिया ने जयपुर का मिजाज देखा साथियों 2019 में मेरी राजस्थान की पहली चुनावी सभा भी दुंडार से ही शुरू हुई थी अब 2024 में भी इसी क्षेत्र से चुनावी सभा की शुरुआत हो रही है और मैं देख रहा हूं आप सबने भी निर्णय कर लिया है फिर एक बार फिर एक बार फिर एक बार साथियों 24 के इस चुनाव में देश की सियासत फिर दो खेमों में बटी नजर आ रही है आज एक तरफ राष्ट्र प्रथम का संकल्प लेकर चलने वाली भाजपा है तो दूसरी तरफ देश को लूटने के मौके तलाशने वाली कांग्रेस पार्टी है 
आज एक और देश को परिवार मानने वाले देश को परिवार मानने वाली भाजपा है तो दूसरी ओर अपने परिवार को देश से बड़ा मानने वाली कांग्रेस है आज एक और दुनिया में भारत का गौरव बढ़ाने वाली भाजपा है तो दूसरी ओर विदेश में जाकर भारत को गाली देने वाली कांग्रेस है ऐसी देश विरोधी परिवारवादी ताकतों के खिलाफ राजस्थान हमेशा ढाल बन करके खड़ा रहा है राजस्थान ने 2014 में बीजेपी को 25 की 25 सीटें दी थी राजस्थान ने 2019 में भी एनडीए को 25 की 25 सीटें दी थी और अब 2024 में भी राजस्थान 25 की 25 सीटें देने का फैसला कर चुका है भ्रष्टाचारी कान खोल के सुन ले ये मोदी पर चाहे कितने भी हमले करे कि मोदी है रुकने वाला नहीं है भ्रष्टाचारी चाहे कितना ही बड़ा चौड़ा हो एक्शन होगा जरूर होगा जितने देश को लूटा है उसे लौटाना ही पड़ेगा ये मोदी की गारंटी है कांग्रेस को जब से कर्नाटका में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटका को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है बच्ची का जन्मदिन से असी एक केक मंगाया ऑनलाइन जोमैटो के थ्रू तो वह केक कटिया सवा कत बजे छे बजे ऑर्डर किया साढ़े छे पहुँच गया सवा कत बजे असी कट लिया उस खाण तो बाद घर सारे सेहत खराब होनी शुरू हो गई तो इस
बारह लाख करोड़ के घपले घोटाले करेंगे तो जेल में जाएंगे या नहीं जाएंगे जोर से बोलो जाएंगे या नहीं जाएंगे और राहुल बाबा सुन लो क्यों फरियाद कर रहे हो हमने 2014 में भी किया 19 में भी किया कह कर हम चुनाव लड़े थे जो भ्रष्टाचार करेगा वो जेल की सलाखों के पीछे चला जाएगा and welcome friends this tuesday burning question congress is in a quandary damned if you do damned if you don't the latest is a salvo from an ally kerala chief minister pinarayi vijayan took the grand old party to cleaners for turning it into a contest between allies in vayanad constituency from where rahul gandhi is contesting the second time as if this was not enough to handle the congress was left red faced today after banned terror outfit pfi's political arm sdpi announced unilateral support for gandhi and congress led udf and kerala that's what we are going to discuss but let me get you the headlines first is chahi parivar ke sahajade ne sahajade ne elan kiya hai कि अगर देश ने तीसरी बार बीजेपी सरकार को चुनी आग लग जाएगी प्राइम मिनिस्टर काउंटर्स राहुल इन एन अनरलेंटिंग अटैक थ्रो चुन चुन के साफ कर दो डे जिस तरह उन्होंने पिछले आठ नौ साल में ऑपरेशन लोटस को एक स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला बना लिया है यह तो उससे भी आसान है मेगा आप वर्सेस बीजेपी फेस ऑफ ओवर लेखा गेट अतिशी अतिशी रिपीट्स ऑपरेशन लोटस चार्ज बीजेपी हिट्स बैक Supreme Court grants bail to Sanjay Singh up puts aspersions on prop says no money trail found yet Traction India Alliance widen as Pinarayi Vijayan slams Rahul's Vayanath candidature Supreme Court pulls up Ramdev yet again over alleged misleading advertisements says be ready to face action <clears throat> All right welcome back friends uh, Rahul Gandhi is contesting from Vayanad for the second time and uh, this has led to twin embarrassments uh, for the Congress party as i discussed uh, the broadsight was unrelenting coming from Kerala chief minister Pinarayi Vijayan who said that the congress was an unreliable ally and uh, it was uh, absolutely not needed for the congress to contest against left when the real fight is against the bjp congress obviously has been uh, uncomfortable defending that decision but obviously when it comes to the gandhi family sign the congress party had no option we know why the congress went to vayanad it's a safe seat for them essentially because of the dominance of the otherwise uh, minority community in the country and uh, the muslim population they are coming to the rescue for rahul gandhi this is a seat which the congress party has won on the trot for the last four elections and maybe that made it the safest but then the left is urged because according to them this is against what is called the alliance dharm that's what we are going to discuss how the congress party is to fend off these two embarrassments that have come their way one of course uh, the attack from pinara vijayan and two the support from sdpi let's look at the developments then i come back with a panel of guests Rahul Gandhi's decision to abandon Amethi and contest from Wayanad is attracting political heat. With the Congress adamant on Wayanad, fault lines in the Indi bloc split wide open after Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan trained his guns at Rahul Gandhi. 
this just days ahead of the big Lok Sabha battle. Vijayan pulled up the grand old party for fielding Rahul Gandhi from Wayanad against CPI's Annie Raja. Vijayan threw an open challenge to Rahul Gandhi. Instead of fighting Annie Raja, he dared the Gandhi sky into a direct battle with the BJP in the centre. Vijayan was hinting at the Gandhi staying out of Amethi and Raibareli battles. Listen in. Congress has also been criticized for staying mum when Annie Raja was labelled anti-national during the Manipur violence. Remember, Rahul Gandhi had clearly stated that his party and the left are not allies in Kerala. When the Congress can fight the BJP at the centre, why must it fight one of its partners in Kerala? That remains the crux of Vijayan's concerns. Politics over the Wayanath seat continue to intensify. Inappropriate ka matlab ke thoda atpata lagta hai, uske do teen karan hai. Pehli baat to ye hai ke Congress party ye dawa kar rahi hai ke Bharti Janata Party ke khilaaf jo sanyuk sangharsh hai, uska nitrat wo kar rahe hai. To jo unke sabse bade neta hai, वो केरला में क्यों चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं जहां पर भारतीय जनता पार्टी से लड़ाई है ही नहीं उनको लड़ाई लड़नी चाहिए उत्तर प्रदेश से जहां सबसे बड़ा गढ़ है भारतीय जनता पार्टी का राहुल गांधी एक बहुत ही जिम्मेदारी भरी पहला चुनाव के पांच साल उन्होंने वायनाड की जनता की सेवा की उनका प्यार पाया है विश्वास पाया है उसको निरंतरता देने के लिए दोबारा वहाँ चुनाव कर रहे हैं जो जायज़ है वाजिब है उचित है वो वायनाट को धोखा नहीं दे सकते जी पी एम एंड द कांग्रेस आर पार्टनर्स इन द इंडिया अलायंस दिस इज वेर एवर दर इज एन इंडिया अलायंस पार्टनर विद द कांग्रेस दे आर ऑलवेज इन अ फाइट विद द कांग्रेस स्क्वाबलिंग देर इज नो पोलिटिकल फाइट देर इज अ स्क्वाबल गोइंग ऑन अबाउट हु हैज मोर ऑफ सीट्स एंड वो आर मोर Uh, tough. Another crack widens in the opposition alliance, this time in Kerala. Has India etched a way to survive its infighting? Will this rift over Wayanad prove costly in the upcoming polls? Is Rahul opting for a safe seat to stay relevant in the political discourse? These are the burning questions. Well, right, let's have a nice hot conversation on this. Shazia Elmi, spokesperson of the BJP, joining us uh, from Delhi. We also have uh, Subhash Chandran, CPM lawyer, joining us live from Kerala. And uh, Somansi Raman, political analyst, leans against the BJP, sometimes with Congress, sometimes with DMK. Have I introduced you right, Somansi Raman? And I would want to ask you no, first. No, no. Uh, 
inappropriate no, for the Congress party you, to be you, contesting you from Vyana. That's what your Why allies say. Are they allies or straight. not? Suman Thraman. Abhishek, I can stand straight. Why, why do I always have to lead? I don't need to lead, right? I can stand straight. So this for whole the bit of sometimes leading here, sometimes so leading for there the is not really required. For the debate, Sumantraman. Okay. I mean, whatever you would like to say, you can say it. But I don't, I, I believe that I don't lean towards anybody at all. In fact, I have I have been very critical of the Congress. I have been critical of the I've been extremely critical of the DMK multiple times. Just as often as I have been critical of the BJP. Okay, fair enough. But the question is that one ally is telling the other it's very inappropriate that you are contesting from Vayanad. It makes you an unreliable ally. How do you see there from Chennai, Suman Raman? No, I don't think that this is really an issue. I mean, we, are, we need some issue to bash the Congress, so we take it up. Look, there is a contest between the communists and the Congress in Kerala. They are contesting the election against each other primarily because the BJP is not a big force in Kerala. Therefore, at least in 17 streets, it is simply a bipolar contest between the Communist Party and the, uh, I mean, between the left front and the uh, uh, UDF. So, I don't see how they are supposed to, in their public interactions, express a great deal of solidarity and say, you know what, we are all part of the same alliance. Whether you vote for me or whether you vote for Congress, it makes no difference. Do you expect Mr. Pindarai Vijayan to say that? He, his job is to get as many left-front candidates elected. If, they, if, this, if, uh, if, it, was, the if it was that simple, if and it was that the straight, uh, Suman Thraman, I mean, if, 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 the, if the ally stood as straight as you do, Suman Thraman, they would have said, okay, fine, Rahul Gandhi is a big leader, national leader. Maybe we can, we can let one seat be available for him and that's why let's not contest. But they are saying, no, you shouldn't be present here at all. So obviously, you say it's not an issue, but Subhash Chandran, Obviously, it's an issue for CPM, right? That's why the chief minister is campaigning in Vayanad against Rahul Gandhi. It's an issue. That's why. See, actually, Abhishek, uh, this is an issue. Uh, this is a democratic process. So, the, the CPM has taken, the, the Kerala chief minister has taken this the dem democratic process, the democratic criticism. So, uh, in Kerala, as uh, the, the, the other panelists mentioned here, in Kerala, the fight is between the uh, UDF and the LDF. And uh, after election uh, on uh, 4th of June 2024, the Kerala will contribute 20 MPs in the India bloc only. Whether it's a left front, whether it's from the U UDF, the, the 20 MPs from Kerala will be stand with the India bloc only. So now we will have to come uh, between the, 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 the fight between the UDF and the LDF. Now we will have to, up, uh, we will have to uh, raise our the, the, the politics we will have to uh, means campaign for the, the, the politics of the left parties, the politics of the CPM, and we are the, the Kerala CP. The chief minister has said that it is inappropriate. Now the fight is between the India bloc and the BJP, and it should have been the uh, Rahul Gandhi should have been contested from any other uh, the, uh, state where the fight is between directly between the BJP and the uh, Congress. So he should have contested from uh, Madhya Pradesh or from uh, Uttar Pradesh. But, so, in, but Subhash Chandran, in that case, in that case, if it's so, so hunky-dory, yeah. sorry I'm interjecting, but if it's so hunky-dory, if it's so okay, and while on the ground there is a boxing match happening, on national TV, sort of a bit of an ilu ilu happening, but if that be the case, then maybe Vayanath could have been left for the Congress then. He would have happily yeah, become an Indian Alliance yeah. MP from Vayanath. One of the twenty. Actually, actually, more or uh, means uh, the, the left is fighting against the BJP more than the Congress. The left, the, the left campaigning all over the India and it's campaigning where, wherever it's uh, means, uh, strong in the, the country, and it's, uh, it's fighting for the alliance also. The, the, it's, the, the left leaders are uh, means uh, trying their best to uh, have the alliance with the India bloc, other parties in the, the different parts of the country. So now in the, in the in the states like Kerala, see this is happening in West Bengal also. This is happening in Punjab also. In Punjab, the, the fight is between the Amadmi Party and the uh, Congress, and the West Bengal, the Trinamool is also fighting with the uh, against the India bloc. 
so there, there are many parties there are many uh, this, this happened in maharashtra also in maharashtra you know the shivasena the congress and the other uh, uh, ncp contested each other and they have made a, their government and later it was i mean the bjp oh. has done the, the bjp that's that's a good way of that's actually a good way of putting it right sumant rahman you see punjab the nd partners up and uh, uh, congress are fighting in bengal the nd partners uh, trinamool and congress are fighting so subhash chandran says that what's wrong if that's happening in kerala also but uh, shazia shazia sumant rahman says that the bjp is not anyway a big player in kerala so what's the fuss about inevitably it's going to be some kind of contest it's a democracy between the ldf and udf which has historically existed but i thought the bjp could have made more sound and noise about the sdpi support coming for rahul gandhi i think the bjp though of course sir, the candidate there has spoken about it it did not pick up the manner in which the bjp would have picked up in the case of rahul gandhi getting support from pfi linked sdpi shazia no no that issue is a very big one and uh, there is no way we will no, not uh, uh, flag it and take it to the people for sure and everybody knows uh, what the politics of congress party has been vis-a-vis pfi and all the outfits linked to pfi and what the antecedents of pfi have been but that's one thing you know the other day i heard shashi tharur lamenting rather loudly and saying that you know it is not so much a bother for me to have bjp but it is in fact the the left candidate which is uh, who is creating a problem and this is happening across the board so it's just not a matter of just rahul gandhi who has obviously made his choice clear last time he fought, fought from two constituencies he realized now it's a no go for him and amiti his old paramparik traditional constituency and now he's rushed off to the safer haven so to speak so it's all very good when you want to save democracy come together and spell out these platitudes lofty in nature but when it comes to real politic when it comes to saving your own skin when it comes to the local brass tack that is where the truth comes out and the rancor in the ranks is so obvious and it is also evident by the way Uh, by uh, by what it looks like is happening in kerala so much so that we heard a very senior leader suhashni ali ji okay. and not just that the cm the cm has taken it up and this is what is being talked about so who do you convince and our friend before talked as if it's a, it's a normal thing to do fight each other hate each other in bengal the like congress does with tmc but come together on the same no, platform no he said because like you are not there Singh. somebody has to have the contest it's a democracy that's what small he said shahzad small point small point small point no what democracy i mean you fighting each other and then a aam aadmi party there are at each other's throats in punjab and in delhi they have i mean so are you fooling the voters are you fooling your cadres are you are you confused yourself or are you just confusing people there is definitely a lot of confusion about what your ideology is who you stand for what is a larger goal posted and what the end game is what is a larger goal posted and what the end game is okay so sumit rama you know, just a few days back maybe a week back there was there was a post by shashi tharur in which he was uh, lambasting the left cadres for indulging in politics of intimidation yeah now you are saying yeah, everything is hunky dory it's it should not be an issue it's not an issue obviously obviously something is amish sumant raman uh, this is essentially about saving one lok sabha seat of rahul gandhi and nothing else for the congress party the congress party essentially is willing to take this embarrassment because they have no other option for rahul gandhi left perhaps and we know why why not was chosen the the, the composition of the constituency i uh, sort of abhishek let's look at it very realistically rahul gandhi could have contested from at least 50 seats in south india he could have contested from any seat in tamil nadu he could have contested from anywhere else in kerala as well he could have contested from most seats of telangana and he could have contested from a few seats in karnataka as well so there is a very significant possibility that he could have chosen to contest from any of around 40 to 50 seats in southern india so the whole bunkum that he had to go only to vinad and there is no other safe seat for him in india is is absurd the second point is that the india alliance 
has come together only for one purpose. They are not going to dissolve their respective parties and all form one party in the future. No. They are openly saying, yes, we have our differences. We are fighting against each other in many states. But in order to save democracy in India, we are coming together for a larger cause. So there is nothing to misunderstand here. In Kerala, let us say, had it been what's the larger cause? Where what's the, the larger cause? Had a major, uh, was a major force in Kerala. I'm sure the CPM and Congress would have democracy. decided to come together. That's a if, let's cause. say the BJP held 10 of the 20 seats. What's the larger cause? I'm sure Rabat, what's that the larger Congress cause? CPLF could have come together. There is no BJP in Kerala. So, therefore, there is no, no Raman, necessity for Raman, the members Raman, of the India Alliance. I want to know what's this larger cause. And say, I want to know what's this larger cause, Sumant Raman. As, as my friend from the I think CPM you're not getting said, me. Are can the audio be fixed? Sumant Raman, uh, you're not getting my audio. I, uh, my question is, what's the larger cause you are mentioning? You are saying that in Kerala, we will contest, fight against each other, call each other names. But then because there is a larger cause, outside we are one. That's what you're saying. So what's the larger cause? Is Shazia Ilmi the larger cause? I am not saying it. I am not saying it. They have said it themselves. The larger cause is to defeat the BJP in the general elections. So that democracy in the country can be saved. I am not saying it. The India Alliance is saying it. And they have not said it once. They are saying it every day. So therefore, okay. they are clear. Okay, let me, they are not going okay, to let all me take merge this. their parties and stop fighting yeah. each other. They are going to continue. Aam Aadmi Party will continue let to me. oppose the Congress in Delhi and in Punjab after the elections are over. It's not that AAP is going to dissolve its uh, Punjab unit and Congress is going to dissolve its Delhi unit. No. They are going to continue. They have come together for only one reason. And that reason so Shazia, is Shazia, in their opinion, You are acting as the glue. You are acting as a glue for the parties, the ragtag coalition of opposition to really stay together. Essentially, that's the chart. Basically, BJP is the problem. That's why we come together. Yeah, Otherwise, we have our problems. If the BJP is not there, we will, slug, we will have a slugfest. But Abhishek, what a concession it is and an acknowledgement of the fact that they need to bury the hatchet wherever they can and they continue to be warring factions uh, overall. But because the Modi fear drives them to each other, so they forget their own squabbles and their own uh, differences and the old uh, enmities of yesteryears and just to defeat Modi because Modi ji and BJP is such a strong, powerful force. So it's like a bigger enemy versus a smaller enemy. An enemy of my enemy becoming my friend. And also that also uh, temporarily. Now, how does it go with people and voters who can see it all happening? This this hypocrisy, the fake uh, ideological okay, let uh, me just check. closeness or bonding. And, you know, how does it go with people who see those same parties? And, you know, like, for instance, Punjab is not too far from Delhi. So it's like hilarious. So there they abuse each other and here they perform together. I mean, it's the worst kind of opportunism. And the, the, the sad part is that it, it just reeks of opportunism of the worst way, just hoodwinking the people. Because all the issues on which you're fighting in Punjab, in West Bengal, in Kerala, they, they all the change when it comes to the center. So here we are defeating okay. the a larger enemy and here we are defeating <coughs> the smaller enemy. Yeah. I mean, what kind of... Idiocy is this, and you think people are so okay? Before I, sh sh uh, let me let me Modi fear. Modi okay, before fear before Sumant Raman responds to this, Sumant Raman, before you respond to this, let me just ask Subhash Chandran. Subhash Chandran, Sashi Tharoor called CPM cadres goons. These goons, these are the yeah. words he used, exactly. and on a social media platform, yeah. so obviously it was public, yeah. right? In Telangana, the Congress party, because it was in the ascendant, refused even one seat to the CPM to contest. CPM wanted Khammam to contest in the just concluded four months back, five months back assembly elections. The Congress party refused. I think that's why Penarai Vijayan expressing his angst that the Congress party is unreliable. In JNU, you come together. At Jantar Mantar, you come together. In Kerala, you are fighting. How? What message goes... To the cadres, respective cadres, Subhash Chandran. I mean, how do the cadres engage and interact with each other in Kerala? 
in why not for example in tiruvananthapuram for example JNU, the jnu the nsu and the, the left uh, the organization didn't contest uh, together it was there was a, uh, the B, they the nsu contested themselves and the left organization contested themselves and the, the uh, abvp contested uh, separately so then the uh, left uh, organization the left alliance won in jnu and uh, moreover this is the beauty of the democracy abhishek you, you may not be understanding this is not a autocratic party that is or autocratic system like bjp the modi will decide something and uh, the the entire uh, organization the entire country the entire the, the party will thing so this is the the the, uh, the india has a diverse uh, diversity and the india the, pol- the different political parties has its own ideology and this happened in 2004 this happened in 2009 the different uh, political parties with different ideology came together just to defeat the bjp i i don't want to say it's defeating bjp this time we are coming to defeat the communalism we are not uh, defeating bjp uh, in this country we are fighting against the communalism the, the I, I, ideology put by the bjp uh, which is very very dangerous for is rahul gandhi this fighting democracy. communalism or not No, is no, Rahul Gandhi fighting communism or not? Bloc is, uh, the India bloc is fighting against the communalism, which is very dangerous for this country's democracy. No, but so is Rahul Gandhi the, the, fighting co- communalism the, the, or the, not? The, the, the different political parties with different ideology will, uh, means uphold their ideology, will contest each other and we will, we, we will obviously defeat the, the, the communal politics the, of this no, country. No, but you are not answering my question, Suvash Chandran. Is Rahul Gandhi, is Rahul Gandhi, is Rahul Gandhi... fighting communalism or not since the entire india bloc is fighting against the communalist forces in of this country and that is bjp bjp is bjp is leading the communal uh, agenda so we are fighting but there is no bjp, BJP in why not communal... so we are fighting against the bjp against the communal i didn't i didn't i didn't get you abhishek i said there is no bjp in why not so how are you fighting bjp in why not that's why that's why kerala cm has criticized that's why kerala cm has taken this the issue he should have contested from somewhere where the bjp is a major force the okay we have come back to square one we have come back to square one suman thraman but would you want to quickly respond to the opportunism charge that shazi almi made that what you are saying is larger cause is essentially opportunism of uh, the indi bloc uh, political parties that they can fight in kerala they can be friends in uh, bengal they can fight uh, in punjab they can be friends in jnu it's opportunism no no look you have to you have to understand that there are two issues here one is that there is a need for them to come together in their perspective to save democracy which is what they have actively been saying second there is also the realization that if the bjp and prime minister modi get a third term their political survival could be at stake so i would not say that this is some great selfless decision made out of purely out of love for the country it is also self love every politician must have some element of self you have uh, said it you, know, uh, you have uh, said uh, it suman thraman it's an act of self preservation to survive you have said it suman thraman and i really should thank you for that it's an act of self preservation by the congress party and uh, as subhash chandran said, said that the beauty of democracy we are all part of it we are celebrating it the congress party's pick one situation because uh, subhash chandran talked about beauty of democracy na khuda hi mila na visale sanam na idhar ke rahe na udhar ke that seems to be the situation on that note thank you so much shazia ilmi subhash chandran suban si raman for joining us a short break trending bane question is back on the other side kain sir your dinner on a tile are it's antibacterial mhm <laughs> resistant also but plates chain by it's a tile lad i am plus technology se bane world class tiles tile ho to simple ho 15000 placements in 2022 23 at amity we are committed to nurturing passionate hard working and proactive professionals kain sir your dinner on a tile are it's antibacterial mhm Easy to clean. The plates. Clean by. It's a tile lad. I am plus technology se bane world class tiles. Tile ho to simple ho. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion. Kachativu, an island that Nehru effectively shrugged his shoulders on, said it was not important to India. And like many other parts of the country, Nehru wanted to give up parts of the country. He wanted to give up Kachativu also because it's a waste of time to keep it pending in parliament. This is the reality of Nehru. Nehru, the same person, ladies and gentlemen, who said, during the Chinese aggression, my heart goes out to the people of Assam, almost willing to give up Assam. This party, ladies and gentlemen, at different points of time has been prepared to compromise the territorial integrity of India. Indira Gandhi in 1974 then signed the agreement to hand it over saying it had little strategic value. It's a piece of rock. 285 acre island in the Pox Straits between India and Sri Lanka, this area is very critical. It is where we have reported on umpteen instances of reports of Indian fishermen being taken into custody. Now, what is my view in all of this? Of course, the BJP might have its political play in mind while outlining the facts on Kachativu about how the Congress party gifted away part of Indian territory to Sri Lanka. ये मैच फिक्सिंग नरेंद्र मोदी और हिंदुस्तान के तीन चार सबसे बड़े अरबपति मिलकर कर रहे हैं मैं मोदी का मंत्र है भ्रष्टाचार हटाओ वो कहते हैं भ्रष्टाचारी बचाओ ये चुनाव इन दो खेमों की लड़ाई है भ्रष्टाचारी कान खोल के सुन ले ये मोदी पर चाहे कितने भी हमले करे मोदी है रुकने वाला नहीं है भ्रष्टाचारी चाहे कितना ही बड़ा चौड़ा हो एक्शन होगा जरूर होगा जितने देश को लूटा है उसे लौटाना ही पड़ेगा ये मोदी की गारंटी है लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन You're watching the trending burning question with me, Shavan Sin. It comes on a day when the Aam Admi Party had suffered a major setback with uh, their party chief, Arvind K. Jriwal, being sent uh, to Tihar Jail. Questions were essentially being raised as to who exactly is going to lead the, the Aam Admi Party. Today, it comes across as a big uh, relief for the party as their senior leader, Sanjay Singh, has been granted bail from the Supreme Court, marking a significant development in the ongoing Likigate scandal. With questions that have been raised over ED's handling of the case and no money being recovered from Sanjay Singh's uh, possession, the court's decision comes across as uh, a big relief for Ahmad B. Party. What is it that the enforcement directed has been saying and how exactly has that been countered? The question here is that whether at all this is going to have any impact on the other leaders who are still behind bars. For instance, uh, the former Deputy Chief Minister of uh, Delhi, Manish Sisodia, Satender Jain, yet another minister who's uh, behind uh, the bars, and the implications that uh, Singh's release has on AAP's political standing in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Now, that apart, the enforcement directed to has some answering to do. Can you actually just rely on witness statements before taking any action against an accused? If you really take a look at what has happened with regards to Arvind Kejriwal, this is what the legal counsel of Arvind Kejriwal have to say. What was the need of the arrest? And secondly, was it only based on the witness statements that have been recorded? The question here is also about money trail. After all, the enforcement directorate is essentially looking at whether at all there has been exchange of money. Ahmadmi Party says that the enforcement directorate hasn't been able to find out 
where exactly is the money that they are really talking about. Enforcement director says the money has already been utilized through Hawala transactions. All said and done with the Supreme Court now saying that this cannot be seen as a precedent. Can the Aam Admi Party also say that their, the allegations that have been leveled against them are all clear? Take a look at this report and then we begin the trending burning question. In a big relief for the Aam Admi Party, AAP MP Sanjay Singh was granted bail by the Supreme Court. After questioning the Enforcement Directorate over the arrest of Sanjay Singh in the Lika Gate scam, the Supreme Court said that no money was recovered from Sanjay Singh's possession. The ED fails to oppose the bail application. When the bail application was bail application, the ED was asked some questions from the ED. Then the ED asked that why they don't have to pay them, why they don't have to pay them, why they don't have to pay them. Because किसी भी बात का ठीक रिप्लाई नहीं दे पाए थे इस वजह से बहुत बड़ी राहत के रूप में हम संजय सिंह जी का इस केस में हम समझ रहे हैं हमने देखा कि किस तरह से पिछले दो साल से एक एक करके एक एक करके आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं को झूठे केसों में गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा था फंसाया जा रहा था ऐसे अप्रूवर्स जिन्होंने एक बार दो बार तीन बार चार बार पहले बयान दिए लेकिन उन पे दबाव बनाया गया उनको धमकाया गया उनको जेल में डाला गया जब तक उन्होंने आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं के खिलाफ गवाही नहीं दी मीन वाइल द बीजेपी कंटिन्यू टू चार्ज एट आम आदमी पार्टी वेंटेटर नेरेटिव एक प्रकार से अपने आप को दोष मुक्त बताने के लिए तो आज इस अति उत्साह में इस आम आदमी पार्टी ने अपने और आपको एक और गहरे संकट में डाल दिया इन देर ओवर एंथुजियाजम इन ऑर्डर टू क्लेम एंड टू क्लच एट स्ट्रॉस टू ट्राई एंड प्रोजेक्ट अ रूटीन ऑर्डिनरी बेल एज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ क्लीन चिट एंड अ विक्ट्री The Aam Aadmi Party has further indicted itself today. वो तो उनको bail मिल गई और ED ने oppose भी नहीं किया। देखिए इसके हमारी जो court system की, हमारी judiciary की जो robust independence है, अब वो कहते हैं कल जब Rahul Gandhi जी बोल रहे थे उस दिन Ramlila Madan owner बोला election commission ये fixed match है, election commissioner भी आपके हैं, judiciary भी आपकी है। अरे भाई judiciary हमारी होती, तो ये इतनी बढ़िया scheme है electoral bond, क्यों उन्होंने उसको नेगेटिव कर दिया तो ये तो ये हमारी हमारी डेमोक्रेसी की खासियत है कि हम हम अगर कोर्ट्स कोर्ट्स इंडिपेंडेंट हैं वो जो भी निर्णय लेंगे पर ईडी ने अपोज भी नहीं किया मान्य न्यायालय बेल दिया है तो अब उनको तो कहिए कि मान्य न्यायालय को धन्यवाद देने के लिए जेल भी मान्य न्यायालय भेज रहे हैं बेल भी मान्य न्यायालय दे रहे हैं लेकिन ये संविधान विरोधी संवैधानिक संस्था का अपमान करने वाले लोग ये दोहरे चरित्र अपनाते हैं जनता के बीच भ्रम फैलाते हैं और संविधान का संवैधानिक संस्था का अपमान करते हैं सिंह वॉज अरेस्टेड बाई द इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन द मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग केस साइटिंग हिज अलेजेड रोल इन फ्रेमिंग एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द नाउ स्क्रैप्ट डेली एक्साइज पॉलिसी In the original allegations, ED had claimed that Singh had taken two crore rupees as kickbacks. However, the Supreme Court noted that there is no money trail proved in this case. Singh, a Rajya Sabha MP, has been in jail for six months and is now the first AAP leader to be granted regular bail in the scam. With AAP Supremo still behind the bars, Singh's bail marks a breather for the Aam Aadmi Party. How will Sanjay Singh's release impact Aam Aadmi Party's standing in the Lok Sabha poll race? Will this change AAP's luck? That is the trending burning question tonight. Shahzad Ilmi of uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party joining us on this uh, broadcast along with Manasvi Thapar. Shahzad, Justice Khanna, this is what he said and I'm quoting him. You have kept him in custody for six months. Dinesh Arora 
has not initially implicated him later on in a statement he does no money has been recovered the trace of money is not there because it was long back fact of the matter is that money has not been recovered please keep in mind that if we are with him we are required to record in terms of section 45 that he has uh, prima facie not committed an offense that could have its own ramifications in the trial the question that i want to ask you is this shazia that uh, the agency appears to be in the dock right now with not being able to provide any evidence with regards to the alleged kickbacks that were received by the Aam Admi Party. So Shravan, first of all, let me make it very clear. I don't speak for any agency, nor do I speak for the courts. I don't speak for the judiciary, neither do I speak for any of the agencies. And at the very fact that Sanjay Singh has been granted bail just goes on to show, as Hardipuri just rightly said, the robustness and the um, efficacy uh, and the neutrality of our respective courts. Uh, but it is the same courts which refused bail to Mani Sisodia and Satendra Jain at the highest level. So if this means that uh, Sanjay Singh is indeed free to go or is uh, there's some relief, then it also goes on to prove that something is not all right and something is seriously wrong with the way excise policy happened in which Manish Sisodia and Satinder Jain in another matter and many others arrested, about 12 of them because there were 14 arrests and now they are 12. All of them, there is something not just wrong, but they're totally complicit in the excise scam. Because if this proves that Sanjay, is, uh, Sanjay Ji is free to go, it also proves that Manish is not free to go. So by the same logic, conversely, it means that. And it also goes on to show, and I think both Rahul Gandhi and or the entire team of AAP owes an apology to this nation for having doubted the judiciary of our country. You can say things about ED or CBI because you want to conflate it and make it appear as if it's Modi ji. But who gives you bail? The courts. Who sends you to jail? The courts and not ED not CBI, not even the Prime Minister. So stop peddling that lie and come clean and be honest and don't bring down the country every time you talk when your leaders go to jail. Manasvi, the logic here is this, that you did have a section within the Ahmad Bay party raising questions about whether at all this investigation is completely biased. The very fact they said, where exactly is the money? This has been countered to Manaswi that when you have Hawala transactions that have taken place, how exactly would you have any recovery that has been made? So it is simplistic when they make this entire argument that look here, they found no money. Obviously, they'll not find any money if that money has already been utilized through Hawala transactions that have actually taken place. And you would have those Hawala operators who have been taken into custody. Some have been taken into custody. Some of whose statements have been recorded. So simply saying that they have not found any money means I'm not guilty. We have to we have to talk about today's context and Hawala money does not go in Hawa. It goes somewhere. So there has to be some trail. So that is this what that is what the Supreme Court also asked or said orally was that where is the money trail? The Supreme Court is asking it and ED could not till date find money trail. And this particular guy, Sanjay Singh Ji, has been in jail since last six months. So the reality of it, where is the uh, uh, proceed of crime? So you have to trace it back. You could not trace it back. So that's the reality. And it is a massive thing from Ahmad, for Ahmadni Party. Why when we say that is because agencies are behind uh, the opposition and Aam Admi Party specifically most of their leaders are behind the top leaders are behind the bar and this is a great relief for them and it, it also shows the optics are not going right with this particular judgment uh, for the BJP and the optics will not go right because agency could not prove a 2 crore trace so Dinesh Aroda which, is, has, which has become an approver he made that statement yes I gave this money to XYZ and where is that money that money you could not pro prove in last six months. So where did that money go? So you have to create that trace. A XYZ person comes and says that I gave money to XYZ ABCD person and you can't prove that. 
you can investigate as much as you want to but there is law of this country also the highest court of this country will give, ask you this question so, to the agency I... also that where is the trace where is the money where is the uh, proceed of crime so that true, till date true. while sajia ji is, is a spokesperson yeah, of the bjp she cannot answer that because ed cannot no, no, I can't answer that. Of I can't just that. so Only the question is on ed not sajia ji where is the pro pro crime proceed of crime just, Manasi, before i take that, yourself before i take that but it's at the same Time. One minute. At you the same in, time, when she does not Shazia, have answer, she says minute. that you are repeating. At the yourself. same time, you Where do have you do no, have the, the Supreme Court crime. saying that yeah, this cannot be treated as a precedent. You cannot see this as, as simply as a precedent too, Manasvi. Let's let's understand one thing: that he has been granted bail. Yeah, that is true. It is the not a precedent. That's right. Court yeah. Has also it, taken it is not one a second. One second. That is right. The Supreme it's Court not, also it's says not that. It's not like a clean sheet that has been given. One minute. Just hold. Hear me out. Hear me out. The, I did actually quote. I did actually quote what Justice Khanna had to say. Let me also quote what was it that the court had to say when they were hearing the bail plea of Manish Sisodia as well as Satyendra Jain. Prima facie evidence against both the leaders. One of the reasons why Satyendra Jain was asked to go back to Tihar Jail, Manaswi, was because the court, in their wisdom, believed that there is enough evidence to send the person back to the jail. So the fact of the matter is this: that while you cannot have both the leaders being seen from the same prism simply because there are there's evidence against both the leaders. but the reality is this you had a section within the party casting aspersions on the the judiciary itself including some of the other india alliance leaders who simply said that look here this is all part of that fixed match if it was all part of the fixed match then perhaps sanjay singh we should have also been behind bars we have to look it from the spectrum of that we cannot have an innocent person be behind the bars what is happening in today's time and age is uh, the the criminal jurisprudence is criminal until Who's proven guilty but what happens right now is before the trial has started before any kind of conclusion or any kind of judgment by any of the courts or the trial court we are coming to conclusions yes yes this particular person when it comes from the opposition yes he is guilty yes there is a scam yes there is a corruption but prima facie in the specific case of sanjay singh which we are discussing right now where is that appro uh, where approver mr dinesh arora when he said that i had given money to sanjay singh where is that shazi wants to six months a particular person has been behind the bars but till date we could not prove that particular two crores given by dinesh arora to sanjay singh so can we trust this approver the question comes to my mind is can we trust this approver yes, we cannot I'm trust, trust this approver okay. anymore no, no, okay can you on, can you trust the approver and shazia 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 hear me out Shazia, hear me out. T take my question to take my question to Manasvi says that can you really trust the approver? I am ad adding one more question to here. Can you simply go by statements that have been given by people who were an accused in the case at a later stage? The agency feels that okay, if the person becomes an approver, perhaps it strengthens my case. Is that really good enough? because as far as arvind kejriwal is concerned Shavan, have, i do not see Shavan, a single uh, place from a, the remand that we have accessed law, nowhere is it written it, that you uh, know he's been part of the conspiracy yes and and shravan you yourself cover uh, court proceedings you know just a just a statement or testimony of a approver is not used can, and cannot be used as um, uh, as fait accompli it has to be corroborated with evidence that is available and there has been ample evidence because there were 14 arrests earlier and then two more added and as and when people came through more and more information was elicited it was after k kavita was uh, arrested uh, uh, which is when we got some more information and that's when arvind kejriwal who was dodging the summons nine times over went to delhi high court which actually asks this question as to why he's not been taken in so it is you know so where one court says this you start celebrating when the other court says something totally contrary uh you you uh, you uh, question the neutrality so i think there is a problem there and going beyond the legal questions here i don't think is very very good for aam aadmi party 
that uh, Sanjay Singh is coming back. You're talking about the ramifications. Mm -hmm. So legal legality we discussed, but from whatever I know, and I know a fair amount of mm -hmm. stuff because I was part of that party and that Andolan way back. Now there are a lot of newbies who I don't know, but at that point of time, so there's some of the old ones are saying because there is such a spanner mm -hmm. in the works thrown in by Kejriwal mm -hmm. himself yesterday. Uh, talking about and bringing to everybody's notice the testimony of Vijay Nair, where he actually says that he's been reporting to Atishi and Saurabh because of which both of them are stumped right now. And then here comes yeah, the come news on, of come Sanjay Singh. So it only muddies the water. Okay, say, the say, the party. say the buses. Say the buses. And yeah. I think. So I, I think okay. it's going I to find be this a little interesting. Very, very no, I find this a little interesting. Time allowed. Say it. Say it. Thank you. No, but Sayed, I'll surely give you the time. Don't worry. They might hijack now, the party. I find this a little interesting. That he would appear as a super CM. Now we have okay. another player. Now, I, fi I find this extremely interesting because you have you so have a classic situation coming up. You have a very interesting situation coming up here. You have a man who is just next to the chief minister's bungalow. That bungalow is not meant for this gentleman called Vijay Nair. He happens to be the communication manager, does not hold any official position, but has been given what is supposed to be the bungalow of another minister. Happily given to this gentleman. No explanation that has been given. The chief minister says that, look, here, I don't have anything to do with this man, even though he's my neighbor. Even though he's my neighbor, that bungalow does not belong to him, but I've given him. But that person does not report to me. Now, how bizarre a logic can that be, Sayyid Abbas? All right. So let me now tell you something very straight, uh, Shavan Sabha. I will oh, definitely yes. answer that question. But before that, on a lighter note, Shazia Ji, ki bhot varisht pravakta hai. Shazia Ji, mein aapko kehna chahunga, jo aap itna muskura rahe ho, kya hum hai jisko chupa rahe ho? Bata do aapko, Shavan Sab, I can understand today, you know, I've been a part of several debates. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic to see BJP spokesperson turn into enforcement direct spokesperson and they're still not able to defend the indefensible. The fact is Sanjay Singh got bailed. Justice Khanna quoted, no money trail, no money recovered, absolutely nothing. Why do you want to keep him in jail? Also, as a matter of fact, had I really wish the enforcement directorate had come to argue, why did they not ask you? Why didn't they come to argue? Because of the simple reason they have no case here. Had they come to argue, the justice, this court would have taken them to task, asking for the merits of the case, asking for the intervention of the approver, asking why Dinesh Arora, after nine okay, statements, did not see a word on Sanjay Singh. But on the 10th statement, after getting bail, he implicates Sanjay Singh. The fact is, na sir, hai, na pair hai, no head, no tail, and you have put this innocent man six months in jail. The fact of the matter is, dekhiye, ibtidaye siyasat hai, rota hai kya, aage aage dekh, hota hai kya, sir Sanjay Singh nahi, Arvind Kejriwal, Satyendar Jain, Manish Sisodia, sabhi baahir aayenge, aur bhajpa ko ye dekhna padega, kyunki Shavan sahab, zulmi jab bhi zulm karega, satta ki galiyano se, chappa chappa goonj uthega, in khalaap ke naaron se, इनको जनार्दन रेड्डी से अलायंस करने में कोई तकलीफ नहीं होती कौन जनार्दन रेड्डी मस्त कट आउट इस वेरी स्टेट का सेवेंटी थाउजेंड माइनी करो नॉट जस्ट आप निर्मल सिंह या सीतारमण जी सिंपली सेड इन अ न्यूज़ समय दैट वेल दिस वेरी यू डिड नॉट आंसर सही तो बात है वॉशिंग मशीन बट बस तो नहीं आंसर सही � I do understand. I do understand. Sayed, I do understand the temptation that you have right now to celebrate this. Of course, you should. But the fact, Sayed, do answer my question when I asked you that don't you find this a bizarre logic when you have a neighbor that to not an ordinary neighbor, someone who stays in a bungalow which is meant to be that of a minister has no official role to play. He's not an MLA, he's not a parliamentarian, but he's been given a bungalow right next to the chief minister's residence. And the chief minister says, look, I have nothing to do. I don't know this person. This person reports to my fellow colleagues. And the fellow colleagues don't respond to that also. Have you really heard anything from Atishi or for that matter, Saurabh Bhardwaj with regards to Vijay Nair? Shavanji, you've, you've asked a very important question. I will answer it. 
One year, six months back, Vijayanayar was asked, who do you report to in the Amadmi party? Vijayanayar stated that I report to Arishi and Saurabh Bharadwaj. That was the answer. The same question was asked a uh, day before yesterday to Arvind Kejriwal ji, who does Vijayanayar reported to? Arvind Kejriwal said the same. He reports to Atishi and Saurabh. Now, coming to the question about the neighbor, how is... There could be many a presence of the neighbors around my place, your place, or anybody's place. It's not necessary that a position of the chief minister has all information of his neighbors. And it's not just the relatives, even neighbors, we can't choose many a times. So, therefore, this question honestly must be addressed to the likes of Kejriwal ji. That would be the right way to go ahead. And neighbor, not neighbor, that's not pertaining here. And by the way, even Vijay coming to the merits of the case is not a criminal criminal here. Undoubtedly, sure, I, I'm he is curious to know. in the jail, so, but he's so not I convicted of any crime. So, therefore, for the Bharatiya Janata well, Party to celebrate... Okay, Shazia, one quick word. Absolutely no Shazia, one yes. quick word. No, 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 it's very important that I say that because of all Shraman, the cliched, hackneyed stuff uh, our friend came up with, which was withdrawn. Well, Manish, so come really, to you. But obviously, he missed out because I'd answered these questions in the beginning too. So, now Vijay Nair, who runs an events management company, is strange made the media in charge and given a ministerial bungalow. That's one. Now, there is there are connections, obviously, with Manish Sodia and the whole policy is brought in. And also, the if it's being made out to be the Sanjay Singh, because he's got bail, he's going scot-free and there is no case against anybody. It's a, it's a complete misrepresentation and understanding of what's happened. The very same uh, Supreme Court and all the courts in question have actually denied the bail of both Satendra Jain and uh, Mani Sisodia. And now that Sanjay Singh is back, I think all the chances of Sunita Kejriwal becoming the super CM and Atashi and Saurabh hijacking the party, which insinuated by what Arvind Kejriwal said and repeated Vijayanaya. So on the one hand, Arvind Kejriwal says, yes, he has nothing to do with Vijayanaya. But in case of Atashi and Saurabh, what does he say? He agrees with what Vijayanaya says. Shravan, can I please come in? Sayad, I've given you the opportunity. Let me just get a quick word. Let me just get a quick word from Manasvi. Manasvi, it also settles. It also settles the debate. It also settles the debate. One minute. Manasvi, it also settles the debate that was perhaps started by the India Alliance, saying that this was a fixed match. At least one thing is very clear, that the judiciary remains extremely independent when it comes to the electoral bond. If you're you know, jubilant about the fact that it has been struck down, it's because of the independence of the court. Same is the case. It is the same very court which says that there is prima facie evidence against Manish Sisodia. It is the same very court which says that where is the money as far as Sanjay Singh is concerned. So let's be very clear about one thing, that no clean shit has been given. Questions have been asked of the enforcement directorate. No, Shravan, the most important part when it comes to fixing of match matches is that, yes, the judiciary is independent. Thankfully, it is independent. We are proud of our judiciary. But when it comes to the investigating authorities, and same uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi used to say that ED, CBI are caged parrots of UPA. And now this, them, they are similarly in that particular context, which was said in 2012 to, between CBI. 14. And in now look at the signed. scenario. Not Every Modi Now, Shaziyadi, during that time, you were in Ahmadi Party and you also the said the same thing. Shaziyadi, you were in Ahmadi Party party during that time please 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 no, no, I know. Shravan, Shravan I didn't spoke over her so please let, let, let me speak it's a factual correction please Shravan correct okay. Modi ji never said Ladies that it was the Supreme Court who said that to CBI Shravan, during Shravan, UPA Shravan this is unkind time. of her Shravan Just Shravan this is unkind I don't see this I don't see this ending anytime soon okay okay Manasvi 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 Syed Abbas and Shazia I apologize I'll have to cut you short we're running short of time but I can assure you one thing, that this is not ending anytime soon. The fact that you have Sanjay Singh out, uh, questions would be asked, who exactly is now going to run the party? Can the party still be run from inside the Tihar Jail? That's the other aspect that we'll touch upon. But thank you very much for joining us on the, on the trending burning question. On the other side, the big debate coming up with Editor-in-Chief Ornob Goswami. Kane, sir, your dinner. On a tile? Are it's antibacterial. Mm hmm. Scratch resistant also. But plates? Kane, by. It's a tile ad. I am plus technology, Simone. World class tiles. Tile ho, the simple ho. 
15,000 placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Keen, sir, your dinner. On a tile? And it's antibacterial. Mm hmm. Easy to clean. But plates? Clean by. It's a tile ad. I am plus technology se bane world class tiles tile ho to simple ho After we've been here many many times and it's been a, a season with we have had a lot of uh, speculations uh, regarding my my future and till now we had so many games uh, we've been pretty busy we've been pretty pretty focused and i wanted to to use that time of the international break to to reflect a little bit better and to to take a, a decision and last uh, last week uh, i had a very good meeting with with simon with fernando with with Marin, when i informed them that my decision to to continue being coach of uh, Bayer Leverkusen and at this moment I feel that this is the the right place for me to to be to develop as a as a coach I am a young coach but uh, I have to to feel it and I right now I feel that this is the right place and I have to thank many uh, the management the club that has been really really supportive I feel really really respected by all the departments the fans that uh, they show a great support during this this year last year as well in difficult moments i felt that and they have all the reasons to to believe and to to dream that we can have a, a great season and we are really pushing for that the players they gave me so many reasons to keep believing in in uh, in the team uh, for their commitment for their desire for their hunger to to have a great season i feel that my job is not is not over here i want to help them so putting all the things together uh, i've taken rahul's big warning country will be on fire desh ko dhamki de rahe hain agar bjp jeeti to desh mein aag lag jayegi मोदी दस साल से बैठा है तुम्हारी लगाई हुई आग को बुझा रहा इज राहुल फ्रस्ट्रेटेड ओवर कांग्रेस इज स्ट्रगल फॉर मेजोरिटी वेटिंग टू नाइट एट नाइन पी एम जय जय श्री राम मात्र चुनाव नहीं है ये चुनाव उन लोगों को फिर से सही जगह दिखाने का समय है जिन लोगों ने सामाजिक ताने बाने को छिन्न भिन्न करने का कार्य किया है पूरी मैच फिक्सिंग करने की कोशिश की जा रही है ये मैच फिक्सिंग नरेंद्र मोदी और हिंदुस्तान के तीन चार सबसे बड़े अरबपति मिलकर कर रहे हैं मैं मोदी का मंत्र है भ्रष्टाचार हटाओ वो कहते हैं भ्रष्टाचारी बचाओ ये चुनाव इन दो खेमों की लड़ाई है जब मोदी पूरी ताकत से भ्रष्टाचार के खिलाफ लड़ाई लड़ रहा है तो इन लोगों ने मिलकर एक इंडी गठबंधन भी बना लिया है इनको लगता है कि मोदी इनसे डर जाएगा लेकिन मेरे लिए मेरा भारत मेरा परिवार है
सारी कान खोल के सुन ले ये मोदी पर चाहे कितने भी हमले करे मोदी है रुकने वाला नहीं है भ्रष्टाचारी चाहे कितना ही बड़ा चौड़ा हो एक्शन होगा जरूर होगा जितने देश को लूटा है उसे लौटाना ही पड़ेगा ये मोदी की गारंटी है From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Swami on the debate at 9 presented by Amity University powered by RP Sanjeev Goenka Policy Bazaar co powered by Belkol Good evening and welcome ladies and gentlemen and the latest is that Rahul Gandhi has threatened that the country will burn Rahul Gandhi says आग लग जाएगी द कंट्री विल बर्न इफ नरेंद्र मोदी गेट सिलेक्टेड टू अ थर्ड टर्म एंड एनी चेंजेस आर मेड टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन हिंदी ही एज सेड आग लग जाएगी देश में आग लग जाएगी विच लिटरली मीन्स द कंट्री विल बी ऑन फायर नाउ देर आर नो टू वेज ऑफ लुकिंग हेर इट सो इट इज टोटली क्लियर टू मी दैट राहुल गांधी ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस हैज सेट that he will set the country ablaze if someone else wins and if the winning sides makes changes to the constitution with the numbers that they have now what does rahul gandhi's aag lag jayegi comment imply first that he is absolutely certain that the nda will get over 2/3 majority in the lok sabha two that making changes to the constitution is okay if you are from the wadra gandhi family which you've been doing all these years but not okay if you are not from the wadra gandhi family basically means that if robert wadra becomes prime minister of india he can make all the changes he wants but not if anybody outside the wadra gandhi family makes changes three this is a classic script in my view of a poor loser it's like saying you will dig up the cricket pitch if you lose it is like some kind of a toddler tantrum but with one very dangerous implication rahul gandhi is threatening to tear my country down if he loses and that is why to him i say rahul gandhi the country is not your private property to do as you please your family doesn't own the country and if you want to make changes to the constitution first learn how to win first go get a two thirds majority you can't even win amethi changes to the constitution cannot be done randomly anyway and mr gandhi when will you learn the constitution allows for a change in the constitution as per a set procedure fundamentally first you have to have the numbers you have to learn how to win and if you are certain that you will lose i have a three word piece of advice for you mr gandhi get a life leave our country alone we're debating that tonight viewers first aag lag jayegi comment of rahul gandhi two people talk like this it's not funny it's not funny anymore viewers this is dangerous aag lag jayegi what does he mean aag lag jayegi debate number 2 tonight Sanjay Singh 
Right hand man of Kejriwal gets bail. Where's the money trail? If they are going to get bail, where's the money trail? Debate number three tonight. Baba Ramdev go to the Supreme Court to say sorry, Supreme Court is unmoved. It's really furious at Baba Ramdev. Apology unaccepted. Big blow to Patanjali. Debate three and here are the headlines. This Tuesday evening on the debate tonight. कांग्रेस के शाही परिवार के शाहजादे ने शाहजादे ने ऐलान किया है कि अगर देश ने तीसरी बार बीजेपी सरकार को चुनी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी सेस राहुल गांधी एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर गिव्स इट बैक आफ्टर राहुल्स India will burn comment. ये कहा गया अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी नहीं ज्वाइन करी तो आने वाले एक महीने में ईडी द्वारा मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा पिछले आठ नौ साल में मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया एंड दैट्स अर एक्सपोज है आतिशी हेज अ टेन एम प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंसेस I am going to be the next one to be arrested. This is old tactic and ploy of Mr. Kejriwal to save his own skin. He can go to any extent when he has cheated Anna Hazare and other senior leaders of AAP. What are Atishi and Saurabh? BJP hits back at the AAP after fires a certified liar jibe after Atishi's Operation Lotus claim. Meanwhile, interesting turn of events. The ED does not oppose. Does not oppose granting bail to Sanjay Singh. Kejriwal in. Sanjay Singh gets bail. He's coming out. Supreme Court massively pulls pulls up Ramdev over the Patanjali controversy of misleading advertisements. And cracks widen in the Indi. Pinare Vijayan slams Rahul Swainard candidature once again. And ladies and gentlemen, Rahul Gandhi had accused the BJP of match fixing, and had said that if the BJP wins the polls and changes the constitution, then the country will be on fire. Aag lag jayegi, Rahul Gandhi said. Today there was a fierce retort from the Prime Minister, which has brought the focus on this absurd threat from the Vadra Gandhi family. If they lose, let's debate. Match fixing ka chunao, BJP jite, ko is pure desh mein aag lagne ja rahi hai, aag lagne ja rahi hai. Sahajade ne alaan kiya hai. कि अगर देश ने तीसरी बार बीजेपी सरकार को चुनी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी विद लोकसभा पोल्स जस्ट डेज अवे राहुल गांधी हैज इश्यूड अ बिग वार्निंग अगर हिंदुस्तान में मैच फिक्सिंग का चुनाव बीजेपी जीते और उसके बाद संविधान को उन्होंने बदला तो इस पूरे देश में आग लगने जा रही है प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हैज कॉल्ड आउट राहुल गांधी इमरजेंसी माइंडसेट कांग्रेस के शाही परिवार के शाहजादे ने शाहजादे ने ऐलान किया है कि अगर देश ने तीसरी बार बीजेपी सरकार को चुनी आग लग जाएगी साठ साल तक देश पर राज करने वाले दस साल सत्ता से बाहर क्या रह गए अब देश में आग लगाने की बात कर रहे हैं Rahul Gandhi has ended up making provocative statements every time he tries to counter BJP's narrative. 
मोदी जी चाहते हैं कि आप दिन भर दिन भर मोबाइल पे रहो जय श्री राम बोलो और भूखे मर जाओ भारत माता की जय मगर ये भारत माता है कौन ये है क्या सवाल है सरकार का सिस्टम हमारा इंस्टीट्यूशनल सिस्टम जो है पूरा का पूरा उसमें ओबीसी की कितनी भागीदारी है दलितों की कितनी भागीदारी है आदिवासियों की कितनी भागीदारी है ये हिंदुस्तान के सामने मेन सवाल है असुरा शक्ति से लड़ाई हो रही है ठीक है नफरत भरी असुरा शक्ति कांग्रेस टेयर्स एट एन एग्जिस्टेंशियल क्राइसिस एज सेवरल टॉप लीडर्स है पार्टी What message does Rahul Gandhi want to send across the country? Is the country responsible for Congress's falling vote share? Let's debate. And I reviewers my hashtag is clearly our counter to this aag lag jayegi comment माई हैश टैग इज आग नहीं लगेगी हम हमारे देश को आग लगाने नहीं देंगे आग कोई लगाने की कोशिश करेगा तो आग को बुझाएंगे वी वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड नॉट बर्न बिल्ड नॉट बर्न आग नहीं लगेगी और फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू ओपन दिस इवनिंग विथ अद्वैता काला अद्वैता आई डोंट नो इफ यू सॉ दिस कॉमेंट एक्चुअली इज स्केप माई अटेंशन But when the prime minister spoke about it, I went and saw Rahul Gandhi's speech. I could not believe that any mature person can talk like this. Ag laga denge, ag lag jayegi. What do you mean by that? Aap harenge, aapki wipe out hone wali hai. Or aap keh rahe hain ag laga denge, ag kyu lagayenge aap? Aapki jagir hai. Do you own the country, Ramesh Sabarwal, to make the country burn? Advaita Kala, do you want to start the debate? Let me get you in. Advaita. Well, I think I think it's pure instigation. There is no other way to look at it. Uh, fortunately for India, not too many people buy into Rahul Gandhi's vision of the country, so we can be quite as well assured that आग नहीं लग लगेगी देश को जो भी प्रयत्न हो उसके बावजूद आग नहीं लगेगी देश को. I mean, my sympathies with him. He's fighting what looks like a losing battle at this point, and he. Forward. one of incitement of spreading discord of creating insecurity amongst people that's the message that he all has to offer and then he has the gall to say that i'm running a mohabbat ki dukaan now please tell me where is the mohabbat it's only incitement and frankly it's a very dangerous game that he's play for himself the country is sensible but he himself the kind of messaging he's doing is very very dangerous आग क्यों लगाएंगे आप बताइए मिस्टर सबरवाल कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दिस बाय द वे आई थिंक अद्वैता अद्वैता आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू इन द कोर्स ऑफ द प्रोग्राम टू पुट आउट द हैश टैग आग नहीं लगेगी वी मस्ट नो वी मस्ट मेक अ काउंटर वायरल थिंग आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगाने नहीं देंगे अद्वैता काला ट्वीट करें पहला ट्वीट करें हैश आग नहीं लगेगी राहुल जी आग नहीं लगेगी बीजेपी के जो the style of working the bjp no, no, aag lag aag aag they are they are instigating the fire in the country no no he's not they are creating he has said that agar yes. inko aur ek baar wo jeet jayega milega to ye log aag laga denge nahi unhone nahi kaha ye yahi tone and tenor yahi hai secret intention hi hai koi hum koi is desh ke andar to humne apni jaane di hai agar magar aapne comment ko suna did you hear what he said can you start he said one can you start again you want me to play that again i'll tell you what he said rahul gandhi has said that if the bjp wins this election if the bjp wins the election and makes changes to the constitution then the whole country will be on fire and he has said mark my words this country will not survive he has said this country will die he has said the country will die the country will burn and the congress party when it was in power has brought in how many constitution amendments How many constitution amendments have you brought in? Anlakji, There is a process, Article three sixty eight of the constitution these provides the process for are, constitution amendment. Article three sixty eight of the constitution says the parliament may, in exercise of the constituent power, amend by way of addition, variation, or delete or repeal any provision of this constitution in provision with the procedures laid down in this article. So my question is, if somebody wins. 
and has those kind of numbers to make appropriate changes as mandated within the constitution, your response to it cannot be to say, Aag lag jayegi. You have crossed the limit. You have said Aag lag jayegi. You have said effectively Aag lag jayegi. You have said my country will not survive. I need an answer to that. No, I need to say that. Don't try and dodge it today. Don't dodge it. Don't dodge it. Don't dodge it. Iska matlab bahut gambhi hai. I am telling you, enough is enough. No, 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 no. Okay. You tell, okay. You go on a versus with Gauravadi. You go on a versus with Gauravadi. You explain it to him tonight. You explain it to him tonight. He has said aag He has said aag lag jai ki. He has said aag nahi lagi. Lagane nahi denge. Jalane nahi denge. Raj nahi karne denge. My country will grow. You can lose the election. If you are a loser. If you are a bad loser. If you are a forever loser. If you always want to lose the if you have, how many constituents, how many changes, how many, everyone is there, how many changes has he brought to the constitution, how many changes, how many changes has he brought to the constitution, how many changes has he brought to the constitution, how many changes did his father bring to the constitution, how many changes did his grandfather, grandmother bring to the constitution, I say, aag nahi lagegi, I tell you, okay, so, you know, the constitution changes, what does he mean, apologize, Rahul Gandhi is a symbol of, Rahul Gandhi, what do you mean? Rahul Gandhi is a symbol of Mahatma Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi is a symbol of India Gandhi. Sure, he is a symbol. 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 Sure, he is a और हैशटैग इज वॉट आई बिलीव एवरी वन ऑन आग नहीं लगेगी और जो लोग आग लगाना चाहते हैं उनको आग लगाने नहीं देंगे ये अभी से हार के डर से कहना शुरू कर दिया आग लग जाएगी देखते हैं कौन है पीपल ऑफ इंडिया वो जो आग लगाएंगे वो गौरव भाटी एज ऑन द डिबेट गौरव भाटी से ज्यादा नजर आता है अब गौरव भाटी अकबर का बेटा नजर आता है हम कोई राजा महाराजा के बेटे नहीं है वोट यू मीन अकबर का बेटा वोट यू मीन बाई रेफरेंस प्रधानमंत्री राहुल गांधी को राहुल गांधी के नाम से बोले ना हम तो मुझसे बहुत ही बोलते हैं हम तो प्रधानमंत्री बोलते हैं वो क्यों कहता है आग लग जाए आग लग जाएगी क्यों सजादा बोलेंगे हमें क्यों बोलेंगे हमें विरासत में कुछ नहीं मिला हम भी एक नागरिक है देश के गवर्नमेंट सिटीजन है यूएस दिस डिबेट इज हैपनिंग इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द अट्रोशियस कमेंट ऑफ राहुल गांधी कि आग लग जाएगी प्राइम मिनिस्टर कुछ ही बोलते रहेंगे उनको तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर पीएम ने से कुछ आगे क्रॉस कर दिए हर हर आदमी को नीचा दिखाने की कोशिश करते ऐसे इस देश में कई प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऐसे नहीं हुए पहली बार इस देश के अंदर इस तरह की हरकतें हो रही है नहीं लगेगी आप पाकिस्तान में होता है कि पाकिस्तान नहीं बनने देंगे अपनी जान दे देंगे इमोशनल बनने की कोशिश मत कीजिए स्टेटमेंट हो चुकी है गौरव भाटिया इज रिस्पॉन्डिंग फ्रॉम द बीजेपी जी गौरव भाटिया I'm down, sir. Arnab, I've noticed in the past few months, Rahul Gandhi has just completely lost it. And Narendra Modi ji raised this point because it concerns the country. It concerns every citizen of the country. I'll tell you why. Rahul Gandhi is, in plain and simple language, trying to incite people by saying, "Aag lag jayegi." वो तो चाहते हैं कि आग लगे देश में एंड आई एम यू नो रिकॉलिंग अ स्टेटमेंट बाय सोनिया गांधी व्हेन शी सेड इन 2019 अपोजिंग सी ए दैट आर पार की लड़ाई है डू यू नो व्हाट हैपेंड आफ्टर दैट दिल्ली रायट्स टू प्लेस एंड 50 इनसेंट सिटीजन दे लॉस्ट देयर लाइफ सो राहुल गांधी आल्सो हैज दैट सिनेस्टर डिजाइन नाउ ही वॉन्ट्स दे शुड बी कम्युनल राइट्स There should be a civil war in India, one community against the other, spewing venom, hatred. ये है उनकी मोहब्बत की दुकान. Second, when he says that अगर Constitution को amend किया, so let me tell you as a student of law, the Constitution has been amended hundred and six times. There is a provision, as you rightly said, Article three sixty eight. Oh, that's the point. Yeah. But yeah, the yeah, problem yeah. is when members of his family. Indira Gandhi amended the constitution and even the preamble. Preamble has only been amended once 
in 1976 and two words were added secular and socialist and she wanted a committed judiciary and she also increased the tenure of the lok sabha and the assemblies to 6 years the supreme court had to intervene so rahul gandhi first first look into the history of his family how they played with the constitution destroyed institutions and indira gandhi even invoked emergency my third point when narendra modi ji is talking about a positive agenda and he has amended the constitution for what let me spell it to the viewers article 370 abrogated constitution amended good for our country good for various sections of society like the valmiki samaj and the women of kashmir second instance women reservation constitution amended women have been empowered third gst an economic reform that the congress promised constitution amended and this is how india has become the fifth largest economy fourth example ews economically weaker section reservation constitution amended 10% reservation given you have a tool it is your power but modi ji has used the tool to empower the citizenry of the country the gandhi parivar has always used the constitution to violate the rights of the individuals to deprive them of their dignity to put them behind bars and that is the mindset of rahul gandhi also and i will now end by saying rahul gandhi ke kuch bayan dekhiye ye 15 20 din mein unhone kaha ishwara rai nach rahi thi insulting every female in the country he said media ki jaat kya hai insulting the fourth pillar of democracy he said match fixed ho gaya hai that means the congress and the india alliance partners morale is very down they know they are losing they will not even remain a double digit party and in the end i would say up ke ladke nashedi hai ab nashedi kon hai ye to sab puch rahe hain ye kon sa nasha kar rahe hain rahul gandhi ye lad rahe ho ya debates ke address pe khel kar rahe ho bayan dete hain aur ant karunga bharat mein aag nahi lagegi aag lagi hai congress ki basti mein राहुल गांधी फुल मस्ती में ये है सच्चाई करना वाह भाई वाह वाह हमने हिंदी में पीएचडी नहीं कर रखी है अनफॉर्चुनेट हमने हिंदी में पीएचडी नहीं कर रखी है पर हम देश को पाकिस्तान नहीं बनने देंगे हम मोदी जी को राहुल गांधी को नहीं, नहीं मेरे किसी भी टिप्पणी का उत्तर झाक के देखिए आप राहुल गांधी ने भी जुपिटर से पी एच डी चुनाव लेकिन इन बातों मुझे पता आप लोग सबरवाल जी सबरवाल जी इधर देखिए मेरी तरफ एक मिनट एक मिनट मेरी तरफ देखिए और आपके इधर जो अलाइड पार्टी है उनको भी स्क्रीन पर रखें वो रीना रीना जी बैठी हुई आम आदमी पार्टी से तो मैं उनके सामने आपको एक सवाल पूछना चाहता हूं जरा मुझे बताइए कि 1976 में जब आपने इमरजेंसी करवाई नसबंदी कराई अभी तो 18 18 अप्रैल को आवाज नहीं आ रही 1967 में तुर्कमान तुर्क, तुर्क, तुर्कमान गेट मैसेकर में कितने लोगों को आपने मारा कितने लोगों की घर की घर के घर में आग लगाई मुझे बताइए माय इंफॉर्मेशन इज हंड्रेड्स ऑफ पीपल वर किल्ड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल वर इंजर्ड दे वर शॉट एट पॉइंट ब्लैंक बाय योर गवर्नमेंट आप आग लगाने के एक्सपर्ट है 1984 एटी फोर एंटी सिख राइट में कितनी बार इंस्ट्रक्शन दी गई कि सिखों को पकड़ पकड़ के मारो और और एच एस फुलका ने कहा कि द इंस्ट्रक्शन के डायरेक्टली डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस राजीव गांधी वन मिनट वन मिनट थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स वन मिनट थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स लॉस दे लाइफ मिनिमम अनऑफिशियल एस्टिमेट आर एट थाउजेंड टू सेवनटीन थाउजेंड कितने लोगों कितने सिखों के घरों में आग लगाई आपने आप आग लगाने के एक्सपर्ट है सोबरवाल जी इंदिरा गांधी ने जब इमरजेंसी डिक्लेयर की 
कितने लोगों की फोर्स नसबंदी स्टेरिलाइजेशन की आपने आग लगाई आप मुझे बताइए जब जब लाखों कश्मीरी पंडितों को कश्मीर छोड़ना पड़ा तब आपने कितने कश्मीरी पंडितों के घर में आग लगाई आपने आज कहा आग लगेगी मैं पूछ रहा हूं रीना जी से एक मिनट रीना जी आपको हर चीज में हा में हा मिलाने की जरूरत नहीं है आप इंडिपेंडेंट पार्टी हैं आप इस मुद्दे पर ऐसे ही प्रो कांग्रेस लाइन लेके अपने सपोर्टर्स लूज करेंगे अब कोई कह रहा है कि अगर इलेक्शन हुआ और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में चेंजेस की गई तो आग लगाएंगे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट आर टोटली लीगल वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट लेट मी टेल यू द वर्ड सेक्यूलर एंड सोशलिस्ट विच आर डिबेटेबल वर्ड वो ब्रॉट इन इन 1976 व्हेन द कंट्री वाज अंडर एन इंटरनल इमरजेंसी ऑपोजिशन लीडर्स वर इन जेल दैट टाइम ऑपोजिशन ऑपोजिशन में दैट टाइम इंदिरा गांधी इंदिरा गांधी अमेंडेड द प्रियम्बल एट द स्टेट ऑफ इमरजेंसी टू ब्रिंग इन द वर्ड सेक्युलर एंड सोशलिस्ट आई नो हाउ सोशलिस्ट शी वॉज नाउ माई क्वेश्चन इज द फोर्टी सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट brought in by the congress provided for the curtailment of fundamental rights coercively imposes fundamental duties and brings changes to the basic structure of the constitution by making india socialist secular republic when you make changes to the constitution you say we are totally uh, totally one minute one minute let me you say we are totally entitled to because you got to understand the constitution is a living and breathing document and i say okay the constitution is a living and breathing document but the constitution is continuing to be a living and breathing document when you are out of power also so my question to reena is do you support this aag lag jayegi aag lagayenge that kind of comment do you agree with it reena Rina from the Amadmi Party, I am I am asking you, would you say आग लग जाएगी और आग नहीं लगने देंगे? Mislead, mislead, not mislead. This is a mis-mis-mis करते हैं आप. People are watching this. Yes, Rina. Please, Rina. Rahul ji has said that he will not lag jayegi. आपका आपका देश है, हमारा देश है. आप कैसे आग लगाएंगे? हमारा हमारा देश है. हमारा. आग लग जाएगी. आप कौन होते हैं? आप कौन होते हैं? आग लगाने के लिए. हम तो जान अर्नब आज मंगलवार का दिन है और आज मंगलवार का शुभ दिन है अर्नब और बजरंग बली की दया से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने जो अपना एक्सटॉर्शन डिपार्टमेंट ईडी चला रखा है आज उसको लगाम मिली है आज संजय सिंह को बेल मिली है और ईडी का पर्दाफाश हो गया है आज कोर्ट में ईडी से पूछा गया कि आपके पास मनी ट्रेल कहां है दिखाइए ईडी के पास दिखाने के लिए कुछ नहीं था और बिल्कुल क्लियर हो गया कि ये जो इतने दिन से भाजपा ही बोलते रहते थे शराब घोटाला शराब घोटाला ये कुछ शराब घोटाला हुआ नहीं है ये सिर्फ भारतीय जनता पार्टी के द्वारा लिखी मनोहर कहानियां पहली बात दूसरी बात अर्नब आज बहुत बड़ा ऐतिहासिक दिन इसलिए भी है क्योंकि संजय सिंह एक अकेले नेता है जिनको ईडी से बेल मिली है बिना भारतीय जनता पार्टी में जाए हुए अभी तक ऐसा चला आ रहा था कि ईडी की रेट पड़ती थी ईडी अरेस्ट करती थी और वो नेता चले जाते थे भारतीय जनता पार्टी में अपने आप को बेल दिलवाने के लिए लेकिन क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी के सारे नेता इंक्लूडिंग संजय सिंह सारे के सारे नेता जो है एकदम कट्टर ईमानदार नेता है और किसी ने कोई गलत काम नहीं किया आज कोर्ट के सामने बिल्कुल भारतीय जनता पार्टी को मुंह की खानी पड़ी जब कोर्ट ने कहा कि आप दिखाइए कहा मनी ट्रेल है आप अपोज करिए अगर आप आप नहीं दिखा सकते तो आप बेल को अपोज करिए ईडी एकदम चुप हो गई और संजय सिंह को बेल मिली तो आज ये बहुत बड़ा ऐतिहासिक दिन है एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट आना मुझे कंप्लीट करने दीजिए दूसरी बात अगर देश में आग लगेगी कि नहीं आग लगाने की आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी गेट मी ब्रिंग मी ऑन एयर ऑन दिस विंडो रीना जी आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी आप कह रहे हैं आग लगेगी ओनली टू व्यूज राहुल गांधी ने कहा आग लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं नहीं मुझे बोलने तो दीजिए वो कह रहे हैं आग लग जाएगी अगर हम हार गए मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी मुझे मैं ये जानना बोलने तो बिल्कुल दूंगा मगर मेरे जवाब तो दे दीजिए कि आग लगे आप कह दीजिए आग नहीं लगेगी डू अग्री और डिस आग लगने वाली बात क्या है कोई हारता है कोई जीतता है कोई चेंजेस लाता है कोई नहीं लाता है मगर आप अगर ये कहना शुरू करें कि आप मैं हार गया तो आग लगा दूंगा ये क्या ये कैसी बात हो गई मैं हार गया तो आग लग जाएगी 
ये आप इस आपको इस पर पोजीशन लेना होगा रीना यू कैन नॉट अवॉइड दिस क्वेश्चन आपने बहुत सीरियस क्वेश्चन इट्स माय कंट्री इट्स योर कंट्री इट्स आवर इट्स नो 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 आई आई डोंट वांट नो नो मैं केजरीवाल जी के पूरे इशू पर और उस पर सेकंड डिबेट मेरा है मैं आज कह रहा हूं कि सबसे बड़ा मुद्दा है कि एक राजनीतिक दल के नेता आगे कहते हैं मैं हार गया तो आग लग जाएगी मैं हार गया तो आप आग लग जाएगी क्यों आग लगेगी भाई आप 2014 में हार गए आग लग गई 2019 में हार गए आग लग गई अब आपको लग रहा है तीसरी बार हार गए तो आग लग जाएगी क्यों लगेगी आग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में चेंजेस लगाए गए तो आग लग जाएगी सौ से ज्यादा चेंजेस आप कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में आप खुद ला चुके हैं तो आग क्यों लगेगी उन्नीस में इकहत्तर में आप चेंजेस लाए तब आग नहीं लगी आग लग जाएगी वाली ये क्या बात है इस पर पॉइंट मैं पॉइंटेड आई जस्ट आई कंप्लीटली वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू हाउ कैन यू अग्री विद दिस कॉमेंट आग लग जाएगी ये इमोशनल बात है आप देश के नव युवकों को सबको कह रहे हैं आग लगा देंगे अगर हम हार गए तो ये क्या बात हुई रीना जी वन मिनट ये आग लग जाएगी आग नहीं लगेगी आप बोलिए आप ट्वीट कीजिए आज आज नहीं लगेगी कोई भी राजनीतिक डिफरेंसेस है पॉलिटिकल डिफरेंसेस जरूर थे हैं और रहेंगे मगर ये कहना आग लग जाएगी ये क्या बचपन है ये क्या आग लग जाएगी आग मैं कह रहा हूं मैं जानता हूं आग लग जाएगी आई एम टेलिंग यू मुझे सब कुछ पता है मैं ज्ञानी हूं आग लग जाए आग क्यों लगेगी जो भी चुनाव आप कहते हैं फिक्स्ड मैच है अगर आपको लगता है फिक्स्ड मैच है रीना जी बडोरिया जी तो चुनाव मत लड़िए कहीं हम बहिष्कार कर रहे हैं फिक्स मैच है आप लड़ेंगे भी आपके एमपी जीते तो आप जाएंगे भी संसद में और बाहर पर कहेंगे फिक्स्ड मैच है आग लगा देंगे आग लगेगी ये क्या बात हुई ये क्या बात हुई एक ऐसी भाषा है वाई यू अलाउिंग इट आप कहिए आज रीना आप अपने ट्विटर हैंडल से ट्वीट कीजिए हैशटैग आग नहीं लगेगी आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग ऑल पीपल टू नाइट रीना जी आज बिल्कुल चुप हो गई है सुधींद्र भदौरिया जी भी चुप हैं क्योंकि इनको हिम्मत नहीं है हैशटैग लगाइए आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगने नहीं देगी पारिवारिक संपत्ति नहीं है आग लग गई मैं बोलने दूंगा नेरेटिव नहीं है इसको नेरेटिव ना कहे ये नैरेटिव में आप बोलिए आप बोलिए रीना जी आप बोलिए आप बोलिए हमें तो दिक्कत हमें चिंता आपकी हो रही है अरे मैं तो बोल रहा हूँ आप अरे पानी पीने की बात दिल की बात कह रहा हूँ आग नहीं लगेगी ट्रांसलेट टू The country will burn, and you are also saying the country will be dead. Country will not survive. The country will not survive. The country will burn. आग लग जाएगी, देश खत्म हो जाएगी. क्या बात है? अरे आप हार गए तो देश खत्म हो जाएगा. खुद ही दे रहे हो सवाल भी खुद. आग लग जाएगी, आग लगा दे. अरे आप कोई पूछ रहा हूँ ना आपको प्रोवोक कर रहा हूँ कि आप जवाब दे आप लोग बिल्कुल खड़े हैं ट्रांसफिक्स आप समझ नहीं पा रहे हैं आप क्या कहें राहुल गांधी के कमेंट में बोलने तो दीजिए अच्छा बोलिए मैं चुप हूँ अच्छा I'm quiet I'm quiet you say आप पहले पहले रीना जी बोले फिर भड़ोरिया जी बोले सब बोले लेकिन मेरे देश में आग नहीं लगेगी क्योंकि हम आग नहीं लगने देंगे हम भारतीय जनता पार्टी को आग नहीं लगेगी आग नहीं लगाने देंगे दस साल से भारतीय जनता पार्टी कोशिश मैं कह रहा हूं देश में आग नहीं लगेगी लेकिन हम नहीं लगाने देंगे आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगाने की बात कौन कर रहा है आग नहीं लगेगी और आप कह रहे नरेंद्र मोदी प्रधानमंत्री बनेंगे तो आग लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूँ नरेंद्र मोदी तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बनेंगे तो आग नहीं लगेगी आप आग लगाने की बात क्यों कर रहे हैं चुप क्यों है सुधींद्र भटौरिया जी ट्रेंडिंग सब्जेक्ट है देश के लोग मेरे साथ राहुल गांधी के साथ नहीं आग लगेगी आग लगाने आप बोलिए सुधींद्र जी लेकिन मेरा देश महान है और हम आग नहीं लगने देंगे हम नहीं लगने देंगे हमें तो लग रहा है हमें तो लग रहा है अनब ट्रेंड आप अनब आपके दिमाग में जरूर आग लग गई है अनुराग भदौरिया को सुरेंद्र भदौरिया बोल रहे हैं तो आग तो आपके दिमाग में लगी है तो आपके दिल में जो आग लगी है उसको पहले बुझाइए उसके बाद हम कुछ कहें सवाल है जब आप अपने अंदर में आग लगाए हैं जो वो आग बुझाइए फिर किसी को बोलने का मौका दीजिए सवाल राष्ट्रवाद की सोच को बुझा दूं तब आप खुश होंगे मैं राष्ट्रवादी नहीं रहूं तो आप खुश रहेंगे बुझा दू मैं नहीं बुझेगी नहीं बुझेगी अरे मेरे अंदर की आग जो है वो नहीं बुझेगी वो नहीं बुझेगी जब तक सारे एंटी नेशनल के खिलाफ मेरा कैंपेन खत्म ना हो सुंदर भरिया को अनुराग भदौरिया रीना जी को कुछ और नाम से बुलाने लगेंगे तो आप तो भूल रहे खुद इसलिए मैं कह रहा हूँ की आप शांत होइए पानी पीजिए दिमाग को ठंडा तो आपको कह रहा हूँ अनुराग भदौरिया अनुराग भदौरिया जी देखो आप अनुराग भदौरिया जी इज इट इज इट यू अग्री विद दिस कमेंट आप 
अच्छा देखिए सवाल ये सवाल ये बोलिए इस देश के अंदर में कोई भी देखो बेरोजगारी की जिंदगी में तो बेरोजगारों की जिंदगी में तो वैसी आग लगी हुई है वो बेरोजगारी से आत्महत्या कर रहे हैं तो उनकी तो उनकी जो बेरोजगारी है वो तो खत्म करो सवाल ये है सवाल ये छात्रों पे आप लाठियां बरसा रहे हो छात्री की जिंदगी में तो वैसी आपने आग लगा रखी है उनका पेपर लीक हो जाता है वो जिंदगी से वैसे ही जूझ रहे हैं किसान वैसे ही परेशान उसकी जिंदगी में आग किसने लगाई है उसकी जिंदगी में चारों रुपए एमएसपी की गारंटी नहीं मिल रही है उनको धरना प्रदर्शन करना पड़ता है महिलाओं की जिंदगी में आग किसने लगाई है जो अपनी सुरक्षा के लिए अपनी आप, अपनी बचाने के लिए अपने उनके ऊपर जो अत्याचार हो रहा है वो लड़ रही है मणिपुर में मणिपुरी घटना देखो या चाहे मेहनवाल पहलवानों की देखो या कहीं आप बी एच घटना देखो किसने उनकी जिंदगी में आग लगाई है सवाल ये है तो इसलिए आपको समझना पड़ेगा देश के जो असली मुद्दे हैं उस मुद्दों पे चर्चा नहीं करके आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी अरे आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी ऐसा बोलो जैसे लग रहा है आग लग रही है कहा आग लग रही है ऐसा आपके अंदर भूत सवार हो गया आग लग गई कहा लग गई किधर लग गई अरे आग का मतलब तो समझो की आग लग जाएगी अरे आग मैंने कुछ नहीं कहा लोगों ने कुछ नहीं जिस तरह से परेशान नहीं कहा लोग मैंने नहीं कहा ये राहुल गांधी का कॉमेंट है इट इज राहुल गांधी इस कॉमेंट की आग लग जाएगी मैंने नहीं कहा सॉरी भदौरिया जी मैंने ऐसा कुछ नहीं कहा आई नेवर सेड यूज दर्ड आप ही बोल रहे जब इट्स नॉट माई वर्ड मैं मच्छर आदमी हूँ आग लग जाएगी विपक्ष कह रहा आग लग जाएगी विपक्ष कह रहा आग लग जाएगी अरे भैया तिरासी परसेंट युवा बेरोजगार है आई लो की रिपोर्ट है आप क्या कहना चाहते हैं खुशहाल कौन करेगा उनकी जिंदगी को खुशी कौन देगा आप बताइए मुझे महंगाई चल रही है सपोर्ट कर रही खुशी कौन देगा मैं पूछ रहा चाहता हूँ आपसे देश के युवाओं के बारे में कभी चर्चा होगी नहीं होगी कि आग लग आपको मैं कह रहा हूँ राहुल गांधी से ये क्या हो रहा है आग लग जाएगी कमेंट हैज बीन मेड बाय राहुल मिस्टर बडोरिया आप गलत कह रहे हैं ना ही इज नॉट इवन मेकिंग वन दिस राहुल गांधी इज कमेंट नॉट माय वेस्टिंग योर टाइम नहीं नहीं मैं कह रहा हूं अरे बात को समझने की जरूरत है अर्नब जी इस देश के अंदर में हमें मुद्दों पे बात दिस कमेंट वाज मेड बाय राहुल नॉट मी पार्टी मुद्दों से चर्चा नहीं करना चाहती हम मुद्दों पे बोल रहे हैं ये मुद्दा नहीं है आग लग जाएगी अगर नरेंद्र मोदी तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बने तो आग लग जाएगी ये मुद्दा नहीं है आपने युवाओं की समस्या की बात नहीं की जो इस देश की मैं युवा इस देश की धड़कन है उसके बारे में कोई बात नहीं हो रही है छात्रों के बारे में कोई बात नहीं हो रही है महिला समस्या पे कोई बात नहीं हो रही है समाज में जो आदमी पैरों पे खड़ा होना चाहता है उसके लिए बात नहीं हो रही है अर्थव्यवस्था पे बात नहीं हो रही है शिक्षा पे बात नहीं हो रही है स्वास्थ्य पे बात नहीं हो रही है इस पे चर्चा क्यों नहीं हम किस बात पर चर्चा कर रहे हैं बात करें डिस्ट्रक्टिव मैसेज बात पर चर्चा कर रहे हैं रेटरिक भारतीय जनता पार्टी जिस तरह की राजनीति की नफरत की की राजनीति है देश के लिए नहीं नहीं कर रही है इसमें क्यों बात होती देश के अंदर में नफरत की राजनीति कौन कर रहा है देश के अंदर में विकास की राजनीति नहीं करता कौन है देश के मुद्दों पर बात करता भाई इंडिया गठबंधन क्यों बना इंडिया गठबंधन बना गौरव बिफोर आई कम थी और को और को यो फ्रॉम बेंगाल यो फ्रॉम बेंगाल यू सपोर्ट द तृणमूल कांग्रेस नाउ नाउ इफ दॉटेल मी वन थिंग टेल मी वन थिंग कांग्रेस पार्टी इज रिड्यूस टू जीरो सीट इन बेंगाल द कांग्रेस पार्टी विच यूज टू बी इन पावर इन बेंगाल इन वन टाइम इज रिड्यूस टू जीरो सीट एंड इफ समबडी सेज अगुन लगी दे वो अगुन लेके जाए विच इज बेंगाली ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ आग लगा देंगे आग लग जाएगी विद तृणमूल कांग्रेस एक्सेप्टेड वॉट कैन ऑफ लैंग्वेज इज इज द होल कंट्री रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर योर पिटीफुल स्टेट 
হিন্দুস্তান খুব ভালো কিছু হবে না অর্ণব দা চিন্তা করো না আপনারা বাকি যাচ্ছে আরে আই এম নট সেইং হি সেইং হোয়াট ইউ মিন চিন্তা করার দরকার নাই আর কো আর কো আগুন লোক যদি আর কো ইওর রেসপন্স টু দা কমেন্ট কি আগলে যাইগি দি পয়েন্ট ইজ লাউড এন্ড ক্লিয়ার সরকার কি কাজ করেছে আজ পর্যন্ত দি পয়েন্ট দি বলতে হবে কি সরকার কি আই আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড আই আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ওকে ওয়ান আর কো করেছেন ইউদের জন্য 10 বছরের মধ্যে আপনি মহিলাদের জন্য কি করেছেন ক্যারি অন আর কো ইট ইজ ভেরি লাউড इंटरप्शन or any management as many of the political parties including the trinamool congress is uh, afraid of that the bharatiya janata party will misuse their position while being in power and the huge amount of money they have accumulated uh, rightly or wrongly i am not getting into that debate but the point is very uh, clear the elections has to be free and fair and for that reason if a pressure has to be uh, created and from I the judiciary the judiciary is already uh, speaking their mind on many issues at the same point of time why should, why so should the judiciary the create pressure amendments are uh, concerned Sir, yes there is a all... procedure no i'm sorry of course they are they are they are speaking their mind aloud there they is a speak, procedure they have also spoken on de- demonetization they have spoken on the role of the ed and the cbi they are speaking their minds one after the another and i believe the people of the country can hear it what the judiciary is saying i am not saying the judiciary is making a political statement but what i am saying is the judiciary is bringing whatever there is a, a mistake or whatever wrong has been committed no, that is other way i want a very specific to, uh, i think i i see a lot of been tried i see a lot of uh, arko you know, arko bring, bring arko the, i want to keep uh, it very narrow focus and, so and now i want to bring back ramesh sabarwal and gaurav bhatia into the debate so i'd like no 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 I'd like Just to no thing, sir no sir so, so far as Ramesh, the amendments are concerned minute, there Ramesh, is a procedure Ramesh, and Reena no and Gaurav on the debate the procedure has to be followed but the amendments Arna, will I get the my time I've been patiently what's wrong? waiting not even interrupting anybody I think it's a very Just unfair one, one deal minute, you are there is a process offering. I'm just coming to you Gaurav you should give me my time I, I'm coming you know. to you Gaurav Gaurav Ramesh first of all you have four yeah, persons opposing the BJP Ramesh Gaurav Bharatiya Janata Party then you don't even want to give me time now two months have passed just one minute Bharatiya Janata Party ka time Gaurav come in with Ramesh and time bacha kahan hai just one minute Gaurav with Ramesh and aap please thank you chill please can i can i tell the producers here have we got the windows now yeah yes. Gaurav we bring back the focus to the aag lag jayegi comment Gaurav Bhatia yes absolutely i am only on that you know today when you were asking the aap spokesperson to speak on the subject i think you know in a mathematics exam she has mugged up her physics paper and she started speaking on a different topic altogether but mujhe ajeeb laga ki matches bhi ab aag nahi lagegi bol rahi hai are matches ka to kaam hi aag lagana hai chahe rahul gandhi ho chahe arvind kejriwal ho chahe akhilesh yadav ho and let me tell you what aag lagana is TMC spokesperson was waxing eloquence he said that respect the mandate of the people CAA is a validly passed law but when it was being implemented arnab mamta banerjee said there will be civil war in the entire country isko kehte aag lagana second he said that election should be free and fair but panchayat elections when they took place in west bengal 33% of the seats were won by the tmc unopposed to which the supreme court remarked that democracy is dead in west bengal and we all know about sandesh khali we know about second may when the assembly election results were declared you know houses yeah. were burned aag laga di thi women were raped some people were murdered because they voted for the bjp so it is the tmc should not talk about also, you know law and order about the spirit of the constitution coming to the congress party aag lag jayegi congress party ne to aag hi lagayi hai desh mein 1984 sikh rights our innocent sikh citizens kya wo manipur mein kya tires were put bolo, bolo. on their body ankita bandar and they were burned to a sikh girl burned to a sikh girl burned to a sikh girl no one can ever talk about bharatiya janata party hai bhai bahut sikh brothers were burned to a sikh girl let him complete let him complete 
सुनिए Every day she no, does this. No I don't attack. want to engage no with her. You know, it's below no my dignity. Attacks. Below no my dignity attacks. to engage no, with no, her. No, 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 no. We don't like want her. personal attacks. We ask her to be quiet. We don't want, want personal, personal attacks. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We don't want personal attacks. I'll never ever want to stay out of it. One minute, one minute, one minute. Sir, can I tell you? We all know. We all know the situation of law and order in UP is much better now than before. Go back to the issue, Rina. You speak so much. What he has said, you are avoiding the subject. You just have to tell me: Do you agree with this Ag Lagjaegi comment? I know you don't. You know, Gaurav. I know she doesn't. No, no. ये विवश है आज. Reena ji, जानते हुए भी विवश. इनको support करना पड़ा है Rahul Gandhi. She is bound. I already gave my answer. Reena, 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 अब अग्री करते हैं अपने आप को राष्ट्रवादी कहते हैं ये ऐसा ये ऐसे व्यक्ति है तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी कर रही है पिछले दस साल से पिछले दस साल से मैक्सिमम हेट स्पीचेस दो हुई है फिफ्टी फिफ्टी ना वर्सेस में हुई है गौरव लेकिन हमारा देश महान है राजेंद्र गौतम आग नहीं लगने We will not allow. He is not secured bail yet. He was the person who instigated the mob in the Delhi violence. Tahir Hussain, who is he? And as a person, the anchor chooses to go. Which party did Tahir Hussain belong to? Fifty Indian citizens, innocent, lost their life because of the hooliganism, because of the gundaism that you people teach to your workers. So don't come here and preach. If you can answer me on Tahir Hussain, if you can answer me on Rajendra Gautam, then we can have a meaningful debate. Okay? Tahir Hussain has not got bail, and you people were coming and defending him. So dare you are a terror word? आपको भी पता है अगर नोएडा में गुंडा आ जाए तो उसके लिए कौन जिम्मेदार है? सबसे बड़ी आग लगाने की मशीन कोई है तो अरविंद केजरीवाल है और जेल की सलाखों के पीछे है सारी आग अभी ठंडी हो जाएगी नरेंद्र मोदी जी डी प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ़ द कंट्री एवरी प्रेसिडेंट ही � and no one is going to be a leader. Don't be a leader. Don't be a leader. Don't be a leader. Listen to me. 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 Rahul Gandhi. No one is going to be a leader. Don't be a leader. You also say that. Prime Minister. Our leader. No one is going to be a 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 leader. No one you know, Rahul Gandhi has this inherent quality and now he loves to incite people. He wants people speaking with him. Painting stones at each other. I am a Balidhan. 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 Viewers, 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 last nugget from me. Listen to me, Sabarwal Ji. This is an emo card. This is an emotional card. I am a Sachai. I will tell you something. I know. In 1975, Mr. Sabarwal, I always like to give a nugget of information. Sir, in 1975, you were 10 years old. Indira Gandhi, 
इंट्रोड्यूस द थर्टी नाइन अमेंडमेंट टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विच नलिफाइड द जून नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव वर्डिक्ट ऑफ द अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट विच फाउंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इंदिरा गांधी गिल्टी ऑफ करप्ट इलेक्टोरल प्रैक्टिस आप लोग आजकल लेक्चर देते हो ना मैं बात आप लेक्चर देते हो ना आपने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंड किया इंदिरा गांधी को बचाने के लिए फ्रॉम चार्जेस ऑफ करप्शन एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ पीपल से मेरे साथ आग नहीं लगेगी सिटीजन बर्डर चले जाने की जरूरत नहीं है And Akhilesh Yadav was indulging in appeasement politics, discriminating even on the basis of the viewers of the country, living compensation. These people come here to debate. कोई भी देश की आत्मा अरे पार्टी को बचाओ सत्ता का देश सुरक्षित है की आत्मा को बदल टूटी साइकिल को बचाओ पहिया निकल गया टायर फट गया हैंडल टूट गया यहाँ आके बात करेंगे राष्ट्र राष्ट्र संविधान में परिवर्तन करना अपनी पार्टी को बचाओ परिवार वाली पार्टी को जर्मन ऑन दर साइड टूनाइट इज संजय सिंह गेट्स बेल डिबेट टू टू नाइट इज संजय सिंह गेट्स बेल वेर इज द मनी ट्रेल द मनी ट्रेल डिबेट वन आई एम बैक King sir, your dinner on a tile. And it's antibacterial. Mm hmm. Scratch resistant also. But plates? Can buy. It's a tile lad. I am plus technology se bane world class tiles. Tile ho to simple ho. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Kane, sir, your dinner on a tile. And it's antibacterial. Mm hmm. Easy to clean. But plates? Can buy. It's a tile lad. <laughs> I am plus technology se bane world class tiles. Tile ho the simple ho. Three, two, one, ignition. And with all those Starlink 645, go SpaceX, go Starlink. is nominal Ha ke kis tarah se pichle 2 saal se ek ek karke ek ek karke aam aadmi party ke netaon ko jhoote kaiso mein sab giraftar kiya ja raha tha phasaya ja raha tha लेकिन आज संजय सिंह जी की जमानत ये बताती है कि आखिरकार जीत सत्य की ही होती है केन सर योर डिनर ऑन अ टाइल अरे इट्स एंटीबैक्टीरियल हम्म इजी टू क्लीन पर प्लेट्स केन बाय इट्स अ टाइल लैंड I am plus technology से बने world class tiles. Tile हो तो simple हो. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Kain sir, your dinner on a tile. अरे it's antibacterial. Mm-hmm. Scratch resistant also. But plates? Can buy. 
It's a tie lad. I am plus technology से बने world class tiles. Tile हो तो simple हो. इस आम आदमी पार्टी ने अपने और आपको एक और गहरे संकट में डाल दिया इन दर ओवर इंथूजी आजम इन ऑर्डर टू क्लेम एंड टू क्लच एट स्ट्रॉस टू ट्राई एंड प्रोजेक्ट अ रूटीन ऑर्डिनरी बेल एज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ क्लीन शिट एंड अ विक्ट्री द आम आदमी पार्टी हैज फर्दर इंडाइटेड इट सेल्फ टूडे King sir, your dinner. On a tile? Are it's antibacterial. Mm hmm. Easy to clean. But plates? Clean by. It's a tile lad. I am plus technology se bane world class tiles. Tile ho to simple ho. 15000 placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hard working and proactive professionals. Kane sir, your dinner. On a tile? Are it's antibacterial. Mm hmm. Scratch resistant also. But plates? Kane by. It's a tile lad. I am plus technology se bane world class tiles. Tile ho to simple ho. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for the debate. Arnab Goswami on the debate at 10, powered by Reva University, Policy Bazaar. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's a trending edition of the debate tonight, and time now for the nation's sharpest opinion. Sanjay Singh is one of the right hand people of Arvind Kejriwal, and he's got bail after six months today. And the circumstances, the observations and the happenings around that bail decision is what has got me curious. The court asked the straight question. 
and the one i've been asking myself to the bjp where is the money trail not the approver mail but the money trail because this liquor case has been going on since 2022 and the ed is investigating ed has to establish a money trail we are about 2 years short now at the end of the day 2 years on it all comes down to one thing proving a money trail proving that money was made proving the link proving the defined route from where the money went no doubt money was made no doubt 100% 338 crores minimum benefits to be exact as said by the supreme court the question is whose pocket did it go to the question it how exactly was it spent that is what we mean by money trail the allegation we know that the aap used the money in the goa election but just because the allegation is that the money was used it cannot be that the money trail cannot be concrete there has to be a defined route a defined eventual beneficiary and the ed will have to get very specific down to where the alleged kickbacks went and the more time goes the more questions will be asked on the other hand i think the aap is jumping the gun they cannot get very preachy about the bail given to sanjay singh because the observations made in the court on sanjay singh's case cannot be and are not a blanket cover to the allegations against everyone else including kejriwal and that's what atish ye saurabh bhardwaj don't say that the observations in the sanjay singh case are only about sanjay singh not about sisodia not about satendra jain not about arvind kejriwal and as equally if the aap says that they hail the courts for bail they cannot go anti the courts when they keep their functionaries in jail ladies and gentlemen this hashtag is interesting bail or trail what do you think will happen eventually will they all get bail or will the ed find the money trail that's what i mean with the hashtag bail or trail you can choose which way you think tell me what you think we have a poll live on republic world let's debate after 6 months in jail aap sanjay singh gets bail the rajya sabha mp given bail after no objection from the ed aap satya ko daba sakte hain lekin aap satya ko mita nahi sakte hain aaj sanjay singh ji ki zamanat ne ye dikha diya humne dekha ki kis tarah se पिछले दो साल से एक एक करके एक एक करके आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं को झूठे केसों में सब गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा था फंसाया जा रहा था लेकिन आज संजय सिंह जी की जमानत ये बताती है कि आखिरकार जीत सत्य की ही होती तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट क्वेश्चन ईडी ऑन द मनी ट्रेल इन द लिकेट स्कैम नो मनी हैज बीन रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम संजय सिंह सच की जीत हुई है हम तो शुरू से ही कह रहे थे कि ये पूरा का पूरा केस फर्जी है और भाजपा के दफ्तर में लिखा गया है करीब 500 रेड के बाद भी एक चवन्नी की रिकवरी नहीं हुई आज सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी कहा जब मनी ट्रेल ही नहीं मिली तो हिरासत में रखने का क्या मतलब है तो क्या भाजपा अब जांच करेगी भाजपा के टॉप लीडर्स गिरफ्तार होंगे ये बहुत जरूरी है कि सवाल पूछा जाए That Singh took two crore rupees as kickbacks, with the BJP attacking up over the party's political vendetta claim. Deal mil gayi aur ED ne oppose bhi nahi kiya. Dekhiye, iske hamari jo court system ki, hamari judiciary ki jo robust independence hai. Ab wo kehte hain, kal jab Rahul Gandhi ji bol rahe the, us din Ramlila Maidan owner ne bola. इलेक्शन कमीशन ये फिक्स्ड मैच है इलेक्शन कमिश्नर भी आपके हैं जुडिशरी भी आपकी है अरे भाई जुडिशरी हमारी होती तो ये इतनी बढ़िया स्कीम है इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड क्यों उन्होंने उसको नेगेटिव कर दिया तो ये तो ये हमारी हमारी डेमोक्रेसी की खासियत है कि हम हम अगर कोर्ट्स कोर्ट्स इंडिपेंडेंट है वो जो भी निर्णय लेंगे पर ईडी ने अपोज भी नहीं किया आप संजय सिंह गेट्स बेल विदाउट दी ईडी अपोजिंग इट विद सुप्रीम कोर्ट आस्किंग वॉट वी आर आस्किंग Where is the money trail? Let's debate.
uh, Tuhin Sinha, you know, at the end of the day, you can have a million approvers, but you've got to have a money trail. Where's the money trail? Arnab, on 30th October 2023, when, when Manish Sisodia's bail plea had come up for hearing, under the same judge, Justice Sanjeev Khanna, the judgment had very clearly said that a money trail of tentatively, a uh, money trail of 338 crore stands tentatively established and that was one of the reasons or that was the key reason for denying bail to Mare Sisodia. So obviously, you know, uh, I think you need to give it more time because that case will come up for hearing. But having said that, uh, Sanjay Singh was never no, no. seen as the chief collaborator or the kingpin in the case. If, if in this case the money trail has not uh, been then why was he arrested? yet, that does not then why was he arrested? the Amadmi party. That if he was not a collaborator, if, if he did not have a significant role, why was he arrested? If he, you are saying that now, you didn't say that six months back. Why was he arrested? Because at that point of time, if he's not a key kingpin collaborator or have a key role, why was he arrested? At that point of time, no, no. If at that point of time the ED felt that interrogation was required, there were charges of uh, two crore money being given to him. If at that point of time ED felt that interrogation was required and if in the last six months he has answered the question satisfactorily, <coughs> obviously things change in the span of six months. Things change, what changes? Sorry, what changes? Uh, please, can I be on screen? What changes? No, no, if six the months? ED is... If the ED feels that further, custod further custody of Mr. Singh is not required in this, in this specific case, then obviously they would not, they, they derive no joy in keeping him in jail for eternity. Like I said, that does not absolve Arvind But what Keshivar joy did they get in keeping Manish him in jail Sisodia for six months? In, in, uh, no, no, they, they wanted certain information, certain in interrogation had to be carried out and he may have, you know, addressed those questions <laughs> satisfactorily. I think these questions are best answered by ED. Based on the information that we have on public domain, the, uh, the court has very ED doesn't come on my program. that, you know, today's, today's bail any which way is not based on merit. Today's bail any which way is not based on merit. No, that's no, not. No, no, I, I, I want to make one point here. I want to make one point here. The court literally cornered the ED today, Tohin, and said that you have a choice. The section 45 of the PMLA and we will invoke section 45 of PMLA which will have cascading consequences for the rest of the case. Section 45 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, ladies and gentlemen, in Nugget says either the court believes there is no case or feels that there is nothing more than can, that, that can be, the, or the individual will not influence the case if he is out. A observation, a bail under section 45 PMLA would have been embarrassing for the ED and hence the ED chose not to press for bail. So people who were surprised in the morning when they saw that the ED has gone soft on Sanjay Singh, it's not correct. The ED did not go soft on Sanjay Singh. It was a tactical decision, a strategic decision by the Honorable ASG SV Raju not to allow the bail under Section 45 PMLA but rather to intervene and not press for bail. Now, having said that, that's a technicality. The important thing is, the focus has come on where the money trail is. 338 crores, you are correct, Tohin, was the observation made by the Honorable Court of Justice Khanna regarding the money that was made in this case minimum, but the money being made by, 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 by corporate groups or by the South Group or others is different from money being made by a politician. You don't have to prove to him that the money has been made by certain people because there is no doubt the liquor policy gave cascading returns to individual business people. Now the question to you is more complex to him. Which politician made the money? And if it is a Hawala transaction as you allege, how will you prove there is a trail to the Hawala transaction? You are saying I will rely on approver statements. Will that be enough? Will that you know, be enough? To win the question is to you. you know, the I, debate is on. I am not representing. I am not representing the ED over here. I am representing the BJP, and I have implicit trust in the institutions. The case, the, they are fighting the case out. If uh, the, in, in the previous uh, judgment on 30th October, 
the judge had called for winding up the case in six to eight months. I'm sure ED is aware of the deadline. ED is aware of the timeline and working no, no. towards it. Excuse me. You, you represent, represent the party, party that controls the ED. You represent the party that has administrative and supervisory control over the ED. You represent the party that appoints no, no, the ED. Don't, I, I don't, don't trivialize this debate. Don't trivialize, don't trivialize this debate. This is a, you know, don't trivialize this debate with this gibberish. Don't trivialize this debate with this gibberish. No, please don't attack me. Please attack the argument I'm making. No, no, the attack BJP does not BJP control ED. The you BJP the does not control ED. When you cannot it controls your mind. It does not control ED. Oh, you don't, is it? You don't. You ha if you are a lawyer, you should you should take responsibility for the statement that you made. You're making. The BJP does not control the ED. It probably controls your mind. On all the discoveries that the ED makes, you will use the arrest the ED makes to change the opposition. As a lawyer, you have to prove that the BJP controls the ED. The prime minister says even the Supreme Court is not giving them bail. March 31st in Meerut, Prime Minister Modi says even the Supreme Court is not giving them bail. So the today, Supreme Court has given them bail. Know, Mr. Prime Minister, what do you have to say? Like what do you have to say? Ever. The Supreme Court that your lackeys wrote a letter attacking last Deke, week. Arnab what do you have to say? Deke. The Supreme Court has given Sanjay Singh bail. And next, it's Sisodia, then Kejriwal, no, no, then Heman Soren, K. Kavita. This is the beginning of the end of this extortion department. And it's bail of bail. This is the end of the reign of terror of the ED. The end has begun. How can it absolve money, Sisodia, and Arvind Kejriwal? First of all, as Mr. Goswami, whose understanding of the law I must commend, Section 45 of the PMLA clearly states, if you're released on bail, the court believes you're not guilty of the offense. How can a trial court find Sanjay Kejriwal? When the Supreme Court has gone in bail, saying there is no prima facie case made out against him. You are relying on approvers? Was that okay? Okay, let, let me, let me, let me, one minute, one minute. Uh, can I get Tuhin on the debate? It's a hot debate. I'm just simplifying it for you. You're approved. One minute, now, 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 please. Abhishek, cool it, please. Let others come in. Tuhin, I give you a chance to reply. Suhail is waiting. Anmol hasn't spoken yet. Arnab, there is a difference uh, between a chief the point being, and a collaborator. So... Oh, oh, no, no, oh, I'll see. So, so first, let's collaborate the collaborator, the collaborator, that, he's not that, a collaborator. that is there on your show. So one minute, can down. you, can you, Abhishek, uh, I want to hear the other side. Can Arnab you not do that, please? Thank no, you. Nobody can dare speak to me. When Arnab is speaking to me, please, please Abhi, Abhishek, don't, Abhishek, music, don't, Abhishek, Abhishek, don't, Abhishek, Abhishek don't, don't, let him complete, Abhishek, please don't, 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 don't. Is he a cheerleader for the liquor lobby? These can you not? Can you not, please? Can you calm down, everyone, please? It's a, it's, a, it's a very, it's a very delicately poised matter. And Abhishek, there is no point trying to provoke Tuhin on this. It's a serious matter to which I want to bring the point here. And Sohail, I'm coming to you last. Apologies, but I want to go to the AAP spokesperson here. You see, you make a big deal of what the Supreme Court has said. Asked a question here. So the Supreme Court has asked a question here. Where is the money trail? The Supreme Court has not said there is no money trail. Now, earlier, the Supreme Court has made more scathing observations and the court has said that a transfer of 338 crores is tentatively established. You don't want to talk about that. When Justice Khanna says one aspect regard to the transfer of money, 338 crores is tentatively established, we have dismissed the bail. Would you hail them for that? You say, no, let's not talk about that. That's not right. The Supreme Court has also said that there is enough evidence to prove that Satyendra Jain is prima facie guilty of the alleged offences. The Supreme Court bench said we are of the opinion. And I quote here, we are of the opinion that the appellants have miserably failed to satisfy us that there are reasonable grounds for believing they are not guilty for the alleged offences. On the contrary, everyone on, there is sufficient material collected by the ED to show that they are prime officer guilty of the alleged offences. At that point of time, you don't speak much about that. If I speak about it, you say you're making a mountain out of a molehill. So you're being selective. So don't jump too much, Anmol. This is just an observation. I can t show you a thousand more scathing observations as well. Anmol. Can I... Can I can I respond? Uh, now, today marks the victory of truth over falsehood, righteousness over unrighteousness, and justice over injustice. From the outset, we have been saying that you will not be able to detain us unjustly in this false and fabricated legal four, four on the screen. And today, and today, Lord Hanuman, wielding his mace, has begun dismantling your fortress of deceit, conspiracy, and corruption, which has been erected by the BJP. First point. Second, the Honorable Supreme Court very categorically asked two questions.
from the lawyer of enforcement directorate that why do you want to keep him in custody? They had no answers. That is there any trace of money? They had no answers. The court very specifically said that even after investigating the matter for two years, even after 500 raids, not a single penny has been recovered. And he was kept behind bars on the basis of false and fabricated allegations. As far as the allegation of 338 crore is concerned, Wait. Arnab, this one minute, one minute, you, one, one, minute, on one minute, just one point, one point. Uh, Anmol, can I, Anmol, can I, can I intervene now, now because you obviously have information that I don't. I, I have to, I have to make one. I need to point. be very factual with you. Uh, Anmol, 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 may I, may I, may I just ask you, may I just ask you, Anmol, may I just ask you for a clarification if you don't mind? Can you show me a single place where the court has said that there were false and fabricated allegations against Sanjay Singh? The exact use of the words. Can you please, because guide me through it, please. Anab, Anab, I, I don't have Words, the order. Paragraph? I, I, I was, I was where, where did the, the court say the fabric? I, no, no. I was present in the hearing. The uh, counsel for the enforcement directorate conceded because he know otherwise the honorable court would have to make observations as per the mandate of conceded section 45 what? of the PMLA Act. Conceded what? The court clearly said. Court clearly conceded what? No, 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 the I'll court did not the use the said. phrase, the allegations against Sanjay Singh are false and fabricated. Said. By using, you are quoting wrong words let, to the court. Not at all. You can just not retract that, let otherwise it will spiral let out of me control. Complete. I, I don't need to retract what has been held in the court today. The court very categorically said So you should not misquote if, the Supreme if, Court thus. I have, I have not misquoted the Supreme Court. The court said that they'll have to make, they'll prime of a side. <laughs> have to make an observation as per the mandate of section 45 of PMLA that... Mr. Sanjay Singh has committed no offence. It has been very clearly stated. And you are very curious to know that where is the money trail? Arnab, on your show, day after day, I have been uh -huh. asking the BJP spokesperson that's a totally, that the data has that's a been established. Data has been published by the Election Commission of India, which says that 60 crore rupees has been transferred to the Bharatiya Janta Party from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam P. Sharad Reddy. Ninth on 10th of November 2022, five crores was, were uh, donated to Bharatiya Janta Party. And on 8th November 2023, another 55 crores were donated to Bharatiya Janta Party. Sir, I, and I this was you. the reason why the enforcement Anmol. directed did Anmol. not even oppose the bail application. And this was the same person who Anmol. turned into an approver Anmol. after six months being in Anmol. custody. And he also made Anmol. observations before the court that he has been right. threatened. Anmol. He has been uh, made under... Uh, after being an undue influence after the coercion made by the officers of enforcement directorate, he was made to sign predicted statements implicating Mr. Kejriwal. Now, this is the reality of the so-called liquor scam. And the Bharatiya Janta Party is rattled because they don't now, have answers now to Now, Anmol, can I come in? Now, sure. now, Anmol, can I come in? Can I, now, can I respond to this? Anmol, can I come in? You know something, I completely understand and empathize the situation that you are in. There is a drought and you have to pull water out of a rock and you will if necessary. You will squeeze the greatest amount of meaning from a statement that has not been made. Even if the Honorable Supreme Court smiles at you, you will say that you are being exonerated. You are overread into things and underread into things as per your convenience. I would like to tell you I am a man of exactitude. I like to be factual and accurate, especially when I am dealing with the court. The Supreme Court has said today that in the first 10 statements of Dinesh Arora, there is no implication of Sanjay Singh, but goes on to say that later in the 10th statement he does. The fact is that Dinesh Arora initially had not implicated Sanjay Singh, but later on in the 10th statement he does. There is a slight change in his version. When we look at sections 45 and 19 PMLA, we have to take these factors into account. It has to be tested when he comes to the witness box. 
Please don't uh-huh. read 40% of a sentence and remove 60%. What are you doing, Anmol? Arnav, what I'm doing... And I'm too I'm smart saying, for that, I'm, Anmol. I'm telling, I'm I am, I am to too much people. too smart for yeah, that, no. Anmol. Because you are not willing to answer I'm questions much too to smart, Anmol. Person. Arnav, this same... Anmol, I've asked the BJP questions and you saw them uncomfortable. Sohail, 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 listen, Sohail, listen, Sohail, Sohail, listen, you are an uninterested... I haven't interrupted anyone. Arnab, let me complete. Is guys did you finish ever ask the BJP spokesperson that why did you take 60 crores from the LL kingpin of the liquor scam? You are looking for money trail. I am giving you evidence. The SBI has published the data. The election commission has published the data. Why are you not asking BJP spokesperson that why did they take 60 crores from the LL kingpin of the liquor scam? Uh, Good. You are, no, you are the finished. one who are asking for the for this specific question at the start of your show. Then please ask this man. Arnab. Show some courage and ask this man that why did they take sixty crores from the kingpin of the liquor scam? And the same yeah, thought. First of all, the I mean, same Arnab, thought. Can, I, can I just okay, come in over here? Okay. Yeah, I, I'll Arnab, you, why don't you have a program with these guys? We'll just keep quiet. Uh, one minute. Can, can I get can I get Sohail in one minute? Tohin, 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 Tohin. Let me get Sohail in. Then you come yeah. in. Sohail's listening. Sohail, listen. Sohail, you know that the way I look at it is this is a matter about perception. Nobody understands perception more than you. Which way is it? How is it looking? What are the risks for both? How do you read it, given the Sanjay Singh bail, and how do you think people are reading it, Sohail? I don't care about how people read it because I don't know enough people or as many people as you do. But let me just logically analyze what's happened today. Number one, Abhishek said lackeys. I wouldn't use the word lackeys for his own colleagues, but be that as it may, it's he's entitled to his opinion. I think the one thing that has been established is that the courts are not under the control of the government. Agencies may or may not be under supervisory control, again, to quote a panelist on your program, but I don't think the courts are. Otherwise, this wouldn't have happened. Number two, bail is not a dismissal of the case or an acquittal. It is merely bail. So while Sanjay Singh is out of jail, he is not acquitted of a crime that he may have been arrested for or custodially remanded for. Number three, I don't think with all the publicity at this case, the enforcement directorate would have gone this this far if they didn't have any evidence to arrest a sitting chief minister, to arrest a member of parliament, to arrest a deputy chief minister. So that's number three. Number four, the same very Sanjay Singh today, who was granted bail by the Supreme Court, was also denied bail by various courts in the last six months. This is not the first time that he's appealed for bail. So the denial must have had some grounds. So if we believe that the courts are right today, we logically should believe that the courts were right then. Because you can't say that today, because the courts has exonerated him, the courts are fair. And because the courts didn't exonerate him earlier, the courts are unfair. I'm just talking as a, as a lay person. The other issue here is very simple. Now, I can't remember the gentleman, the Ahmadmi, Un- Unmol, correct, Unmol. Unmol made a point saying that, look, establish the money trail of the 60 crores, which has been put up on the election commission's website. I totally agree. You cannot have selective amnesia when it comes to money trails or money that has been given, which is non-kosher. But to do what about tree is not the argu- logical conclusion for this kind of an argument. And Anmol, my friend, what you're doing is right, saying that where is that? But that doesn't solve the issues that we are addressing today. The issues are very simple. Did anyone from Admam, Aam Admi Party indulge in a conspiracy where the government of Delhi was robbed of its fair share of revenue from liquor? That's the moot point. Number two, was there any diversion of funds? Now, there has been a report in the newspapers. I'm not saying it. The newspapers are saying it. The same very newspapers that Aam Aadmi spends a lot of money in advertising, as does the BJP. The newspapers say that they have now found a trail established somewhere in Goa that some Hawala transactions took place. Let that all come out. But I'm making a larger point here. If people are being arrested and then being freed for lack of evidence, it is a big, big statement on the way our judicial 
body's function. Because you cannot keep a person incarcerated if you don't have evidence. Now, this PMLA law is not a law of the BJP's doing. This law existed. This law in itself needs to be re-examined. If the law is being used to persecute people yes. because of political vendetta, that also needs to be analyzed. So I think in the larger debate, yes, we need to, we need to introspect. But as of today, it can't be that Aam Aadmi Party has done nothing wrong. Because if that was the case, then Aam Aadmi Party knows how to fight. And this is going to be a massive fight on judicial parameters. I'm done. Please. You know, eventually, done, eventually, Anmol wants to respond here. Eventually, sure. remember, viewers, this is this is going down to the wire, but it has a lot of certainty. This case, either now, I am putting a question here tonight, viewers, to you. Do you think it will be the turning point on RepublicWorld.com? There is a poll on, and Anmol uh, and Tohin, the way there is public focus and public attention on it. Both sides, BJP and AAP, are aware this is a fight to the finish. If there is a conviction, and let me say this, Anmol, if even one of the senior leaders get convicted, then the reputation of AAP is destroyed forever. Arnab, this is a false and fabricated And if Kejriwal is convicted, the I'll, AAP will I'll, be destroyed irretrievably. Hopefully, we'll meet uh, Arnab, someday after and so there's a lot at stake one year yes. when all the leaders will get acquitted. And you must change this hashtag uh, from bail or trail to illegal arrest gate. Because this is what uh, this whole investigation scam is all about. Because after two years, they are still fishing for evidence. Wants to be the anchor they don't also. have a single shred of evidence. The so-called premier agency which is working at the behest of Bharatiya Janata Party. Arnab, if, if the a procedural bail for them... But, but, but the what is alarming is, Arnab, you are still not asking the BJP amounts to the, all the cases very specific being false and fabricated, then unmold. they are actually indicting themselves. One minute, one minute, two in, two in, can I, can I, can I just make a... One minute, yeah, one minute, you've made enough point. I want to make just, I want to ask Anmol a genuine question. This is not a facetious question. Let's imagine everything you're saying is true. What prevents you, when I say you, I mean the Aam Aadmi Party or other like-minded people, from actually going to the Supreme Court and saying that you believe that the agencies are functioning under political pressure? Because today, suddenly, there has been a reimposition of faith in the Supreme Court by all the parties. See, it's, it's depending on the mood of the, of the wokes and the liberals. If the Supreme Court votes against the government, then it is then democracy has returned. If it votes for the government, it means they are under governmental pressure. I mean, you can't have it both ways, na? No, I think that you are jumping the gun. How do you all? How do you all? No, 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 let me come in for a minute. There's an anchor on this program. One minute. Tomorrow you can cast aspersions on No, 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 one minute. Abhishek, don't jump too much. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this verbal trampoline on the program. My question is very simple. My, my one point is here. See, I'll tell you, and Tuhin is getting damn restless tonight, so I have to have Tuhin have a go at Anmol, and it'll be BJP versus AAP. Let them have a go at each other. I'm not going to. Tuhin, <laughs> you seem a little muted. Are you getting uncomfortable with what the court said today? My question to you is. Not at all. Repeatedly, not at all. I'm asking you. Is it coming down to money? Maybe, maybe, maybe Tuhin. Till, till a week to back, Tuhin. pressure pills today. Anmol, don't. Anmol, hey, they stop. You just Anmol stop question is to Tuhi. You can, don't read his you know, body language. The fact is, this is. I, I yeah, will okay, repeat, Tuhi, Arnab, on your show that, you know, Aam Admi Party has a basic, has a fundamental lack of comprehension of issues. Today, that now that they've got a procedural bail, they say that all the charges have been proved false and fabricated, which, you know, they are actually indicting their own leaders. The fact that Manish Sisodia has not managed to get bail for the Tuhin. last 16 months, that only, only proves that, you know, all the charges against him are true. Tuhin. If the court has specifically said Tuhin, on 30th October, on just 10 seconds, that can the tentative money this? trail of 338 Tuhin. crore has Tuhin, been established, they should wait this? for the next hearing Tuhin, of may that. I, may I? Yeah. May I? Tuhin. Yes. Tuhin, Tuhin uh, when the BJP, now what the BJP said on Sanjay Singh, now you are saying, coming on my program, that he's not the main man. But October 2023, everyone on. You he said, as the, the BJP man. said, quote, his right-hand man Manish Sisodia has been languishing 
in jail for the past several months. Both the right hand and the left hand of Kejriwal are involved in corruption. It's Kejriwal who forces MPs and ministers to commit corruption to fill his coffers. The BJP at that point of time said that Dinesh Arora was the main link that implicated Sanjay Singh. And today the court says that the initial statements of Dinesh Arora did not implicate him, but he had a change of mind later. What the BJP said on Dinesh Arora's statement at that time was, Arora has admitted that he paid 32 lakh rupees as a bribe to Kejriwal by a check on being asked by Sanjay Singh at the meeting to pay for the party fund. So, you were very exact in October. You're not as exact in March. Arab, can I come in? So, did you read too much into it then? Arnab, no, no, Tuhin, you have to answer this. Tuhin, supposed to see, be the, the question is... It's architect of the scam. Manish Sodia was always seen as then the chief architect of the scam. Why you Manish Sodia? I understand. Why Sanjay Singh? highlighted in one of the court judgments also. No, Sanjay Singh was possibly a collaborator. Interrogation was required at that point of time. You know, interrogation ca cannot be required in certain cases for infinity if, uh, you know, he has provided information which was required by the agencies and if the agency thinks that extending his custody is not required, I think the ED would be in the best position to tell you the exact details. 88% 88 of people feel this is not the turning point. The ARP's reading too much. Anmol wants to respond. Bail or trail. Anmol. Anab, have you watched that movie, uh, Mujhse Shadi Karogi? In that movie, there's one character, Dugal Sahab. No. Today, the BJP wale pravaktaon ki halat kuch aisi hi hai. Ek din kehte hai, ji, Sharad Reddy kingpin hai. Dusre din kehte hai, Sanjay Singh kingpin hai. Tisre din kehte hai, Manish Sisodhya kingpin hai. They are all rattled. They, they, they don't, uh, uh, they are very well aware of the fact that this case will fall flat in two minutes. They have no facts to base their uh, claims and they are just uh, uh, making rhetorical statements which have no existence. Arna, bail uh, 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 hua Anmol, hai, acquittal nahi Anmol, hua hai. Anmol, in a, Sanjay in a, in a Singh's fight. bail does but, not can absolve Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia. Can I quote the observations made by Honorable uh, Justice Khanna today, if you allow me? He very clearly said that no money has been recovered. The trace of money is not there because it was long back. Fact of the matter is that money has not been recovered. Please keep in mind that if we are required to record in terms of Section 45 no, one of minute. the MLA, Anmol. then he has prime FSI Anmol. not committed an offence. Anmol, one minute. Now I am now I'm asking you. No, 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 one minute, one minute. Trial. Observation, 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 observation. We are going to play observation these, versus these observation, are, okay? Are, We're going to play a little game tonight. Made. We're going These to play a little game tonight, Sohail. Honorable Our Justice game is Khanna today. Observation versus observation. Okay, you have one observation. I have four. Let's fight. Observation one. Another For every observation fact. of yours, you I put one observation. Then you put one. You on put one original one. I'm from the BJP spokesperson. I have asked every single question. I will not be directed another, at asking any questions. I never have and another, never will. Observation versus you. observation. Delhi High Court, while denying bail to Manish Sisodia, money made the trade. following observation. I have placed the, all the facts, but still you are not asking the, the question to BJP spokesperson. I'll start and end as I want. Wait, I'm a free wait, man. No. Why don't you start? Certainly, but, but, I will but, start. But How I start, program. our end is not my... Certainly, yeah, certainly, let Arnab Goswami conduct his program. When you start your channel, we'll listen to you. Let us finish no, this. Seriously, everybody wants to be an anchor nowadays. Yeah. They want to be the anchor. Arnab, they want to be the anchor. No, in like why, the why anchor do you want to do my party. job? I'm good at my job. No That's why I'm doing it for party. all these the years. Anchor Aadmi Party. This is what this is my speciality. The question is, while, because I've got so much research, you know, so much research, I have to use it. Uh, my question is, one minute, yaar, Anmol. 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 Now listen to me. This is an Ivan Lendl serve going on to you. Question is, the Delhi High Court, while denying bail to Manish Sodia, said he was in contact with Vijay Nair and the South Lobby. The judge said, and I quote, the co co evidence collected so far clearly shows that the applicant through co-accused Vijay Nair was in contact with the South Lobby and the formulation of a favorable policy for them was being ensured at every cost. Your comments on this observation? No, my, my this observation comments are that, please, please, please. Uh, my observation is that you have a special tip, please. My special tip is that you have a special tip 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 that you have a special
that uh, honorable court has denied the allegation of uh, receiving 100 crore bribes 45 crores and uh, this observation about tentative establishment do what not are stand. you saying i am saying what has what been written are you in saying ek observation pe itni excitement mein hazar observation dikha raha hu aap us pe debate nahi kar rahe the, this is not the observation I, go, swear, what is this i i am giving him a thousand observations he says i don't like your observation i like my observation why no no i'm i like I'm, my I'm, observation I'm you have to I'm comment on my swail is not commenting on my observation by the honorable supreme court i am placing reliance on the judgment made by the honorable supreme court and i am placing reliance Which on the observations of the high court and the supreme court and the supreme court has said a transfer of 338 crores is tentatively established did they say that let or not let me let me clear let me make did they can you say that it's there this is this is not in regard to mr manish sir mr arvind on a serious note no no so what's going on on a serious note what is really heartwarming is that we have once again reposed our faith in the supreme court there were enough comments being made on the supreme court That's and true. its judgments for the last 3 4 months i'm glad that almost all political parties have come to the view that the supreme court is independent as in my mind it always was and hopefully will always remain yeah yeah that to my mind is the silver lining on this very dark ominous cloud but a master of sarcasm you are not a, you are a wizard of sarcasm so he'll say i'm being genuine there's nobody can surpass you in it nobody can sur also, no no sir, I, it's a genuine that. statement but there is a i know and i take yeah. it with a lot that's of humility <laughs> i accept it with humility and grace <laughs> including but rolling is, eyes but you know soel this is going to be one of the more interesting these are one of the interesting debates of this election season and it's quite interesting i mean otherwise the political contest is so uneven at least the debate on issues like this is serious tohin tohin do you have the edge yes. on this do you still have the yes, edge sir. on this we we have a massive edge i'm telling you arna aap aadmi party was not obviously not expecting the bail today because they know their involvement in the case so they are you know they they are so over excited today that they are not able to make out the difference between a procedural bail and conviction uh, and acquittal but i think Please like i mentioned the, the wisdom the, of supreme court uh, even if he has got a bail that does not the absolve the other two okay and i think you know on the on the one hand you know anyway, look, look at atishi the... atishi is al already planning to get arrested in the next two months along with raghav chadda who by the way is absconding or, or i don't know where he is so if they have nothing to hide i think the that least that one expects from a responsible for the last member of one parliament month. of rajya sabha you think raghav chadda does not have the right to raghav chadda does not have the right to raghav chadda does not have the right to be in london for a month why are you questioning raghav chadda what's wrong if he chooses to be in london no no he can be Go anywhere to the he can be meet some people for any, lunch have a coffee anywhere, but i think you know aam aadmi party has got brilliant uh, dispensaries and brilliant uh, swasth clinics which they have set up across delhi so i think if health is the reason he should make make uh, he should avail of the benefits of uh, delhi's health turn around as aam aadmi party always claims maybe he wants to get treated in london what's your problem he likes the nhs no no and the weather in london is very conducive i'll take a break when i come back on the other uk parliament the weather in london to him is very conducive to anything to do with pro khalistani uk parliamentarians was the reason then he should spell it out okay ladies and gentlemen when i come back the roughest day in court was not aap bjp or ed the roughest day in court was for patanjali and baba ramdev i'll tell you why in 30 seconds Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. DMK and Congress, two sides of the same coin. Hai. DMK and Congress ka matlab hai big corruption. डीएम के और कांग्रेस का मतलब है वन फैमिली रूल जी आई एम टोटली दैम
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. The Supreme Court has come down heavily on Patanjali, Ayurved's co-founder, Baba Ramdev and managing director, Acharya Balakrishna, for their, quote, absolute defiance in not filing proper affidavits about the com company's misleading advertisements case. Everybody in the country is now looking at this and the top court says that advertisements issued by Patanjali have to be questioned. The apex court has also warned Baba Ramdev. This is what happened when he went to court today. Legal trouble continues to mount for Patanjali. We have made a coronal. We have made a coronal immunity for the ये जो है कोरो नहीं लिए पूरी बॉडी की इम्यूनिटी के लिए तो स्वासारी खाली पेट दो दो गोली सुबह दो पर शाम तीन बार Calling out Patanjali Ayurveda for absolute defiance, the Supreme Court has wrapped Ramdev for defying its earlier notice in the misleading advertisement case. The top court has refused to accept the unconditional apology of Ramdev, calling it mere lip service. The Supreme Court took exception to Ramdev for shifting the blame to the media department of the firm. The bench questioned Ramdev whether Patanjali Ayurveda wasn't aware of the court proceedings. The courtroom battle came even as Patanjali Ayurveda issued an advertisement after it assured the top court last year that it refrained from making any casual statements, claiming medical efficacy or against any system of medicine. The Supreme Court has granted one last opportunity to Ramdev, asking him to file a fresh affidavit in a week. Why did Patanjali defy the top court's order? Let's debate. Rahul Ishwar is pro Patanjali. Suhail Seth is observing this. Uh, Mithun Vijay Kumar, last time you were on the debate, Rahul Ishwar, you were on the debate. The least we can expect is that Baba Ramdev should follow what the court says. I mean, if Baba Ramdev feels that he does not need to follow the court, then the question will be Rahul Ishwar, why? Is How is no he? The court is telling him not to put out any misleading advertisements or claims, and he continues to do so. And then he comes and says, I'm sorry. Arunati, How will that work? Remember, he has he has rendered an unconditional apology. Unlike, uh, can you uh, unmute Bhutan. yourself? Can you uh, unmute yourself? Unmute yourself, Rahul. Yeah, it, it's not mute here. It's not mute here. So Baba Rande, just one submission. Yeah, Prashant yeah, Bhushan yeah, 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 refused yeah, yeah. to even pay earlier one rupee for one rupee as a contempt of court thing. But Baba Rande was, I you know, profusely apologizing and rendering an unconditional apology. Prashant Bhushan was at last pleaded by the Honorable Supreme Court to pay one rupee fine. But Baba Ramde graciously come to the court, accepted what the Supreme Court said, and also said, you know, he's ready to officially apologize with folded hands. His advocate really used folded hands as per media reports in the Honorable Court. I hope court should be more magnanimous and matter? kind to a champion of Ayurveda and yoga who it's has popularized not. yoga and Ayurveda not only in India, but around the world. Let us not use Baba Ramdev as some kind of a scapegoat so that, you know, many people, I'm not saying court, many people can take out their anger with the whole Dharmic spectrum. See, Baba Ramdev, many people are targeting over social no, media, no, no, black... No, no, no. Because of other reasons, and that is not a right thing to do. Baba Ram, they accepted, he so apologized, well, and even okay, the we have a fast debate. Uh, Please don't miss to see all these. Uh, we have a fast debate, so I'm, I'm getting sorry, a sorry, Arnab. We have a fast Baba debate, Ramdev so Suez so coming in with us. Yeah. Baba Ramdev has used communication to mislead people in the area of personal health care. Let's not so fool each other. A B, Rahul, one minute. Did I interrupt you? Keep quiet for a minute. Let me finish. Please. Number two, I don't care whether Baba Ramdev folds his hands or folds his legs or does a yoga posture in the Supreme Court. That is not important. He was asked by the Supreme Court to render an apology. He defied that. He is not some person who is above the law in this country. Let me also say one more thing. Baba Ramdev has made it a habit to knock every other form of medicine in this world. He made fun of Coca-Cola at one time. He made fun of any product that did not suit his, he accused Dabur of, uh, 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 you know, spurious honey. 
He has gone to town abusing brands. Today, when he is held up to account, he claims to be a saint. This is utter rubbish. Let's be realistic about one thing, Arnab. This country is run by rule of law. It is not run by saints. It is not run by babas. It is not run by yoga teachers. It has to be run by the state, to my mind, by the rule of law. So what the Supreme Court has done Okay, let me, let me ask you something. Let, let me I ask you something. Let, let me ask you something. The Supreme Court let me ask you something. I'm not, I'm not no naming certain are, brands. No, no, I'm, but, 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 but is the, okay, Sohel, Sohel, there are big foreign FMCG companies. Yes, you catch know, them. Who put catch in all them. this? I'm not Arnav naming any Goswami, company. Swami, you're right. But I'm if telling you who put. No, 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 no. One minute, one minute. Who, who basically, who basically? No, no. But one minute, one minute. What people will say? There are a lot of foreign FMCG companies who make false claims regularly. Who? Arrest and I'm telling friend, you how they put I'm false claims. They will put them. this packet, put shiny uh, packaging on it, and say this is good them. for the health of your children. When they arrest know them. it is nothing, it is nothing but it is nothing but full of sugar. Full of sugar, totally, but you will so put nice this. packaging, spend crores of rupees on advertising and say your children will be taller, healthier, more protein. Modi, no, I'm Narendra saying Modi, why, 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 mind, does, no, why, why are those companies be... not taken to task? No, 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 no. Do you know the number of lies yes, those FMCG Arnav, companies put Arnav, out? Arnav, tomorrow, if a Even chocolate companies put out lies. Hear me out. Hear me out. They'll tomorrow put a little bit of a nut and they'll say it's good for your health. No, no, I'll tell you. No, I'm the, saying today is, pa, time, is Baba, is, time, is Patanjali being targeted? Your logic is not right. Let me tell you why. Suppose tomorrow a television company lies to people on the news or about the news. Will you shut all television channels? Will you accuse all TV channels? No. A, B, I totally agree with you. If any MNC is found to be violating the law of the land in terms of what it promises in its product mix, hold them accountable. No one is saying don't hold them accountable. All we are saying is no one no, is but, above but the tell law me one in thing, this Sohel, country. Sohel, Number two, Sohel, you cannot Sohel, tell me one thing. Fun I'm not looking at the technicality of, of it. This country's Supreme Court. That's my limited point. My limited point is Baba Ramdev may be sitting on top of a mountain for all I care. But even above that mountain is the Supreme is Court. There of is there a FMCG lobby against Patanjali law. that's at play? Is there an FMCG against lobby Patanjali against yet. Patanjali at play? Patanjali. Simple. I don't even use half the products that they Ayurveda. make. Demeaning huh? Ayurveda, defaming Indian systems, Indian wellness systems hey, are you know, profound. Yeah, and Rahul, want to the point, and my friend, Indian is you're a very wellness. bright human being. Don't find a conspiracy where none exists. No, now you will say many people Baba are out to defame. Let us be honest Supreme about it. That means we are anti-India. What rubbish! No, nobody is saying so, sir. So else, well, sir, nobody is saying so. I we are at most Swami, but Baba yeah, Ramdev should uh, be given uh, a fair Sri treatment. Sri Ravi Shankar, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar has a great brand. Has that brand ever been accused of plagiarism or spuriosity? No, and no one is accusing Baba Ramdev. All I'm saying is, never. If the Supreme Court says bow before the Majesty of the Court, you bow before the Majesty of the Court because you're bowing before the Constitution of India. Baba Ramdev is not in the Republic a... of Ramdev. He's in the okay, Republic so, of India. So... He's a citizen of India. Okay. That's my limited point. Okay. My point is not to say, oh, Baba Ramdev is wrong and everyone else okay. is right. That's uh, not Mithun, Mithun, can I bring you in? Mithun, Mithun, yes, Mithun, Mithun. Baba Ramdev <laughs> runs a company that yes, whose valuation goes into tens of thousands <laughs> of crores. He has multi-thousand crore turnover. Multi thousand crore profit. Surely his media department knows what the court has said. He can't say, I didn't know. He's See, also running a, a huge expert company. Expert he can't tell the court, sir, I made a mistake. Made by After, okay, go on. Hello? See, uh, sir, I am saying, all I am saying is, I am not go an expert on, to comment whether the apology on. made by Patanjali meets the standards expected by the Supreme Court. I understand, you know, Patanjali has crossed a certain line when it comes to their uh, advertising policies. But uh, what we are doing right now is uh, demonizing a brand that democratized Ayurveda. <laughs> for. And let me just add more substance to what you already said, sir. We don't have a problem when Horlick says, you know, they will help us grow taller, stronger and sharper. We don't have a problem when Compliance says they will provide, uh, you know, complete nutrition. We don't have a problem when Safola says their cooking oil is heart healthy. We don't have Excellent. a problem when Bonvita says, you know, they will give you strong bones, uh, strong muscles and an active brain. Uh, now, you know, there is this brand, uh, Guaranteed Fairness and Guaranteed Fame is the tagline of uh, Fair and Lovely. Is there, is there anyone on this panel who is attributing their fairness and fame to Fair and Lovely? 
So why Correct. attack? Not attributing my fairness, but I have objected to fair and lovely. If you, if you on television I program, I don't. Sir, I allow me to finish. I didn't interrupt when you were talking. Sure, sure, I didn't sure. interrupt you. No, because you finish. said anyone on the panel, so you you no, no, involved please. me. That's you why can, I interrupted. You can use your time to you can use your time to answer that. Please don't please don't please don't interrupt when I'm talking. If you simply drive on a highway. You'll find hoardings of People many so reputed hospitals that claim to treat everything from heart disease to liver problem and whatnot. Can any of these hospitals give a hundred percent guarantee of what they say in their ads? Yeah, All I'm know. saying is let's not try to demonize the brand because their advertising went wrong. It's it's as simple as that. They have no, offered no, no. products which are useful for many people, but if their advertising is wrong, let's <laughs> let's you know not use it as a tool to attack them, attack the entire brand itself. And you know now, now let, posts now are can I come in? on almost everything in the country and. Sir, I, I please don't interrupt me. Allow me to finish, sir. I, I, I didn't talk when you were you okay, were coming. Okay, sorry, sorry. Morning. Please go ahead. So very yeah, heated, I very heated. Have, so, sorry, sorry. No, no, I'm not I'm heated. Very at heated. All. I'm not heated at all. I want to respond to my let's, good friend. Let's, 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 the debate is heated. The debate is overall. My debate today has been too hot. Let's, oh, sorry, Mitchell. Have you let's, finished? Let's, you let me know when you finish. I'm saying let's respect all forms of medicine, and we should be open to you know exploring the potential of complementary approaches like Ayurveda. And uh, all I'm saying is, we should encourage collaborative research to understand the potential benefits of these traditional systems. If their advertisement has gone wrong, that's okay because there are plenty of advertisements like this I, that that I can show. Because sure, if it's an advertising policy that they have to fix. They have they are making reparations. They are ready to make the uh, you know reparations for that. But still, <coughs> we are not leaving them. We are attacking them constantly. No, number one, I now want to come in, Arunab, and you must give me time. No one has attacked Baba Ramdev for creating a brand called Patanjali. I have spoken about how the brand has created a distinction. A B. I've also spoken in marketing lectures about their toothpaste and how that toothpaste has caused market disruption for the better. My limited point is as follows: There is something called the Advertising Standards Council of India, which by and large is a toothless body. That that body then needs to be held to account. If there are other companies that are promising through their advertising product benefits that don't exist, so Mitun and uh, Rahul and I are on the same page. No one is saying that you must allow lies of one and not allow what you believe is incorrect from the other. So no one's case is that. Number one, number two, this is not a debate, my friend, about MNC versus India. My limited point was only to this much: that no matter who you are, no matter how much influence you wield. No matter how powerful you are, ultimately you subject yourself to the majesty of the Supreme Court. Number three, I totally agree with this gentleman Mitu, where he says that don't demonize. No one is demonizing. Please remember whether you and I or twenty people on Arunab Goswami's program demonize Baba Ramdev, we won't be demonized. Brands are built on the strength of benefits and the relationship they create with consumers. If Patanjali has, as I'm sure it has, because it's successful, build that the, relationship. You and I can't destroy it think, on this television program. Well, sir, no just one, 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 one submission and a limited no point. Okay, I'll Patanjali. give Rahul ten seconds. Yes, Rahul, just Rahul. one submission and a limited point. Have seconds. we ever seen IMA take any action against any so-called FMCG product? So Have they taken any I action now, against any me? product that assures health, that assures weight, that assures fairness? That Ashwar is complete healthcare. So there reeks of double standard. Like my good friend Midun rightly said, you are demonizing a brand and also creating a double standard, thereby yeah. implying Ayurveda is bad, yoga is bad, Rahul, Indian wellness Rahul, systems are bad. Rahul, if IMA is totally honest and sincere, permit. please attack the I, huge billion dollar. I totally, I totally agree with you. Anytime, so here's, here's, what here's what we should do. Here's what we should do. Promises. Why don't you do one thing? You list all the agencies that have supervisory or regulatory control. Over brands and consumers, we have a ministry for consumer affairs. I don't know who even uh, you know who's running the ministry. You then have that Grahak Shakti it's and all a, that it's stuff. A matter of... You have FSSAI, which looks at food yeah. uh, supervision. You have the yeah. IMA, as you rightly said. You have the Advertising Standards Council of India. You have more committees I, than functioning I, traffic lights in India. Yeah, you have a choice. Both but those you're, committees accountable. Yeah. But then Rahul Ishwar, <laughs> yeah, why yeah, you are not supposed to be But but but, 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 but having said that, I just want to say it's a matter of choice, Swail. Well, it's a matter of choice. Some people like allopathy. Some people like Ayurveda. Some people like yoga. No, 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 no. Everybody has their own way. Yours, but you must and some people like Swail said choice. feel that sleeping in the afternoon cures them of all diseases. You must make an informed choice. Everybody has their own way. 
No, no, that's like Ayurveda saying Ayurveda has a different Swami paradigm altogether. Mark. It's a different no, no, paradigm. No, 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 no. There's a clash of paradigms happening. We shouldn't discount Aray, that. Yeah, don't make it into oh. World War Three. Of course, Suhail Sri Ji is a different paradigm altogether. Yeah, I Ayurveda understand Ayurveda that. Anti, we cannot. Yeah, anti, but at the same anti, point of time, anti, Ayurveda has a different yardstick. You cannot say anti Hanuman, anti Ram. No one is anti. Okay. We are not. Aray, chill, yeah. I think. I think. I think. I would say to Baba Ramdev. Baba Ramdev also. Why does he use TRPs? to allow advertisers to make an informed choice does he fudge those trps no should you fudge any product data whether it's mnc or patanjali no if it is being fudged action should be taken who's going to take it's action okay. not over or me not arnab goswami yeah. those agencies should take it yeah live and let live a little put them into shape True. that's what i'm saying but True. don't throw the baby with True. the okay viewers okay viewers bath water correct So he'll say it's had a good debate. So have we all, ladies and gentlemen. I think Baba Ramdev should also chill a little bit, and uh, eventually remember, if people believe in a product, they believe in a product. Ladies and gentlemen, see you tomorrow at nine. Come what may. Good night and goodbye. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Me preocupa por por el lado de que vuelven de la selección, ¿no? Y que se tienen que otra vez conectar a a lo que es al modo club, digamos. Sí, me preocupa más que no el partido del del Paris Saint Germain, que nos quedan nos quedan muchos días todavía, ¿no? Vamos a centrarnos en la liga. Eh, creemos y queremos lucharla, que la podemos luchar y mañana es vital ganar estos tres puntos para meter un poco más de presión al, al Real Madrid. Es un chico que está todavía es adolescente, no lo hemos dicho muchas veces, pero es así. A nivel mental lo veo un chico alegre, divertido, bromista, eh, que está digiriendo muy bien lo que está lo que le está ocurriendo, que además está disfrutando, lo veo que está contento, está feliz. Eh, El equipo, el grupo lo ha lo ha aceptado espectacularmente bien. Eh, lo está ayudando. Él también. हमने देखा कि किस तरह से पिछले दो साल से एक-एक करके एक-एक करके आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं को झूठे केसों में सब गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा था, फंसाया जा रहा था. लेकिन आज संजय सिंह जी की जमानत ये बताती है कि आखिर कर जी Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Por, por el lado de que vuelven de la selección, ¿no? Y que se tienen que otra vez conectar a, a lo que es al modo club, digamos. Sí, me preocupa más que no el partido del, del Paris Saint Germain, que nos quedan nos quedan muchos días todavía, ¿no? Vamos a centrarnos en la liga. Eh, creemos y queremos lucharla, que la podemos luchar y mañana es vital ganar estos tres puntos para meter un poco más de presión al, al Real Madrid. Es un chico que está todavía es adolescente, ¿no? Lo hemos dicho muchas veces. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. and gentlemen and the latest is that rahul gandhi has threatened that the country will burn 
Rahul Gandhi says aag lag jayegi the country will burn if Narendra Modi gets elected to a third term and any changes are made to the constitution in hindi he has said aag lag jayegi desh mein aag lag jayegi which literally means that the country will be on fire now there are no two ways of looking at it so it is totally clear to me that rahul gandhi on behalf of the indian national congress has said that he will set the country ablaze if someone else wins and if the winning sides makes changes to the constitution with the numbers that they have now what does rahul gandhi's aag lag jayegi comment imply first that he is absolutely certain that the nda will get over 2/3 majority in the lok sabha two that making changes to the constitution is okay if you are from the vadra gandhi family which you have been doing all these years but not okay if you are not from the vadra gandhi family basically means that if robert vadra becomes prime minister of india he can make all the changes he wants but not if anybody outside the vadra gandhi family makes changes three this is a classic script in my view of a poor loser it's like saying you will dig up the cricket pitch if you lose it is like some kind of a toddler tantrum but with one very dangerous implication rahul gandhi is threatening to tear my country down if he loses and that is why to him i say rahul gandhi the country is not your private property to do as you please your family doesn't own the country and if you want to make changes to the constitution first learn how to win first go get a two thirds majority you can't even win amethi changes to the constitution cannot be done randomly anyway and mr gandhi when will you learn the constitution allows for a change in the constitution as per a set procedure fundamentally first you have to have the numbers you have to learn how to win and if you are certain that you will lose i have a three word piece of advice for you mr gandhi get a life leave our country alone we debating that tonight viewers first aag lag jayegi comment of rahul gandhi do people talk like this it's not funny it's not funny any more viewers this is dangerous aag lag jayegi what does he mean aag lag jayegi debate number 2 tonight sanjay singh right hand man of kejriwal gets bail where's the money trail if they are going to get bail where's the money trail debate number 3 tonight baba ramdev go to the supreme court to say sorry supreme court is unmoved it's really furious at baba ramdev apology unaccepted big blow to patanjali debate 3 and here are the headlines this tuesday evening on the debate tonight कांग्रेस के शाही परिवार के शाहजादे ने शाहजादे ने ऐलान किया है कि अगर देश ने तीसरी बार बीजेपी सरकार को चुनी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी सेस राहुल गांधी एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर गिव्स इट बैक आफ्टर राहुल्स India will burn comment ye ye kaha gaya agar bhartiya janta party nahi join kari to aane wale ek mahine mein ed dwara mujhe giraftar kar liya jayega pichle 8 9 saal mein mujhe giraftar kar and that's her expose atishi has a 10 am press conference says i am going to be the next one to be arrested This is old tactic and ploy of Mr. Kejriwal to save his own skin. He can go to any extent when he has cheated Anna Hazare and other senior leaders of AAP. What are Atishi and Saurabh? BJP hits back at the AAP after fires a certified liar jibe after Atishi's Operation Lotus claim. 
Meanwhile, interesting turn of events. The ED does not oppose. Does not oppose granting bail to Sanjay Singh. Kejriwal in. Sanjay Singh gets bail. He's coming out. Supreme Court massively pulls, pulls up Ramdev over the Patanjali controversy of misleading advertisements. And cracks widen in the Indy. Pinaray Vijayan slams Rahul Swainard candidature once again. And ladies and gentlemen, Rahul Gandhi had accused the BJP of match fixing and had said that if the BJP wins the polls and changes the constitution, then the country will be on fire. Aag lag jayegi, Rahul Gandhi said. Today there was a fierce retort from the Prime Minister, which has brought the focus on this absurd threat from the Vadra Gandhi family. If they lose, let's debate. Match fixing ka chunao, BJP jite, ko is pure desh mein aag lagne ja rahi hai, aag lagne ja rahi hai. Sahajade ne alaan kiya hai, ki agar desh ne tisri baar BJP sarkar ko chuni, aag lagne jai, aag lagne jai. With Lok Sabha polls just days away, Rahul Gandhi has issued a big warning. If in Hindustan the match fixing ka chunao, BJP jite, or uske baad, Savidhan ko unhone badla, to is pure desh mein. Aag lagne ja rahi hai. Prime Minister Modi has called out Rahul Gandhi's emergency mindset. Congress ke shahi parivar ke sahajade ne sahajade ne alaan kiya hai ki agar desh ne tisri baar BJP sarkar ko chuni aag lag jayegi. साठ साल तक देश पर राज करने वाले दस साल सत्ता से बाहर क्या रह गए अब देश में आग लगाने की बात कर रहे हैं राहुल गांधी हैज एंडेड अप मेकिंग प्रोवोकेटिव स्टेटमेंट्स एवरी टाइम ही ट्राइज टू काउंटर बीजेपी नैरेटिव मोदी जी चाहते कि आप दिन भर दिन भर मोबाइल पे रहो जय श्री राम बोलो और भूखे मर जाओ भारत माता की जय मगर ये भारत माता है कौन ये है क्या सवाल है सरकार का सिस्टम हमारा इंस्टीट्यूशनल सिस्टम जो है पूरा का पूरा उसमें ओबीसी की कितनी भागीदारी है दलितों की कितनी भागीदारी है आदिवासियों की कितनी भागीदारी है ये हिंदुस्तान के सामने मेन सवाल है असुरा शक्ति से लड़ाई हो रही है ठीक है नफरत भरी असुरा शक्ति कांग्रेस टेयर्स एट एन एग्जिस्टेंशियल क्राइसिस एज सेवरल टॉप लीडर्स हैव डिच द पार्टी What message does Rahul Gandhi want to send across the country? Is the country responsible for Congress's falling vote share? Let's debate. And I reviewers my hashtag is clearly our counter to this aag lag jayegi comment. My hashtag is Aag Nahi Lagegi. Hum Hamare Desh Ko Aag Lagane Nahi Denge. Aag Koi Lagane Ki Koshish Karega To Aag Ko Bujhayenge. We want to build not burn. Build not burn. Aag Nahi Lagegi. Or uh, first I want to open this evening with Advaita Kala. Advaita, I don't know if you saw this comment actually escaped my attention. But when the Prime Minister spoke about it, I went and saw Rahul Gandhi's speech. I could not believe that any mature person can talk like this. Aag laga denge, aag lag jayegi. What do you mean by that? Aap haarenge. Aap ki wipe out hone wali hai. Aur aap keh raha hai, aag laga denge. Aag kyun lagayenge aap? Aap ki jagir hai. 
do you own the country romesh sabarwal to make the country burn advaita kala do you want to start the debate let me get you in advaita well i think i think it's pure instigation there is no other way to look at it uh, fortunately for india not too many people buy into rahul gandhi's vision of the country so we can be quite as well assured that aag nahi lag lagegi desh ko jo bhi prayatna ho uske bawajood aag nahi lagegi desh ko i mean my sympathies with him he's fighting what looks like a losing battle at this point and he forward one of incitement of spreading discord of creating insecurity amongst people that's the message that he all has to offer and then he has the gall to say that i'm running a mohabbat ki dukaan now please tell me where is the mohabbat it's only incitement and frankly it's a very dangerous game that he's playing for himself the country is sensible but he himself the kind of messaging he's doing is very very dangerous आग क्यों लगाएंगे आप बताइए मिस्टर सबरवाल कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दिस बाय द वे आई थिंक अद्वैता अद्वैता आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू इन द कोर्स ऑफ द प्रोग्राम टू पुट आउट द हैशटैग आग नहीं लगेगी वी मस्ट नो वी मस्ट मेक अ काउंटर वायरल थिंग आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगाने नहीं देंगे अद्वैता काला ट्वीट करें पहला ट्वीट करें हैश आग नहीं लगेगी राहुल जी आग नहीं लगेगी बीजेपी के जो the style of walking the bjp no, no, aag laga aag aag they are they are instigating the fire in the country no no he's not they are creating he has said that agar yes. inko aur ek bar wo jeet le lega to ye log aag laga de nahi unhone nahi kaha ye yahi tone and tenor yahi hai sikli intention hi hai koi hum koi is desh ke andar to humne apni jaane di hai agar agar aapne comment ko suna did you hear what he said can you start he said one can you start again you want me to play that again i'll tell you what he said rahul gandhi has said that if the bjp wins the selection if the bjp wins the selection and makes changes to the constitution then the whole country will be on fire and he has said mark my words this country will not survive he has said this country will die he has said the country will die the country will burn and the congress party when it was in power has brought in how many constitution amendments how many constitution amendments have you brought in Anarji, there is a process article 368 of the constitution these provides the process for are, constitution amendment article 368 of the constitution says the parliament may in exercise of the constituent power amend by way of addition variation or delete or repeal any provision of this constitution in provision with the procedures laid down in this article so my question is if somebody wins and has those kind of numbers to make appropriate changes as mandated within the constitution your response to it cannot be to say aag lag jayegi you have crossed the limit you have said aag lag jayegi you have said effectively aag laga denge you have said my country will not survive i need an answer to that no i need to say that don't try and dodge it today don't dodge it don't dodge it don't dodge it iska matlab bahut gambhir hai i am telling you enough is enough no 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 okay are you 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 tell okay you go on a versus with gorawari you go on a versus with gorawari you explain it to him tonight you explain it to him tonight second aag nahi lagegi is on blood he has said aag lag jayegi i am saying aag nahi lagegi lagane nahi denge jalane nahi denge raj nahi karne denge my country will grow you can lose the election if you are a loser if you are a bad loser if you are a forever loser if you always want to lose If you have how many constituencies, how many changes, how many everyone is there? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes has he brought to the constitution? How many changes did his father bring to the constitution? How many changes did his grandfather, grandmother bring to the constitution? I say, आग नहीं लगेगी. I tell you, okay. It's a good day. You will not allow. The constitution changes. What does he mean? Rajiv, Rahul Gandhi is a simple man. Rajiv. What do you mean? Rahul Gandhi is simple man. You say Rahul Gandhi is simple man. India Gandhi. Sure, he is simple man. 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 Sure, he और हैश टैग इज वॉट आई बिलीव एवरी वन ऑन आग नहीं लगेगी और जो लोग आग लगाना चाहते हैं उनको आग लगाने नहीं देंगे 
ये अभी से हार के डर से कहना शुरू कर दिया आग लग जाएगी देखते हैं कौन है पीपल मीडिया वो जो आग लगाएंगे वो गौरव भाटिया ऑन द डिबेट गौरव भाटिया गर्दी से ज्यादा नजर आता है अब गौरव भाटिया अकबर का बेटा नजर आता है हम कोई राजा महाराजा के बेटे नहीं है वॉट यू मीन अकबर का बेटा ये कह रहा हूं वॉट यू मीन बाय रेफरेंस लाइक दैट शहजादा शहजादा को क्यों बोलते हैं शहजादा हम एक नागरिक है देश के हम एक शहजादा बोलते हैं हम लोगों ने क्या किया देश के लिए प्रधानमंत्री राहुल गांधी को राहुल गांधी के नाम से बोले ना हम तो मुझसे बहुत ही बोलते हैं हम तो प्रधानमंत्री बोलते हैं वो क्यों कहता आग लग जाएगी क्यों बोलते आग लग जाएगी क्यों बोलते अब गौरव भाई अब हम एक क्यों शहजादा बोलेंगे अब एक क्यों बोलेंगे जब विरासत में कुछ नहीं मिला हम भी एक नागरिक है देश के नॉर्मल सिटीजन है यूएस दिस डिबेट इज है कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द अट्रोशियस कॉमेंट ऑफ राहुल गांधी की आग लग जाएगी प्राइम मिनिस्टर कुछ तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर पीएम ने कुछ आगे जवास कर दिए हर हर आदमी को नीचा दिखाने की कोशिश करते हैं ऐसे इस देश में कई प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऐसे नहीं हुए पहली बार इस देश के अंदर इस तरह की हरकतें हो रही है नहीं लगेगी आप पाकिस्तान में होता है कि पाकिस्तान नहीं बनने देंगे अपनी जान दे देंगे इमोशनल बनने की कोशिश मत कीजिए स्टेटमेंट हो चुकी है गौरव भाटिया इज रिस्पॉन्डिंग फ्रॉम द बीजेपी जी गौरव भाटिया I'm down, sir. Arnab, I've noticed in the past few months, Rahul Gandhi has just completely lost it. And Narendra Modi ji raised this point because it concerns the country. It concerns every citizen of the country. I'll tell you why. Rahul Gandhi is, in plain and simple language, trying to incite people by saying, "Aag lag jayegi." वो तो चाहते हैं कि आग लगे देश में एंड आई एम यू नो रिकॉलिंग अ स्टेटमेंट बाय सोनिया गांधी व्हेन शी सेड इन 2019 अपोजिंग सीए दैट आर पार की लड़ाई है डू यू नो व्हाट हैपेंड आफ्टर दैट दिल्ली राइट्स टू प्लेस एंड 50 इनसेंट सिटीजन दे लॉस्ट देयर लाइफ सो राहुल गांधी आल्सो हैज दैट सिनेस्टर डिजाइन नाउ ही वांट्स दे शुड बी कम्युनल राइट्स there should be a civil war in india one community against the other spewing venom hatred ye hai unki mohabbat ki dukaan second when he says that agar constitution ko amend kiya so let me tell you as a student of law the constitution has been amended 106 times there is a provision as you rightly said article 368 oh that's the point yeah but yeah, the yeah, problem yeah. is when members of his family Indira Gandhi amended the constitution and even the preamble preamble has only been amended once in 1976 and two words were added secular and socialist and she wanted a committed judiciary and she also increased the tenure of the lok sabha and the assembly is to 6 years the supreme court had to intervene so rahul gandhi first first look into the history of his family how they played with the constitution destroyed institutions and indira gandhi even invoked emergency my third point when narendra modi ji is talking about a positive agenda and he has amended the constitution for what let me spell it to the viewers article 370 abrogated constitution amended good for a country good for various sections of society like the valmiki samaj and the women of kashmir second instance women reservation constitution amended women have been empowered third gst an economic reform that the congress promised constitution amended and this is how india has become the fifth largest economy fourth example ews economically weaker section reservation constitution amended 10% reservation given you have a tool it is your power but modi ji has used the tool to empower the citizenry of the country the gandhi parivar has always used the constitution to violate the rights of the individuals to deprive them of their dignity to put them behind bars and that is the mindset of rahul gandhi also and i will now end by saying rahul gandhi ke kuch bayan dekhiye ye 15 20 din mein उन्होंने कहा ऐश्वर्य राय नाच रही थी इंसल्टिंग एवरी फीमेल इन द कंट्री ही सेड मीडिया की जात क्या है इंसल्टिंग द फोर्थ पिलर ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी ही सेड मैच फिक्स्ड हो गया है दैट मींस 
the Congress and the India Alliance partners' morale is very down. They know they are losing. They will not even remain a double-digit party. And in the end, I would say, UP ke ladke nashedi hai. Ab nashedi kaun hai? ये तो सब पूछ रहे हैं ये कौन सा नशा कर रहे हैं राहुल गांधी लड़ रहे हो या डिबेट्स के इंटरेस्ट पे कर रहे हो बयान देते हैं और अंत करूंगा भारत में आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगी है कांग्रेस की बस्ती में राहुल गांधी फुल मस्ती में ये है सच्चाई अर्णा वाह भाई वाह वाह हमने हिंदी में पीएचडी नहीं कर रखी है अनफॉर्चुनेट हमने हिंदी में पीएचडी नहीं कर रखी है पर हम देश को पाकिस्तान नहीं बनने देंगे हम मोदी जी को राहुल गांधी को नहीं, नहीं मेरे किसी भी आपको अपने अंदर गिरबाग में झाक के देखिए आप अपने राहुल गांधी ने भी जुपिटर से पीएचडी करी चुनाव लेकिन चुनाव होना चाहिए मैनिफेस्टो के ऊपर आपका विजन क्या है इस कंट्री के लिए आपका विजन क्या है गरीबी आप ये बताइए तो राहुल गांधी जो कह रहे हैं यूपी के लड़के ने शेडी की क्या हालत है देश को पहुंचा दिया आप लोगों ने आज राहुल गांधी देश को पहुंचा दियाफेस्टो की बात करिए बताइए आप लोगों ने मैनिफेस्टो राहुल गांधी ने मीडिया से जांच कैसे पूछा इसके लिए क्या करेंगे मीडिया में आज जब गोस्वामी की जाँच की वजह से वो इतने बड़े पत्रकार आग लगाने में वन मिनट मुझे पता है जेलों में रहे हैं आप लोग के लिए तरह नहीं सबरवाल जी सबरवाल जी इधर देखिए मेरी तरफ एक मिनट एक मिनट मेरी तरफ देखिए और आपके इधर जो अलाइड पार्टी है उनको भी स्क्रीन पर रखें वो रीना रीना जी बैठी हुई आम आदमी पार्टी से तो मैं उनके सामने आपको एक सवाल पूछना चाहता हूं जरा मुझे बताइए कि नाइनटीन में जब आपने इमरजेंसी करवाई नसबंदी कराई अभी तो 18 18 अप्रैल को आवाज नहीं आ रही 1967 में तुर्क तुर्कमान तुर्क तुर्कमान गेट मैसेकर में कितने लोगों को आपने मारा कितने लोगों की घर की घर के घर में आग लगाई मुझे बताइए माय इन्फॉर्मेशन इज हंड्रेड्स ऑफ पीपल वर किल्ड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल वर इंजर्ड दे वर शॉर्ट एट पॉइंट ब्लैंक बाई योर गवर्नमेंट आप आग लगाने के एक्सपर्ट है नाइनटीन एटी में कितनी बार इंस्ट्रक्शंस दी गई कि सिखों को पकड़ पकड़ के मारो बिल्कुल नहीं। और और एच एस फुलका ने कहा कि द इंस्ट्रक्शन के डायरेक्टली डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस राजीव गांधी वन मिनट वन मिनट थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स वन मिनट थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स लॉस दे लाइफ मिनिमम अनऑफिशियल एस्टिमेट सर एट थाउजेंड टू सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड कितने लोगों कितने सिखों के घरों में आग लगाई आपने आप आग लगाने के एक्सपर्ट है सोबरवाल जी इंदिरा गांधी ने जब इमरजेंसी डिक्लेयर की कितने लोगों की फोर्स नसबंदी स्टेरिलाइजेशन की आपने आग लगाई आप मुझे बताइए जब जब लाखों कश्मीरी पंडितों को कश्मीर छोड़ना पड़ा तब आपने कितने कश्मीरी पंडितों के घर में आग लगाई आपने आज कहा आग लगेगी मैं पूछ रहा हूं रीना जी से एक मिनट रीना जी आपको हर चीज में हा में हा मिलाने की जरूरत नहीं है आप इंडिपेंडेंट पार्टी हैं आप इस मुद्दे पर ऐसे ही प्रो कांग्रेस लाइन लेके अपने सपोर्टर्स लूज करेंगे अब कोई कह रहा है कि अगर इलेक्शन हुआ और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में चेंजेस की गई तो आग लगाएंगे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट्स आर टोटली लीगल वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट लेट मी टेल यू द वर्ड सेक्यूलर एंड सोशलिस्ट which are debatable words were brought in in 1976 when the country was under an internal emergency opposition leaders were in jail that time opposition opposition not me that time indira gandhi indira gandhi amended the preamble at the state of emergency to bring in the word secular and socialist i know how socialist she was now my question is the 42nd amendment brought in by the congress provided for the curtailment of fundamental rights coercively imposes fundamental duties and brings changes to the basic structure of the constitution by making india socialist secular republic when you make changes to the constitution you say we are totally we... totally one minute one minute let me you say we are totally entitled to because you got to understand the constitution is a living and breathing document and i say okay the constitution is a living and breathing document but the constitution is continuing to be a living and breathing document when you are out of power also so my question to reena is do you support this aag lag jayegi aag lagayenge that kind of comment do you agree with it reena reena from the aam aadmi party 
आई एम आई एम आस्किंग यू वुड यू से आग लग जाएगी और आग नहीं लगने देंगे पीपल आर वॉचिंग दिस रीना प्लीज रीना राहुल जी सेट दैट कि बीजेपी लगा देगी आपका आपका देश हमारा देश आप कैसे आग लगाएंगे हमारा देश हमारा आग लग जाएगी आप कौन होते हैं आप कौन होते हैं आग लगाने के लिए जान देने वाले लोग हैं रीना रीना यस रीना ऑल इयर्स लिस्निंग टू अर्नब आज मंगलवार का दिन है और आज मंगलवार का शुभ दिन है अर्नब और बजरंगबली की दया से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने जो अपना एक्सटॉर्शन डिपार्टमेंट ईडी चला रखा है आज उसको लगाम मिली है आज संजय सिंह को बेल मिली है और ईडी का पर्दाफाश हो गया है आज कोर्ट में ईडी से पूछा गया कि आपके पास मनी ट्रेल कहां है दिखाइए ईडी के पास दिखाने के लिए कुछ नहीं था और बिल्कुल क्लियर हो गया कि ये जो इतने दिन से भाजपा ही बोलते रहते थे शराब घोटाला शराब घोटाला ये कुछ शराब घोटाला हुआ नहीं है ये सिर्फ भारतीय जनता पार्टी के द्वारा लिखी मनोहर कहानियां पहली बात दूसरी बात अर्नब आज बहुत बड़ा ऐतिहासिक दिन इसलिए भी है क्योंकि संजय सिंह एक अकेले नेता है जिनको ईडी से बेल मिली है बिना भारतीय जनता पार्टी में जाए हुए अभी तक ऐसा चला आ रहा था कि ईडी की रेट पड़ती थी ईडी अरेस्ट करती थी और वो नेता चले जाते थे भारतीय जनता पार्टी में अपने आप को बेल दिलवाने के लिए लेकिन क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी के सारे नेता इंक्लूडिंग संजय सिंह सारे के सारे नेता जो हैं एकदम कट्टर ईमानदार नेता हैं और किसी ने कोई गलत काम नहीं किया आज कोर्ट के सामने बिल्कुल भारतीय जनता पार्टी को मुंह की खानी पड़ी जब कोर्ट ने कहा कि आप दिखाइए कहा मनी ट्रेल है आप अपोज करिए अगर आप आप नहीं दिखा सकते तो आप बेल को अपोज करिए ईडी एकदम चुप हो गई और संजय सिंह को बेल मिली तो आज ये बहुत बड़ा ऐतिहासिक दिन है एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट आना मुझे कंप्लीट करने दीजिए दूसरी बात अगर देश में आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी गेट मी ब्रिंग मी ऑन एयर ऑन दिस विंडो रीना जी आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूँ आग नहीं लगेगी आप कह रहे हैं आग लगेगी ओनली टू व्यूज राहुल गांधी ने कहा आग लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं नहीं मुझे बोलने तो दीजिए वो कह रहे हैं आग लग जाएगी अगर हम हार गए मैं कह रहा हूं आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं आग लगेगी कि नहीं लगेगी मुझे मैं ये जानना बोलने तो बिल्कुल दूंगा मगर मेरे जवाब तो दे दीजिए कि आग लगे आप कह दीजिए आग नहीं लगेगी डू अग्री और डिसअग्री ये आग लगने वाली बात क्या है कोई हारता है कोई जीतता है कोई चेंजेस लाता है कोई नहीं लाता है मगर आप अगर ये कहना शुरू करें कि आप मैं हार गया तो आग लगा दूंगा ये क्या ये कैसी बात होगी मैं हार गया तो आग लग जाएगी ये आप इस आपको इस पर पोजीशन लेना होगा रीना यू कैनॉट अवॉइड दिस क्वेश्चन आपने बहुत सीरियस क्वेश्चन इट्स माय कंट्री इट्स योर कंट्री इट्स आवर इट्स नो 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 आई आई डोंट वांट नो नो जवाब दे मैं केजरीवाल जी के पूरे इशू पर और उस पर सेकंड डिबेट में रहा है मैं आज कह रहा हूं कि सबसे बड़ा मुद्दा है कि एक राजनीतिक दल के नेता आगे कहते हैं मैं हार गया तो आग लग जाएगी मैं हार गया तो आप आग लग जाएगी क्यों आग लगेगी भाई आप 2014 में हार गए आग लग गई 2019 में हार गए आग लग गई अब आपको लग रहा है तीसरी बार हार गए तो आग लग जाएगी क्यों लगेगी आग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में चेंजेस लगाए गए तो आग लग जाएगी सौ से ज्यादा चेंजेस आप कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में आप खुद ला चुके हैं तो आग क्यों लगेगी 1974 में इकहत्तर में आप चेंजेस लाए तब आग नहीं लगी आग लग जाएगी वाली ये क्या बात है इस पर पॉइंट मैं पॉइंटेड आई जस्ट आई कंप्लीटली वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू हाउ कैन यू अग्री विद दिस कॉमेंट आग लग जाएगी ये इमोशनल बात है आप देश के नव युवकों को सबको कह रहे हैं आग लगा देंगे अगर हम हार गए तो ये क्या बात हुई रीना जी वन मिनट ये आग लग जाएगी आग नहीं लगेगी आप बोलिए आप ट्वीट कीजिए आज आज नहीं लगेगी कोई भी राजनीतिक डिफरेंसेस है पॉलिटिकल डिफरेंसेस जरूर थे हैं और रहेंगे मगर ये कहना आग लग जाएगी ये क्या बचपना है ये क्या आग लग जाएगी आग मैं कह रहा हूं मैं जानता हूं आग लग जाएगी आई एम टेलिंग यू मुझे सब कुछ पता है मैं ज्ञानी हूं आग लग जाए आग क्यों लगेगी जो भी चुनाव आप कहते हैं फिक्स्ड मैच है अगर आपको लगता है फिक्स्ड मैच है रीना जी बडोरिया जी तो चुनाव मत लड़िए कहीं हम बहिष्कार कर रहे हैं फिक्स मैच है आप लड़ेंगे भी आपके एमपी जीते तो आप जाएंगे भी संसद में और बाहर में कहेंगे फिक्स मैच है आग लगा देंगे आग लगेगी ये क्या बात हुई ये क्या बात हुई ये कैसी भाषा है वाई यू अलाउंग इट आप कहिए आज रीना आप अपने ट्विटर हैंडल से ट्वीट कीजिए हैशटैग आग नहीं लगेगी आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग ऑल पीपल टू नाइट रीना जी आज बिल्कुल चुप हो गई है सुधींद्र भदौरिया जी भी चुप हैं क्योंकि इनको हिम्मत नहीं है हैशटैग लगाइए आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगने नहीं देंगे
आग लग जाएगी देश खत्म हो जाएगी क्या बात है आप हार गए तो देश खत्म हो जाए खुद ही दे रहे हो सवाल भी खुद आग लग जाएगी आग लगा देगा तब ना अरे आपको ही पूछ रहा हूँ ना आपको प्रोवोक कर रहा हूँ कि आप जवाब दे आप लोग बिल्कुल खड़े हैं ट्रांसफिक्स आप समझ नहीं पा रहे हैं क्या कहे राहुल गांधी के कमेंट का अच्छा बोलिए मैं चुप हूँ अच्छा I'm quiet I'm quiet you say आप पहले पहले रीना जी बोले फिर भड़ौरिया जी बोले सब बोले भारतीय जनता पार्टी पूरी कोशिश करेगी आग लगाने की लेकिन मेरे देश में आग नहीं लगेगी क्योंकि हम आग नहीं लगने देंगे हम भारतीय जनता पार्टी को आग नहीं लगेगी नहीं लगाने देंगे दस साल से भारतीय जनता पार्टी कोशिश मैं कह रहा हूं देश में आग नहीं लगेगी लेकिन हम नहीं लगाने देंगे आग नहीं लगेगी आग लगाने की बात कौन कर रहा है आग नहीं लगेगी और आप कह रहे नरेंद्र मोदी प्रधानमंत्री बनेंगे तो आग लगेगी मैं कह रहा हूं नरेंद्र मोदी तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बनेंगे तो आग नहीं लगेगी आप आग लगाने की बात क्यों कर रहे हैं चुप क्यों है सुधीन्द्र भटौरिया जी ट्रेंडिंग सब्जेक्ट है देश के लोग मेरे साथ राहुल गांधी के साथ नहीं आग लगेगी आग लगाने आप बोलिए सुधीन्द्र जी लेकिन मेरा देश महान है और हम आग नहीं लगने देंगे हम नहीं लगने देंगे हमें तो लग रहा है हमें तो लग रहा है अर्णब अर्णब आप आपके दिमाग अर्णब आपके दिमाग में जरूर आग लग गई है अनुराग भदौरिया को सुरेंद्र भदौरिया बोल रहे हैं तो आग तो आपके दिमाग में लगी है तो आपके दिल में जो आग लगी है उसको पहले बुझाइए उसके बाद हम कुछ कहें सवाल है जब आप अपनी अंदर में आग लगाए हैं जो वो आग बुझाइए फिर किसी को बोलने का मौका दीजिए सवाल राष्ट्रवाद की सोच को बुझा दू तब आप खुश होंगे मैं राष्ट्रवादी नहीं रहूं तो आप खुश रहेंगे इफ आई से आई एम नॉट ए नेशनलिस्ट यू बी हैप्पी बुझा दूं मैं नहीं बुझेगी नहीं बुझेगी अरे मेरे अंदर की आग जो है वो नहीं बुझेगी वो नहीं बुझेगी जब तक ये सारे एंटी नेशनल्स के खिलाफ मेरा कैंपेन खत्म ना हो सुरेंद्र भरिया को अनुराग भदौरिया रीना जी को कुछ और नाम से बुलाने लगेंगे तो आप तो भूल रहे खुद इसलिए मैं कह रहा हूँ की आप शांत होइए पानी पीजिए दिमाग को ठंडा तो आपको कह रहा हूँ अनुराग भदौरिया अनुराग भदौरिया जी देखो आप अनुराग भदौरिया अच्छा देखिए सवाल ये सवाल ये बोलिए इस देश के अंदर में कोई भी देखो बेरोजगारी की जिंदगी में तो बेरोजगारों की जिंदगी में तो वैसी आग लगी हुई है वो बेरोजगारी साथ हत्या कर रहे हैं तो उनकी तो उनकी जो बेरोजगारी है वो तो खत्म करो सवाल ये है सवाल ये छात्रों पे आप लाठियां बरसा रहे हो छात्री की जिंदगी में तो वैसी आपने आग लगा रखी है उनका पेपर लीक हो जाता है वो जिंदगी से वैसे ही जूझ रहे हैं किसान वैसे ही परेशान उसकी जिंदगी में आग किसने लगाई है उसकी जिंदगी में बेचारे उस पर एमएसपी की गारंटी नहीं मिल रही है उनको धरना प्रदर्शन करना पड़ता है महिलाओं की जिंदगी में आग किसने लगाई है जो अपनी सुरक्षा के लिए अपनी आप, अपनी बचाने के लिए अपने उनके ऊपर जो अत्याचार हो रहा है वो लड़ रही है मणिपुर में मणिपुरी घटना देखो या चाहे मेहनवाल पहलवानों की देखो या कहीं आप बी एच घटना देखो किसने उनकी जिंदगी में आग लगाई है सवाल ये है तो इसलिए आपको समझना पड़ेगा देश के जो असली मुद्दे हैं उस मुद्दों पे चर्चा नहीं करके आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी अरे आग लग जाएगी आग लग जाएगी ऐसा बोल रहा है जैसे लग रहा है आग लग रही है कहाँ आग लग रही है ऐसा आपके अंदर भूत सवार हो गया आग लग गई कहाँ लग गई किधर लग गई अरे आग का मतलब तो समझो की आग लग जाएगी अरे आग मैंने कुछ नहीं कहा लोगों ने कुछ नहीं कहा जिस तरह से परेशान नहीं कहा लोग मैंने नहीं कहा ये राहुल गांधी का कमेंट है इट इज राहुल गांधी कमेंट की आग लग जाएगी मैंने नहीं कहा सॉरी भदौरिया जी मैंने ऐसा कुछ नहीं कहा आई नेवर सेड यूज ऑफ वर्ड आप ही बोल रहे जब इट्स नॉट माई वर्ड मैं मच्योर आदमी हूँ आग लग जाएगी विपक्ष कह रहा आग लग जाएगी विपक्ष कह रहा आग लग जाएगी अरे भैया तिरासी परसेंट युवा बेरोजगार है आई की रिपोर्ट है आप क्या कहना चाहते हैं उनकी जिंदगी को खुशी कौन देगा आप बताइए मुझे महंगाई चल रही है उनकी खुशी कौन देगा मैं पूछना चाहता हूं आपसे देश के युवाओं के बारे में कभी चर्चा होगी नहीं होगी कि आग लग जाएगी आपको मैं कह रहा हूं आप राहुल गांधी से ये पूछिए भाई आग ने 
ये क्या हो रहा है आग लग जाएगी कमेंट हैज बीन मेड बाय राहुल मिस्टर भडौरिया आप गलत कह रहे हैं ना ही इज नॉट इवन मेकिंग वन दिस राहुल गांधी इज कमेंट नॉट माइंड वेस्टिंग योर टाइम नहीं नहीं मैं कह रहा हूं अरे बात को समझने की जरूरत है अर्नब जी इस देश के अंदर में हमें मुद्दों पे बात दिस कमेंट वाज मेड बाय राहुल नॉट मी पार्टी मुद्दों से चर्चा नहीं करना चाहती हम मुद्दों पे बोल रहे हैं ये मुद्दा नहीं है आग लग जाएगी अगर नरेंद्र मोदी तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बने तो आग लग जाएगी ये मुद्दा नहीं है आपने युवाओं की समस्या की बात नहीं की जो इस देश की मैं युवा इस देश की धड़कन है उसके बारे में कोई बात नहीं हो रही है छात्रों के बारे में कोई बात नहीं हो रही है महिला समस्या पे कोई बात नहीं हो रही है समाज में जो आदमी पैरों पे खड़ा होना चाहता है उसके लिए बात नहीं हो रही है अर्थव्यवस्था पे बात नहीं हो रही है शिक्षा पे बात नहीं हो रही है स्वास्थ्य पे बात नहीं हो रही है इस पे चर्चा क्यों नहीं हम किस बात पर चर्चा कर रहे हैं उस बात करें डिस्ट्रक्टिव में इस बात पर चर्चा कर रहे हैं रेटरिक भारतीय जनता पार्टी कौन है गौरव बिफोर आई कम थी और को और को यो फ्रॉम बेंगाल यो फ्रॉम बेंगाल यू सपोर्ट द तृणमूल कांग्रेस Now, now, if the no, what? Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. I admit. I I tell you one. Just one minute, yar. One minute, yar. Mr. Bhadoria, one minute, sir. One minute. Or go. You are from Bengal. If somebody says the Congress party is reduced to zero seats in Bengal, the Congress party, which used to be in power in Bengal in one time, is reduced to zero seats. And if somebody says agun lagiye debo. आगुन लेके जाबे विच इज बेंगोली ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ आग लगा देंगे आग लग जाएगी विद तृणमूल कांग्रेस एक्सेप्ट इट व्हाट कैन ऑफ लैंग्वेज इज 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 द द होल कंट्री रिस्पांसिबल फॉर योर पिटीफुल स्टेट हिंदुस्तान को भालो किसी होवे ना अर्नब दा चिंता करो ना आप अर्नब दा बड़ी जाते अरे आई एम नॉट सेइंग ही सेइंग व्हाट यू मीन चिंता करो ना और करना है और को और को आप लोग और को योर रिस्पांस टू द कमेंट की आग लग जाएगी द पॉइंट इज लाउड एंड क्लियर सरकार की काज करे छे आज पर्यंत द पॉइंट द बोलते होवे कि सरकार की आई अंडरस्टैंड आई अंडरस्टैंड ओके वन और को करे छे युवा दे जुन्ने 10 वर्षर मुद्दे आपनी महिला दे जुन्ने की करे छे कैरी ऑन और को इट इज वेरी लाउड Yeah, one minute, the results, the results of the elections have to be looked into, and uh, of course, there is there is no hide and seek to the fact that all political parties, irrespective of being in power in some state or in the central or being in the opposition, they have to respect the mandate of the people. But the point which is very important and pertinent here is that the elections should be free and fair, and there cannot be any interruption or any management, as many of the political parties, including the Trinamool Congress, is uh, afraid of that the Bharatiya Janata Party will misuse their position while being in power, and the huge amount of money they have accumulated, uh, rightly or wrongly, I am not getting into that debate. But the point is very uh, clear. the elections has to be free and fair and for that reason if a pressure has to be uh, created from the judiciary the judiciary is already uh, speaking their mind on many issues at the same point of time why should, why so should far the judiciary the create pressure amendments are uh, concerned Sir, yes there is a all... procedure no i'm sorry of course they are they are they are speaking their mind aloud there they is a procedure speaking, they have also spoken on de demonetization they have spoken on the role of the ed and the cbi they are speaking their minds one after the another and i believe the people of the country can hear it 
what the judiciary is saying. I am not saying the judiciary is making a political statement. But what I am saying is the judiciary is bringing whatever there is a, a mistake or whatever wrong has been committed. No, that is other, been I want a very specific. To, I think uh, I, I see a lot of. Been tried I see by a the lot of. Uh, Arko, you know, Arko, bring, bring Arko, the, I want uh, to keep past. it very narrow focus. And, so far, and now I want to bring back Ramesh Savarwal and Gaurav Bhatia into the debate. So I'd like. No, 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 no. I'd like Just to. One no, thing. sir. No, sir. So, so far as Ramesh, the amendments are concerned, Ramesh, there is a procedure. Ramesh, Reena, and, no and Gaurav on the debate. The procedure has to be followed. But the amendments. Arna, will be I in get my time? I've been patiently waiting, not even interrupting anybody. I think it's a very just one, unfair one, deal one you are There is a process. Offering. I'm just coming to you, Gaurav. You should give me my time. I, I'm coming you know. to you, Gaurav. Gaurav. Ramesh First of all, you have four yeah, I will persons give you. opposing the BJP. Then you don't even want to give me time. Just one minute. Just one minute. Let Gaurav come in with Ramesh and... Just one minute. Gaurav with Ramesh and Aap, please. Thank you. Chill, please. Can I, can I tell the producers here? Have we got the windows? Now, yeah. Yes. Gaurav, we bring back the focus to the Aag Lag Jaigi comment. Gaurav Bhatia. Yes. Absolutely. I am only on that. You know... Today, when you were asking the AAP spokesperson to speak on the subject, I think, you know, in a mathematics exam, she has mugged up her physics paper and she started speaking on a different topic altogether. But I thought it was strange that the matches are not going to be in the same way. The matches are not going to be in the same way. Rahul Gandhi or Arvind Kejriwal or Akhilesh Yadav. And let me tell you what the matches are going to be in the same way. TMC spokesperson was waxing eloquence. He said that respect the mandate of the people. CAA is a validly passed law, but when it was being implemented, Arna Mamta Banerjee said there will be civil war in the entire country. Isko kehte aag lagana. Second, he said that election should be free and fair. But panchayat elections, when they took place in West Bengal, 33% of the seats were won by the TMC unopposed, to which the Supreme Court remarked that democracy is dead in West Bengal. And we all know about Sandesh Khali. We know about 2nd May when the assembly election results were declared. You know, houses yeah. were burned. Aag laga di thi. Women were raped. Some people were murdered because they voted for the BJP. So at least the TMC should not talk about, also, you know, law and order, about the spirit of the constitution. Coming to the Congress party, Aag lag jayegi. Congress party ne to aag hi lagai hai desh mein. 1984 Sikh rights. Our innocent Sikh citizens, tires were put on their body. And they were burnt alive. Arna, burnt alive. No one can ever forget how Sikh brothers and boys were burnt alive. And Arna Rajiv Gandhi's infamous comment when he said, Bada peel gir. अब ये लोग क्यों ऐसे कर रहे हैं अभी कुछ नहीं कर रहे हैं ये कौन से अच्छा ये कहाँ से ये लोग आप दे आर वर्स यू नो आई डोंट वांट टू यूज़ अ वेरी हार्श वर्ड्स बट दे आर वर्स देन हुलिगेंस दे आर लाइक निन कम पूप्स थ्री ऑफ़ देम स्पीकिंग टुगेदर सो दैट द व्यूअर्स कैन हियर द पॉइंट्स � how yes. are you allowing him to talk this nonsense? Ah, listen. Listen. No bad language. 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 And she loves to do all this. Uh, every day she no, does this. No and I don't want to engage no with her. You know, it's below no my dignity. No below my dignity to engage no, with her. No, 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 no. We don't like want her. personal attacks. We ask her to be quiet. We don't and want personal attacks. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We don't want personal attacks. Stay out of it. One minute, one minute. One minute. Sir, can I tell you? We all know. We all know the situation of law and order in UP is much better now than before. Go back to the issue. Reena, you speak so much. What he has said, you are avoiding the subject. You just have to tell me, do you agree with this Aag Lag Jaigi comment? I know you don't. You know, Gaurav, I know she doesn't. No, no, this is Vivash. 
रीना जी जानते हुए भी विवश इनको सपोर्ट करना पड़ रहा राहुल गांधी रीना रीना यार रीना बोलिए रीना रीना बोलिए रीना बोलिए विवश है अब अग्री करते हैं अपने आप को राष्ट्रवादी कहते हैं ये ऐसा ये ऐसे व्यक्ति है तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी कर रही है पिछले दस साल से पिछले दस साल से मैक्सिमम हेट स्पीचेस दो हुई है फिफ्टी फिफ्टी पार्टी में हुई है गौरव गौरव हमारा देश महान है राजेंद्र गौतम आग नहीं लगने राजेंद्र गौतम हिंदूर हुसैन We will not allow. He is not secured bail yet. He was the person who instigated the mob in the Delhi violence. Tahir Hussain, who is he? And as a person, who will be captured? Which party did Tahir Hussain belong to? Fifty Indian citizens, innocent, lost their life because of the hooliganism, because of the gundaism that you people teach to your workers. So don't come here and preach. If you can answer me on Tahir Hussain, if you can answer me on Rajendra Gautam, then we can have a meaningful debate. Okay? Tahir Hussain has not got bail, and you people were coming and defending him. So dare you are a terror word? आपको भी पता है अगर नोएडा में गुंडा राज है तो उसके लिए कौन जिम्मेदार है? सबसे बड़ी आग लगाने की मशीन कोई है तो अरविंद केजरीवाल है और जेल की सलाखों के पीछे है सारी आग अभी ठंडी हो जाएगी नरेंद्र मोदी जी डी प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ़ द कंट्री एवरी प्रेसिडेंट � and no one is going to be a leader. Mislead, 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 पेंटिंग स्टोन दे दी चार आप लोग बलिदान मैं 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 बलिदान मैं बलिदान और त्याग के बारे में बताता हूँ व्यूअर्स 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 लास्ट नगेट फ्रॉम मी मेरी बात सुनिए सबरवाल जी ये इमो कार्ड मत ले कीजिए इमोशनल कार्ड मेरे साथ मैं 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 सच्चाई नहीं I'll I'll tell you something मैं जानता ह� introduced the 39th amendment to the constitution which nullified the June 1975 verdict of the Allahabad High Court which found the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi guilty of corrupt electoral practice आप लोग आजकल lecture देते हो ना मैं बात आप lecture देते हो ना आपने constitution amend किया Indira Gandhi को बचाने के लिए from charges of corruption 2013 that is the fact party government in Uttar Pradesh 85% of people से मेरे साथ आग नहीं लगेगी मुजफ्फर नगर आए 55,000 people displaced women raped citizens murdered चले जाने की जरूरत नहीं है and Akhile Yadav was indulging in appeasement politics, discriminating even on the basis of religion and living compensation. These people come here to debate. Arre, party ko bachao. Desh surakshit hai. Tooti cycle ko bachao. Paiya nikal gaya, tire phand gaya. Handle toot gaya. Yaha aake baat karenge, rashtra rashtra. Apni party ko bachao, parivar wali party ko. Ladies and gentlemen, on the other side tonight is the... Where Sanjay Singh gets bail. Debate two tonight is Sanjay Singh gets bail. Where is the money trail? The money trail debate when I'm back. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Congress, for jump, say.
कर्नाटका में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटका को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है आम आदमी पार्टी ने अपने और आपको एक और गहरे संकट में डाल दिया इन दर ओवर इंथूजी आजम इन ऑर्डर टू क्लेम एंड टू क्लच एट स्ट्रॉज टू ट्राई एंड प्रोजेक्ट अ रूटीन ऑर्डिनरी बेल एज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ क्लीन शिट एंड अ विक्ट्री द आम आदमी पार्टी हैज फर्दर इंडाइटेड इट सेल्फ टूडे Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Three, two, one, ignition, and lift off of Starlink 645. Go SpaceX, go Starlink. Go SpaceX, go Starlink. Studios of Republic TV. It's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. of the debate tonight and time now for the nation's sharpest opinion. Sanjay Singh is one of the right-hand people of Arvind Kejriwal and he's got bail after six months today. And the circumstances, the observations and the happenings around that bail decision is what has got me curious. The court asked the straight question and the one I've been asking myself to the BJP. Where is the money trail? Not the approver mail 
but the money trail. Because this liquor case has been going on since 2022 and the ED is investigating. ED has to establish a money trail. We are about two years short now. At the end of the day, two years on, it all comes down to one thing. Proving a money trail. Proving that money was made. Proving the link. Proving the defined route from where the money went. No doubt money was made. No doubt, 100%, 338 crores minimum benefits to be exact as said by the Supreme Court. The question is, whose pocket did it go to? The question is, how exactly was it spent? That is what we mean by money trail. The allegation, we know that the AAP used the money in the Goa election, but just because the allegation is that the money was used, it cannot be that the money trail cannot be concrete. There has to be a defined route, a defined eventual beneficiary, and the ED will have to get very specific down to where the alleged kickbacks went. And the more time goes, the more questions will be asked. On the other hand, I think the AAP is jumping the gun. They cannot get very preachy about the bail given to Sanjay Singh because the observations made in the court on Sanjay Singh's case cannot be and are not a blanket cover to the allegations against everyone else, including Kejriwal. And that's what Atish and Saurabh Bhardwaj don't say. That the observations in the Sanjay Singh case are only about Sanjay Singh, not about Sisodia, not about Satendra Jain, not about Arvind Kejriwal. And as equally, if the AAP says that they hail the courts for bail, they cannot go anti the courts when they keep their functionaries in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, this hashtag is interesting. Bail or trail? What do you think will happen eventually? Will they all get bail? Or will the ED find the money trail? That's what I mean with the hashtag bail or trail. You can choose which way you think. Tell me what you think. We have a poll live on Republic World. Let's debate. After six months in jail, Aap Sanjay Singh gets bail. The Rajya Sabha MP given bail after no objection from the ED. Aap satya ko daba sakte hain. Lekin aap satya ko mita nahi sakte hain. Aaj Sanjay Singh ji ki zamanat ne ye dikha diya. Humne dekha ke kis tarha se पिछले दो साल से एक-एक करके एक-एक करके आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं को झूठे केसों में सब गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा था, फंसाया जा रहा था। लेकिन आज संजय सिंह जी की जमानत ये बताती है कि आखिर कर जी सत्य की ही होती है। The Supreme Court questioned ED on the money trail in the Lickergate scam. No money has been recovered from Sanjay Singh. सच की जीत हुई है। हम तो शुरू से ही कह रहे थे कि ये पूरा का पूरा केस फर्जी है और भाजपा के दफ्तर में लिखा गया है। करीब 500 रेड के बाद भी एक चवन्नी की रिकवरी नहीं हुई। आज सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी कहा, जब मनी ट्रेल ही नहीं मिली, तो हिरासत में रखने का क्या मतलब है? तो क्या भाजपा अब जांच करेगी? भाजपा that Singh took 2 crore rupees as kickbacks, with the BJP attacking up over the party's political vendetta claim. Bail mil gi aur ED ne oppose bhi nahi kiya. Dekhiya, iske hamari jo court system ki, hamari judiciary ki jo robust independence hai, ab wo kehte hain, kal jab Rahul Gandhi ji bol rahe the, us din Ramlila Maidan owner bola, Election Commission is a fixed match, Election Commissioner is also your, the Judiciary is also your. If the Judiciary is our, then this is such a big scheme, why did they have it so, this is negative? So this is our democracy. If we are courts, courts independent, they will take whatever they will take. But the ED has not opposed it. Aap Sanjay Singh gets bail without the ED opposing it, with the Supreme Court asking what we are asking. Where is the money trail? Let's debate. Uh, Tuhin Sinha, you know at the end of the day you can have a million approvers but you've got to have a money trail. Where's the money trail? Arnab, on 30th October 2023 when, when Manish Sisodia's bail plea had come up for hearing under the same judge, Justice Sanjeev Khanna, 
the judgment had very clearly said that a money trail of tentatively uh, money trail of 338 crore stands tentatively established and that was one of the reasons or that was the key reason for denying bail to Manish Sisodia so obviously you know uh, i think you need to give it more time because that case will come up for hearing but having said that uh, sanjay singh was never no, no. seen as the chief collaborator or the kingpin in the case if if in this case the money trail has not uh, been why was he arrested yet that does not then why was he arrested the Ahmadi party that if he was not a collaborator if he didn't not have a significant role why was he arrested if you you are saying that now you didn't say that 6 months back why was he arrested because at that point of time if he's not a key kingpin collaborator or have a key role why was he arrested at that point of time no no if at that point of time the ed felt that interrogation was required there were charges of 2 uh, crore money being given to him if at that point of time ed felt that interrogation was required and if in the last 6 months he has answered the question satisfactorily <coughs> obviously things changed Would in the span of 6 months things change what changes sorry what changes uh, please can i be on screen what changes no no if the ed is if the ed feels that further custod further custody of mr singh is not required in the in the specific case then obviously they would not they, they derive no joy in keeping him in jail for eternity like i said that does not absolve arvind kejriwal what joy did they get in keeping him in jail for 6 months in in uh, no no they they wanted certain information certain in interrogation had to be carried out and he may have you know addressed those questions <laughs> satisfactorily i think these questions are best answered by ed based on the information that we have on public domain the uh, the court has very ed doesn't come on my program that you know today's today's bail any which way is not based on merit no that's no, not no no i i i want to make one point here I want to make one point here. The court literally cornered the ED today, Tohin, and said that you have a choice: the Section 45 of the PMLA, and we will invoke Section 45 of PMLA, which will have cascading consequences for the rest of the case. Section 45 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, ladies and gentlemen, in Nugget says either the court believes there is no case or feels that there is nothing. more than can that that can be the or the individual will not influence the case if he is out a observation a bail under section 45 pmla would have been embarrassing for the ed and hence the ed chose not to press for bail so people who were surprised in the morning when they saw that the ed has gone soft on sanjay singh it's not correct the ed did not go soft on sanjay singh it was a tactical decision a strategic decision by the honorable asg sv raju not to allow the bail under section 45 pmla but rather to intervene and not press for bail now having said that that's a technicality the important thing is the focus has come on where the money trail is 338 crores you are correct tohin was the observation made by the honorable court of justice khanna regarding the money that was made in this case minimum but the money being made by 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 corporate groups or by the south group or others is different from money being made by a politician you don't have to prove to him that the money has been made by certain people because there is no doubt the liquor policy gave cascading returns to individual business people now the question to you is more complex to him which politician made the money and if it is a hawala transaction as you allege how will you prove there is a trail to the hawala transaction you are saying i will rely on approver statements will that be enough <coughs> will that you know, be enough to win the question is to you, you know, the I, debate is on representing i am not representing i am not representing the ed over here i am representing the bjp and i have implicit trust in the institutions the case, the, they are fighting the case out if uh, the in in the previous uh, judgment on 30th october the judge had called for winding up the case in 6 to 8 months i'm sure ed is aware of the deadline e ed is aware of the timeline and working no, no. towards it excuse me you, you represent, represent the, the party, party that, that controls, controls the ed 
You represent the party that has administrative and supervisory control over the ED. You represent the party that appoints. No, no, don't, I, I don't, don't trivialize this debate. Don't trivialize, don't trivialize this debate. This is a, you know, don't trivialize this debate with this gibberish. Don't trivialize this debate with this gibberish. No, please don't attack me. Please attack the argument I'm making. No, no, the BJP does not control ED. The BJP does not control ED. When you cannot attack, it controls your mind. Oh, you don't, is it? You don't. You ha if you are a lawyer, you should you should take responsibility for the statement that you made. You're making the BJP does not control the ED. It probably controls your mind. On all the discoveries that the ED makes, you will use the arrest the ED makes to change the opposition. As a lawyer, you have to prove that the BJP controls the ED. The prime minister says even the Supreme Court is not giving them bail. March 31st in Meerut, Prime Minister Modi says even the Supreme Court is not giving them bail. So the today, Supreme Court has given them bail. Not, Mr. Prime Minister, what do you have to say? Like what do you have to say? Ever. The Supreme Court that your lackeys wrote a letter attacking last Deke, week. Arnab what do you have to say? Deke. The Supreme Court has given Sanjay Singh bail. And next, it's Sisodia, then Kejriwal, no, no, then Heman Soren, K. Kavita. This is the beginning of the end of this extortion department. And it's bail of bail. This is the end of the reign of terror. Sanjay Singh, the end has begun. How can it absolve money, Sisodia, and Arvind Kejriwal? First of all, as Mr. Goswami, whose understanding of the law I must commend, Section 45 of the PMLA clearly states if you're released on bail, the court the believes you're not guilty of the offense. How can a trial court find Sanjay Singh? <coughs> the last 15 when the Supreme Court has gone in bail, saying there is no crime of SIC has been out against him. You are relying on approvals? Was that okay? Okay, let, let me, let me, let one minute, one minute. Uh, can I get Tuhin on the debate? It's a hot I'm debate. simplifying it for you. Your approvals? One minute, now, 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 please. Abhishek, cool it, please. Let Arnab. others come in. Tuhin, I give you a chance to reply. Suhail is waiting. Anmol hasn't spoken Arnab, yet. Arnab, there is a difference uh, between a chief the point being, and a collaborator. So... Oh, oh, no, no, oh, I'll see. So, so first, let's collaborate. The collaborate the that, he's not that, a that, that is there on your show. Oh, one minute. Can down. you, can you, Abhishek? Uh, I want to hear the other the, side. Can you not do that, please? Thank no, you. Nobody can dare speak to me. When Arnab is speaking to me, please, Abhishek, don't. Abhishek, don't. Abhishek, don't. Abhishek, don't. Abhishek, don't. Don't let him complete, Abhishek. Please, don't. Don't, don't, don't. Is he a cheerleader for the liquor lobby? These can you not? Can you not, please? Can you calm down, everyone, please? It's a, it's a, it's a very, it's a very delicately poised matter. And Abhishek, there is no point trying to provoke Tuhin on this. It's a serious matter to which I want to bring the point here. And Sohail, I'm coming to you last. Apologies, but I want to go to the AAP spokesperson here. You see, you make a big deal of what the Supreme Court has said. Asked a question here. So the Supreme Court has asked a question here. Where is the money trail? The Supreme Court has not said there is no money trail. Now, earlier, the Supreme Court has made more scathing observations and the court has said that a transfer of 338 crores is tentatively established. You don't want to talk about that. When Justice Khanna says one aspect regard to the transfer of money, 338 crores is tentatively established, we have dismissed the bail. Would you hail them for that? You say, no, let's not talk about that. That's not right. The Supreme Court has also said that there is enough evidence to prove that Satyendra Jain is prima facie guilty of the alleged offences. The Supreme Court bench said we are of the opinion. And I quote here, we are of the opinion that the appellants have miserably failed to satisfy us that there are reasonable grounds for believing they are not guilty for the alleged offences. On the contrary, everyone on, there is sufficient material collected by the ED to show that they are prime officer guilty of the alleged offences. At that point of time, you don't speak much about that. If I speak about it, you say you're making a mountain out of a molehill. So you're being selective. So don't jump too much, Anmol. This is just an observation. I can show you a thousand more scathing observations as well. Anmol. Can I... Can I can I respond? Uh, now, today marks the victory of truth over falsehood, righteousness over unrighteousness, and justice over injustice. From the outset, we have been saying that you will not be able to detain us unjustly in this false and fabricated legal four, scam. Four on the screen. And today, and today, Lord Hanuman, wielding his mace, has begun dismantling your fortress of deceit, conspiracy, and corruption, which has been erected by the BJP. First point. Second, the Honorable Supreme Court very categorically asked two questions from the lawyer of enforcement directorate that why do you want to keep him in custody? They had no answers. That is there any trace of money? They had no answers. The court 
very specifically said that even after investigating the matter for two years, even after 500 raids, not a single penny has been recovered. And he was kept behind bars on the basis of false and fabricated allegations. As far as the allegation of 338 crore is concerned, Wait. Arnab, this one minute, one minute, you, one minute, on one minute. just one point, one point. Uh, Anmol, can I, Anmol, can I, can I intervene now, now because you obviously have information that I don't. Arnab, I, I have to, I have to make one. I need to point. be very factual with you. Uh, uh, Anmol, 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 may I, may I, may I just ask you, may I just ask you, Anmol, may I just ask you for a clarification if you don't mind? Can you show me a single place where the court has said that there were false and fabricated allegations against Sanjay Singh? The exact use of the words. Can you please, because guide me through it, please. Anab, Anab, I, I don't have Words, the order. Paragraph? I, I, I was, I was where, where did the, the court hearing. say the fabric? I, no, no. I was present in the hearing. The uh, counsel for the enforcement directorate conceded because he know otherwise the honorable court would have to make observations as per the mandate of conceded section 45 what? of the PMLA Act. Conceded Wherein what? The court clearly said. Court clearly conceded said what? No, 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 the I'll court did not the use the phrase, the allegations against Sanjay Singh are false and fabricated. Said. By using, you are quoting wrong words let, to the court. Not you can just retract that, otherwise it will spiral let out of control. Complete. I, I don't need to retract what has been held in the court today. The court very categorically said that... So you should not misquote if, the Supreme if, Court thus. I have, I have not misquoted the Supreme Court. The court said that they'll have to make, they'll prime of a side. <coughs> have to make an observation as per the mandate of section 45 of PMLA that... Mr. Sanjay Singh has committed no offence. It has been very clearly stated. And you are very curious to know that where is the money trail? Arnab, on your show, day after day, I have been uh -huh. asking the BJP spokesperson that's a totally, that the data has that's a been established. Data has been published by the Election Commission of India, which says that 60 crore rupees has been transferred to the Bharatiya Janta Party from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam P. Sharad Reddy. Ninth, on 10th of November 2022, five crores was, were uh, donated to Bharatiya Janta Party. And on 8th November 2023, another 55 crores were donated to Bharatiya Janta Party. I, and I this was you. the reason why the enforcement Anmol. directorate did Anmol. not even oppose the bail application. And this was the same person who Anmol. turned into an approver Anmol. after six months being in Anmol. custody. And he also made Anmol. observations before the court that he has been right. threatened. Anmol. He has been uh, made under... Uh, after being an undue influence after the coercion made by the officers of enforcement directorate, he was made to sign predicted statements implicating Mr. Kejriwal. Now, this is the reality of the so-called liquor scam. And the Bharatiya Janta Party is rattled because they don't now, have answers now to Anmol, these can I come questions. In? Now, sure. now, Anmol, can I come in? Can I, now, can I respond to this? Anmol, can I come in? You know something, I completely understand and empathize the situation that you are in. There is a drought and you have to pull water out of a rock and you will if necessary. You will squeeze the greatest amount of meaning from a statement that has not been made. Even if the Honorable Supreme Court smiles at you, you will say that you are being exonerated. You are overread into things and underread into things as per your convenience. I would like to tell you I am a man of exactitude. I like to be factual and accurate, especially when I am dealing with the court. The Supreme Court has said today that in the first 10 statements of Dinesh Arora, there is no implication of Sanjay Singh, but goes on to say that later in the 10th statement he does. The fact is that Dinesh Arora initially had not implicated Sanjay Singh, but later on in the 10th statement he does. There is a slight change in his version. When we look at sections 45 and 19 PMLA, we have to take these factors into account. It has to be tested when he comes to the witness box. Please don't Anmol. read 40% of a sentence and remove 60%. What are you doing, Anmol? Arnav, what I'm doing... Is and I'm too I'm smart saying, for that, I'm, Anmol! I'm telling, 
I am I am too to much too smart for yeah, that, Anmol. Because you are not willing to answer. I am much too to smart, Anmol. Arnab, this same. Anmol, I have asked the BJP questions and you saw them uncomfortable. Sohail, 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 listen, Sohail, listen, Sohail, 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 listen. You are an uninterested. You haven't interrupted anyone. Arnab, let me complete. This guy is finished with that diatribe. I will get in. That why did you take sixty crores from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam? You are looking for money trail. I am giving you evidence. The SBI has published the data. The Election Commission has published the data. Why are you not asking BJP spokesperson that why did they take 60 crores from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam? Uh, good. You are, no, you are the one who are asking for the for this specific question at the start of your show. Then please ask this man. Arnab. Show some courage and ask this man that why did they take 60 crores from the kingpin of the liquor scam? And the same yeah, court. First of all, the same court. Arnab, can I can I just yeah, come in over here? Okay, yeah, Arnab, you, why don't you have a program with these guys? We'll just keep quiet. Ah, uh, one minute. Can, can I get can I get Sohail in one minute? Tohin, 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 Tohin. Let me get Sohail in. Then you come yeah. in. Sohail's listening. Sohail, listen. Sohail, you know that the way I look at it is this is a matter about perception. Nobody understands perception more than you. Which way is it? How is it looking? What are the risks for both? How do you read it, given the Sanjay Singh bail, and how do you think people are reading it? Sohail. I don't care about how people read it because I don't know enough people or as many people as you do. But let me just logically analyze what's happened today. Number one, Abhishek said lackeys. I wouldn't use the word lackeys for his own colleagues, but be that as it may, it's, he's entitled to his opinion. I think the one thing that has been established is that the courts are not under the control of the government. Agencies may or may not be under supervisory control, again, to quote a panelist on your program, but I don't think the courts are. Otherwise, this wouldn't have happened. Number two, bail is not a dismissal of the case or an acquittal. It is merely bail. So while Sanjay Singh is out of jail, he is not acquitted of a crime that he may have been arrested for or custodially remanded for. Number three, I don't think with all the publicity at this case, the enforcement directorate would have gone this, this far if they didn't have any evidence. To arrest a sitting chief minister, to arrest a member of parliament, to arrest a deputy chief minister. So that's number three. Number four, the same very Sanjay Singh today, who was granted bail by the Supreme Court, was also denied bail by various courts in the last six months. This is not the first time that he has appealed for bail. So the denial must have had some grounds. So if we believe that the courts are right today, we logically should believe that the courts were right then. Because you can't say that today, because the courts has exonerated him, the courts are fair. And because the courts didn't exonerate him earlier, the courts are unfair. I'm just talking as a, as a layperson. The other issue here is very simple. Now, I can't remember the gentleman, the Ahmadmi, Un Unmol, correct, Unmol. Unmol made a point saying that, look, establish the money trail of the 60 crores, which has been put up on the Election Commission's website. I totally agree. You cannot have selective amnesia when it comes to money trails or money that has been given, which is non-kosher. But to do what about tree is not the logical conclusion for this kind of an argument. And Anmol, my friend, what you're doing is right, saying that where is that? But that doesn't solve the issues that we are addressing today. The issues are very simple. Did anyone from Admam, Aam Admi Party indulge in a conspiracy where the government of Delhi was robbed of its fair share of revenue from liquor? That's the moot point. Number two, was there any diversion of funds? Now there has been a report in the newspapers. I'm not saying it. The newspapers are saying it. The same very newspapers that Aam Admi spends a lot of money in advertising, as does the BJP. The newspapers say that they have now found a trail established somewhere in Goa that some Hawala transactions took place. Let that all come out. But I'm making a larger point here. If people are being arrested and then being freed for lack of evidence, it is a big big statement on the way our judicial bodies function. Because you cannot keep a person incarcerated if you don't have evidence. Now, this PMLA law is not a law of the BJP's doing. 
this law existed. This law in itself needs to be re-examined. If the law is being used to persecute people it's, because of political vendetta, that also needs to be analyzed. So I think in the larger debate, yes, we need to, we need to introspect. But as of today, it can't be that Aam Aadmi Party has done nothing wrong. Because if that was the case, then Aam Aadmi Party knows how to fight. And this is going to be a massive fight on judicial parameters. I'm done. Please. You know, eventually, done, eventually, Anmol wants to respond here. Eventually, sure. remember, viewers, this is this is going down to the wire, but it has a lot of certainty. This case, either now, I am putting a question here tonight, viewers, to you. Do you think it will be the turning point on RepublicWorld.com? There is a poll on, and Anmol uh, and Tohin, the way there is public focus and public attention on it, both sides, BJP and AAP, are aware this is a fight to the finish. If there is a conviction, and let me say this, Anmol, if even one of the senior leaders get convicted, then the reputation of AAP is destroyed forever. Arnab, this is a false and fabricated And if Kejriwal case, is convicted, the AAP I'll, will I'll, be destroyed irretrievably. Hopefully, we'll meet uh, Arnab, someday after and so there's a uh, lot at stake one year yes. when all the leaders will get acquitted. And you must change this hashtag uh, from bail or trail to illegal arrest gate. Because this is what uh, this whole investigation scam is all about. Because after two years, they be are a still fishing for evidence. Wants to be the they also. don't have a single shred of evidence. The so-called premier agency, which is working at the behest of Bharti Janata Party. Arnab, if if the a procedural bail for them, but but if but the what is alarming is bail for them is the amounts to the, all the cases Very being false and fabricated. Then Anmol. they are actually indicting themselves. One minute, one minute, two in, two in. Can I can I Anmol. can I just make a one minute? Yeah, one minute. You've made enough point. I want to make just I want to ask Anmol a genuine question. This is not a facetious question. Let's imagine everything you're saying is true. What prevents you, when I say you, I mean the Aam Aadmi Party or other like-minded people, from actually going to the Supreme Court and saying that you believe that the agencies are functioning under political pressure? Because today, suddenly, there has been a reimposition of faith in the Supreme Court by all the parties. See, it's, it's depending on the mood of the, of the wokes and the liberals. If the Supreme Court votes against the government, then it is then democracy has returned. If it votes for the government, it means they are under governmental pressure. I mean, you can't have it both ways, na? No, I think you that you are jumping the gun. One, 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 no, 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 don't, don't, don't do this. Minutes. Don't do this verbal yeah. trampoline on the program. My question is very simple. My, my one point is here. See, I'll tell you. And Tuhin is getting damn restless tonight. So I have to have Tuhin have a go at Anmol. And it'll be BJP versus AAP. Let them have a go at each other. I'm not going to. Tuhin, <laughs> you seem a little muted. Are you getting uncomfortable with what the court said today? My question to you is. Not at all. Repeatedly, not at all. I'm asking you. Is it coming down uh, to maybe, money? Have, maybe, maybe Tuhin till, might till a week to back, Tuhin. blood pressure pills today. Anmol, don't. Anmol, hey, they, stop. You just Anmol stop question is to Tuhin. Music, you can, don't read his you know, body language. The fact is, this is... I, I yeah, will okay, repeat, Tuhin, Arnab, on your show that, you know, Aam Aadmi Party has a basic, has a fundamental lack of comprehension of issues. Today, that now that they, they've got a procedural bail, they say that all the charges have been proved false and fabricated. Which, you know, they are actually indicting their own leaders. The fact that Manish Sisodia has not managed to get bail for the Tuhin. last 16 months, that only, only proves that, you know, all the charges against him are true. Tuhin. If the court has specifically said Tuhin, on 30th October, just 10 seconds, that can the tentative money this? trail of 338 Tuhin. crore has Tuhin. been established, may I counter they you should on wait this? for the next hearing Tuhin, of may that. I, may I? Yeah. May I? Tuhin. Yes. Tuhin. Tuhin. Uh, when the BJP, now what the BJP said on Sanjay Singh, now you are saying, coming on my program, that he's not the main man. But October 2023, everyone on. You he said, as the, the BJP man. said, quote, his right-hand man Manish Sisodia has been languishing in jail for the past several months. Both the right hand and the left hand of Kejriwal are involved in corruption. It's Kejriwal who forces MPs and ministers to commit corruption to fill his coffers. 
the BJP at that point of time said that Dinesh Arora was the main link that implicated Sanjay Singh. And today the court says that the initial statements of Dinesh Arora did not implicate him, but he had a change of mind later. What the BJP said on Dinesh Arora's statement at that time was, Arora has admitted that he paid 32 lakh rupees as a bribe to Kejriwal by a check on being asked by Sanjay Singh at the meeting to pay for the party fund. So, you were very exact in October. You're not as exact in March. Arnab, can I come in? So, did you read too much into it then? Arnab, no, no, Tuhin, you have to answer this. To See, the, the question is... The architect of the scam... Manish Sisodia was always seen as then the chief architect fine, you of the scam Manish as has Why been Sanjay highlighted in one of the court judgments also. Now, Sanjay Singh was possibly a collaborator. Interrogation was required at that point of time. You know, interrogation cannot be required in certain cases for infinity if, uh, you know, he has provided information which was required by the agencies and if the agency thinks that extending his custody is not required, I think the ED would be in the best position to tell you the exact details. 88% 88 of people feel this is not the turning point. The ARP's reading too much. Anmol wants to respond. Bail or trail. Anmol. Anab, have you watched that movie, uh, Mujse Shadi Karugi? In that movie, there's one character, Dugal Sahab. No. Today, BJP wale pravaktaon ki halat kuch aisi hi hai. Ye ek din kehte hain, ji, Sharad Reddy kingpin hai. Dusre din kehte hain, Sanjay Singh kingpin hai. Tisre din kehte hain, Manish Sisodia kingpin hai. They are all rattled. They, they, they don't, uh, uh, they are very well aware of the fact that this case will fall flat in two minutes. They have no facts to base their uh, claims and they are just uh, uh, making rhetorical statements which have no existence. Arna bail hua hai, acquittal nahi hua hai. Anmol, in a fight. Sanjay Singh's bail does not absolve Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia. Can I quote the observations made by Honorable Justice Khanna today, if you allow me? He very clearly said that no money has been recovered. The trace of money is not there because it was long back. Fact of the matter is that money has not been recovered. Please keep in mind that if we are required to record in terms of Section 45 no, of the MLA, then he has prime FSI Anmol. not committed an offence. Anmol, one minute. Now I'm, now I'm asking you. No, 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 one minute, one minute. File. Observation, 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 observation. We are going to play observation these, versus these observation, are, okay? Are, We're going to play a little game tonight. Made. We're going to play a little game tonight, Sohail. Honorable Our Justice game is Khanna today. Observation versus observation. Okay, you have one observation. I have four. Let's fight. Observation one. Another For every I observation of yours, I put one observation. Then you put one. You put on one original one. I'm the BJP spokesperson. I have asked every single question. I will not be directed Another at asking any questions. I never have and Another never will. Observation versus you? observation. Delhi Adam High Court, while denying bail to Manish Sodia, made trade. the following observation. I have placed the, all the facts, but still you are not asking the, the question to BJP spokesperson. I'll start and end as I want. Hey, I'm a free man. No. Why don't you start? Certainly, but, but, I will but start. How I start, how I end is not my... Certainly, but... Certainly, yeah, let Arnab Goswami conduct his program. When you start your channel, we'll listen to you. Let us finish this. Seriously, everybody wants to be an anchor nowadays. They want to be the anchor. Arnab, they want to be the anchor. No, why do you want to do my job? I'm good at my job. That's why I'm doing it for all these years. Anchor Aadmi Party. This is what this is my speciality. The question is, while, because I've got so much research, you know, so much research, I have to use it. Uh, my question is, one oh. minute, yaar, Anmol. <laughs> Anmol. Anmol. Now listen to me. This is an Ivan Lendl serve going on to you. Question is, the Delhi High Court, while denying bail to Manish Sodia, said he was in contact with Vijay Nair and the South Lobby. The judge said, and I quote, the co co evidence collected so far clearly shows that the applicant through co-accused Vijay Nair was in contact with the South Lobby and the formulation of a favorable policy for them was being ensured at every cost. <laughs> Your comments on this observation? No, my, my observation comments are that please, 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 please. Uh, मेरी विशेष टिप्पणी ये है कि कृपा करके आप 28 पैराग्राफ की 10वीं लाइन जरूर पढ़ें और बार-बार पढ़ें और मैं ये भी चाहूँगा कि आप 10th पैराग्राफ और 12th पैराग्राफ जोर-जोर से पढ़के सुनाएं अपने दर्शकों को <laughs> because that will that will make it very clear that uh, honourable court has denied the allegation of uh, receiving 100 crore bribes, 45 crores and uh, this. Observation about tentative establishment. What do not are stand. you saying? 
I am saying what has what been you saying? एक ऑब्जर्वेशन पर इतनी एक्साइटमेंट मैं हजार ऑब्जर्वेशन दिखा रहा हूं आप उस पर डिबेट नहीं कर रहे हैं ऑब्जर्वेशन 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 आई 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 एम एम गिविंग गिविंग हिम योर माय 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 व्हाई नो 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 आई 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 लाइक लाइक ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑब्जर्वेशन यू हैव And the Supreme Court has said a transfer of 338 crores is tentatively established. Did they say that let or not? Let me let me clear. Let me make. Did they? Can you say that? This no, is this is not in regard to Mr. Manish. Mr. Arvind. On a serious note. No, no, Please, Swain, what's going on? Really, on a serious note, what is really heartwarming is that we have once again reposed our faith in the Supreme Court. There were enough comments being made on the Supreme Court That's and true. its judgments for the last three four months. I'm glad that almost all political parties have come to the view that the Supreme Court is independent, as in my mind it always was, and hopefully will always remain. Yeah, yeah. That's to my mind is the silver lining on this very dark, ominous cloud. You're a master of sarcasm. You're a, a you're a wizard of sarcasm, Swail so Singh. I'm being genuine. There's nobody can surpass you in it. Nobody can surpass you. No, no. Sir, I, it's a fact. genuine statement, but there is a. I know, and I take yeah. it with a lot That's of humility. <laughs> I accept it with humility and grace, <laughs> including but rolling is, eyes. But you know, Soel, this is going to be one of the more interesting. These are one of the interesting debates of this election season, and it's quite interesting. I mean, otherwise the political contest is so uneven. At least the debate on issues like this is serious. Tohin. Win, do you have the edge yes. on this? Do you still have the yes, edge sir. on this? We we have a massive edge. I'm telling you, Arna, Aam Aadmi Party was not obviously not expecting the bail today because they know their involvement in the case. So they are, you know, they they are so over excited today that they are not able to make out the difference between a procedural bail and conviction uh, and acquittal. But I think, Please like I mentioned, the, 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 uh, even if he has got a bail, that okay. does not absolve the other two. Okay. And I think you know, on the on the one hand, you know, anyway, look, look at Atishi. You, Atishi is al already planning to get arrested in the next two months, along with Raghav Chadda, who, by the way, is absconding, or, or I don't know where he is. So if they have nothing to hide, I think the but least that one expects from a responsible for the last member of Parliament month. of Rajya Sabha is that he is back in the country. You think Raghav Chadda does not have the country. right to? Raghav Chadda does not have the right to uh, Raghav Chadda does not have the right to be in London for a month. Why are you questioning Raghav Chadda? What's wrong if he chooses to be in London? No, no, he can be Go anywhere. Go to the Thames, he can be, meet some he people can be for any, lunch, he can have be a coffee. Anywhere, but I think you know, Aam Aadmi Party has got brilliant uh, dispensaries and brilliant uh, swast clinics which they have set up across Delhi. So I think if health is the reason, he should make make uh, he should avail of the benefits of uh, Delhi's health turnaround, as Aam Aadmi Party always claims. Maybe he wants to get treated in London. What's your problem? He likes the NHS. Supreme Court has come down heavily on Patanjali, Ayurved's co-founder, Baba Ramdev, and managing director Acharya Balakrishna for their quote absolute defiance in not filing proper affidavits about the company's misleading advertisements case. Everybody in the country is now looking at this, and the top court says. that advertisements issued by patanjali have to be questioned the apex court has also warned baba ramdev this is what happened when he went to court today ramdev ji kya karenge supreme court mein aap decide ho jayega consul sir legal trouble continues to mount for patanjali humne ek coronel bana rakhi isme swasari jo hai ye phephno ki immunity ke liye ye jo hai coronel ye puri body ki immunity ke liye तो स्वासारी खाली पेट दो दो गोली सुबह दोपहर शाम तीन बार कॉलिंग आउट पतंजलि आयुर्वेदा फॉर एब्सोल्यूट डिफाइंस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज रैप्ड रामदेव फॉर डिफाइंग इट्स अर्लियर नोटिस इन द मिसलीडिंग एडवर्टाइजमेंट केस द टॉप कोर्ट हैज रिफ्यूज्ड टू एक्सेप्ट द अनकंडीशनल अपॉलॉजी ऑफ रामदेव कॉलिंग इट मेयर लिप सर्विस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट टुक एक्सेप्शन टू रामदेव फॉर शिफ्टिंग द ब्लेम